Good morning, my darling friends. How are you? It is wonderful to have your company on Sewing Street today. Uh, it is Farmer's Day. Did you know that was a thing? I didn't know it was a thing, but um, apparently I will know it's a thing when I get home because Charlie will definitely insist on special treatment for Farmer's Day. <laughs> we'll have to do something very special, but it is lovely, isn't it? A chance to appreciate our farmers and, you know, the food they produce and all that. Yeah, very nice. I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's a good one. You like that. Um, I will have to do a special dinner, no doubt, but that's all good. I might do a shepherd's pie and then create a field on top with little model sheep. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I've got all the time in the world, eh? Now, let's start, as we always do, with our early bird. Right, now then, um, good news. I've got not one, but two early birds and they're quite different. I think you're going to like them both. But our first early bird is a fantastic storage bag. Uh, this is terrific. This is the sewing machine bag. Um, now let's just go through what we've got in here. It's a lovely big size. This is going to fit your brother FS250, that sort of size machine. Depth of 20 centimetres. Width of 44, height of 38. Great size, great size. As I say, the Brother FS250 is gonna fit in there, a 130, a 210, that sort of size. The smaller Janome machines, they'll all fit in there as well. Um, if you're thinking sewing machine bag, it is really sturdy. It's got a nice, thick, heavy base. It is, it's all about the base, apparently. Um, it's got four, feet on the bottom as well so when you're putting it down on the ground it's not going to be directly in contact with the ground it's also made from oil cloth so it's got that lovely kind of waterproofing on the outside um, it's also got a white clean interior as well um, then also on the outside you've got these lovely big pockets so things like your um, pedal your electricity cable can go in there keep them safe always take your manual with you as well when you go to classes but equally if you're not using it for your sewing machine it's a fantastic bag for maybe things like your Gemini 2 or your AccuQuilt um, if you do die cutting it would be great storage for your fat quarters your fabric your rulers things like that as well perhaps if you're going to class um, or workshops uh, really useful now let's look at the price it should be 39.99 but it's our early bird so Hannah Oh, oh, I like this. So we didn't have a guide price, so we're just going to do what we like. Oh, hello. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 1999. Well, that is a really nice price. It's a gorgeous bag. It's ever so sturdy. Really good quality. It's fun as well, isn't it, with the owls? Love that. I'm um, just waiting to get Facebook Live on for me and then I can say some nice good mornings to you all. Look, that is a really fantastic size and shape, isn't it? And that lovely big pocket on the front as well. Um, yeah, you could definitely keep things like your stash, your fat quarters. If you were going along to a workshop or a class, you could put everything in there to take along. Thank you, Levi. Um, yeah, I think that would be a terrific bag to take along and I really like the oil cloth. Good for this time of year as well, isn't it? You know, when you've got things like lots of rain and splashing and all that kind of thing, mud. You want it to be wiped clean and easy. Uh, now then, some good mornings. Uh, Claire's got in touch to say, good morning. Love how you introduce every day as something special. You really are a breath of fresh air. Oh, thank you, Claire. Well, the one thing I've learned <laughs> is that there's like a special day for just about everything. I mean, there are some weird and wonderful and um, I don't often mention all of those, although if they're food related, I do tend to mention them. Um, sausage pizza day was a particular favourite of mine. But yeah, every day is special, right? Especially when we get to spend it together. Um, yeah, thank you for that, though. Jan says, good morning, Stuart, and all. Oh. Oh, that woke Charlie up in the gallery. Uh, good morning, Pam says, good morning, lovely. Good morning, my darling. Marie says, good morning, lovely boy. Horrible dark day, rainy day here in Islington. 
but sunshine in the studio very nicely put sandra says morning lovely stuart and happy farmer's day to charlie you might be getting to meet charlie soon i'll say no more um might be um Heidi says, good morning, Stuart. Claire says, good morning, Stuart and all. Cheer me up. I'm feeling snotty. Claire. Big hug. Uh, Soli Salam says, morning, Stuart. Loving the retro flavour shirt. My fave so far. Thank you. It's all a Kylie. Um, do you want to do a little swap? It was actually on sale. And I got it for a song. Thank you. I got it for a song, which is always a good thing, isn't it? Like a little bargain. Let me just try. Oh, is that better? Oh, I think that's better. Yes, that's better. Oh, thank goodness for that. I've got to share with you. All I could hear was myself and it was horrible. <laughs> now, this bag is our early bird. It's just crashed half price, 19.99. Actually, sorry, the talkback isn't any better at all. It's exactly the same. Sorry. Right, let's do a little price comparison. It's not exactly a like for like, but it's around the same sort of dimensions, around the same kind of thing. Let's have a quick look. Okay, £32. That's pretty much the same though, isn't it? It's the same kind of thing, the same ballpark as they say. This is a great bargain. I mean, and also as well, I think it's a very nice giftable Christmassy kind of, I think that's lovely. And also as well, one thing I didn't mention, look, the handles go in, you've got a little Velcro to hold them together, really nice and secure. If you are using that for your sewing machine, I think it's gonna be very nice and secure in there. Actually, you could also use this for your native lighting. Your small native lighting, couldn't you? When you want to take that along to class, your task lighting, your, your uh, maybe your Lumina, a fold-up lamp, the zigzag, something like that, that could go in there. Quarter of the stock's gone. And a message for me. Morning, Stuart. Happy Farmer's Day. Have a great morning. Trying to look on what's coming up today, but the website doesn't seem to be working. Susan, it will be. It will be. Pre-order is coming up. Pre-order is coming up. It's all just getting loaded on now. Um, Fiona says, morning, Stuart and all. From a frosty bar, not, not frosty, Fiona. Already. Looks like autumn is here now. Oh. Anne says, morning, Stuart. I have COVID. Well, hopefully it's very mild COVID. It'll be over in a few days. I'm confident. I'm confident. Oh, you poor thing. Keep going through for your bag. Fabulous. Tara in Norfolk says, morning, Stuart. You cheer up my mornings. Thank you. Just made a coffee and marmalade on toast. Yum. Uh, to sit back. Can I have it back, please? <laughs> I'm a slow reader. Ready to sit back and watch my favourite. Thank you for the inspiration. Tara, it is our pleasure. We've got loads of inspiration today. Um, before we look at the menu, I do have a second early bird. Special request from me for this time of year. For this time of year. You'll see why in a sec. So it is Thermalam, which is a compressed... Uh, heat insulating batting now this is a pre-cut piece it's one meter in length and thermalan is 90 centimeters wide now what it is it when you get it home it's brilliant stuff absolutely brilliant stuff it is basically the thickness of a piece of like acrylic felt so it's quite thin very easy to use it's non-fusible. If you want to adhere it to your fabrics, just use 505 or something like that spray or pins to hold it all together. And um, But look, this is brilliant because the compressed fleece holds in the heat. So if you're making things like mug cozies, uh, placemats, um, hot water bottle covers. I was talking about these yesterday. And I mean, they're such a boon. It's such a 
cheap way of keeping warm in winter. Do a hot water bottle. I love a hot water bottle on the sofa, in bed. Um, and you can make, and they look lovely, they're very giftable as well to make your own hot water bottle covers. You can also do like little lap quilts and things like that as well. Um, or, you know, like hand cozies, feet cozies, things like that. It's also great for sort of heat insulating clothing. So things like a waistcoat or a slipover, something like that, a little jacket, absolutely ideal. Now, normal price is 5 99 It's our second early bird. So let's give you a little, a little price crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, yeah, pound off, that's perfect. That's absolutely great, thank you, Hannah. That was a little special request from me. It's brilliant stuff, absolutely brilliant stuff. Oh, two early birds, you're spoiling us, Stuart. I'll be ordering the Thermalan, great for winter. You're right, hot chocolate mug cozy all the way. Oh, Charlie loves a special hot chocolate, but it's gotta have whipped cream, mini marshmallows, sauce, everything. Much too sickly for me, but I get it, he loves it. Nice, Tara. Nice. So yeah, Thermalan, absolutely brilliant. Like I say, you can use it for things like placemats and table runners. It's not that stuff that's got the foil in it, okay? Um, so you could use it for things like a bowl cozy, a uh, roll warmer, you know, things that like for on the table when you want to keep casseroles warm or um, bread rolls, like a cozy for those, you can use it for that. Uh, you can use it for sort of like insulated drinks covers or bags, you can use it for shopping bags as well. So to keep your hot food hot, your cold food cold as well. So it works both ways. It'll, if you're in a warm environment and you want to keep a drink cold, you can make a, a cozy with this to keep the drink cold. Yeah, really good stuff. It's really good stuff. Now remember, these are pre-cut pieces. So most of you actually are multi-buying and well done you for getting it while you can. Um, so if you buy two of them, you'll get two separate packs and it's 90 centimetres wide, one metre in length. I'll show you what you're actually getting. That, that is the piece. That is the piece. So if you think about it in terms of hot water bottle covers, you're gonna get, I reckon three. I reckon you'd get three hot water bottle covers from one piece for 4 99 It's great value, isn't it? Hi, Stuart. Do you know if Thermalan also helps to keep things cool for lunch? Carolyn, absolutely. Yes. Because it's thermal insulating. So um, if you put something cold, like a cold drink, in your bottle and then you put this cozy around it, it would stop the heat in the room getting into and it would so yeah it stops that transfer from hot to cold lovely message from collector in Northumberland uh, you always talk about Charlie you must love him very much oh that's a really sweet message thank you it's from Charlie yeah I do I do he's been my constant companion for well we're in year 21 now so I'm a lucky boy aren't you aren't, aren't you Charlie if you're watching <laughs> Do you know, and I did actually say to him yesterday, make sure you're watching tomorrow. <laughs> you are very lucky, Charlie, and I am very lucky too. I am very lucky. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. I am lucky, I am lucky. Um, now, uh, well done if you've got your Thermalan. So many of you have. You know, I'm really conscious, and I'm sure you are too, um, as it gets colder, we're all now looking for sort of smart ways to keep warm and to light our homes. We've got native lighting this first hour. We're gonna be talking about lighting the area you're working in instead of the whole house. And I'm all about sort of keeping warm where I am rather than keeping the house warm because the house doesn't need to be kept warm, but I do. So thermal and great for that. Um, things like slippers. You can make, I'm a big fan of making my own slippers. You can make your own slippers with Thermalan. It's firm, they're thin, so it doesn't add a lot of bulk to whatever you make, but it will also keep your feet cozy. Um, yeah, really good stuff, really good stuff. 
Amazing, over 150 of you have checked out on your Thermaland this morning. Well done you if you've managed to get some. It's great stuff. I know that Kerry's using some later on for some of her kitchen items. So also things like tea cozies, cafetiere cozies, things like that as well. I'm a big fan of a pot of tea rather than a cup. Claire, are you? Do you like a pot of tea? Oh, tea. Do you not drink tea? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Coffee pot cover? Yeah. Coffee? Yeah. 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 For, for those Sunday mornings when you're just going to linger and spend plenty of time enjoying a second cup. Yeah, absolutely. And as I say, you can also use this for clothing. So if you're making things like Fiona Hesford's quilted jacket, something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's really good for that. Or little waistcoats, keep you snuggly. You could even use this in a hat because yeah. it's quite thin so you could use that in a hat too or in like a sort of you know like the kind of old-fashioned muff for keeping your hands warm let's bring back the muff well they have you got a muff yeah i like them something snuggly to keep your hands warm well, you know when you go on a walk i re i remember <laughs> I'm going back now a very long time. I remember a girl at school having a muff and I desperately wanted one because she used to wear it round her neck. It was like on cords and she would wear it and she would have her hands in it at break time. And I just thought it looked the snuggliest thing ever. Yeah. That's your Thermalan. Two early birds. Why not? Why not? Let's have a look at our menu for today. Right, first off, we've got Lighting Showcase with Native Lighting and Claire Donnelly is here with a brand new lamp. Can't wait to show you that. At nine o'clock, it's Living in Loveliness and we're talking eco-friendly Christmas projects, uh, reusable Christmas crackers and gorgeous heirloom baubles. Now, at 10 o'clock, Sally Ann Harrison is here with Applipops. I'm a huge fan of applique. This is going to give us perfect circles as easy as pie. And we've also got some lovely liberty in the hour. Now, at 11 o'clock, Kerry is back with more living in loveliness. And oh my goodness, we've so many different projects, whether it's stuff for the kitchen, your sewing room, getting organised, a little bit of Christmas there as well. Uh, so much in that hour. And then at 12 o'clock, Sally Ann Harrison is launching a brand new quilt pattern. It's called the Henley Sailboat Quilt. It comes in two different sizes. There's a mini and a maxi. Uh, so great value pattern there. Really cute. That is at 12 o'clock. That looks like a busy morning to me. A very busy morning to me. Uh, right, let's get started. Let's go straight into it. Uh, Claire, meet me in the middle. Meet me in the middle. Now, we are sharing a mic. Ah, okay. So if you want to be heard, you have to <laughs> I'm talk. I'm really close to you and I'm talk really to your chest. really close into my chest. Do you know what I might do? I might just, let me just... Let me just adjust myself. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> what I might do, I might just hold my mic like this for a while, just so it's a bit okay. in the middle. Is that okay? This is a bit like they do on yeah. TikTok, yeah, isn't they, it? Yeah, they hold these little fluffy ones, don't they? Terrible. It's not fluffy. We it's fluffy not fluffy enough, time. that's for sure. <laughs> Claire, welcome to the show. Oh. It's great to see you. Thank you. Uh, we love our native lighting, but I'm super excited today because you've brought us a new lamp. I have. And this, Tell me all this about new it. lamp is actually what a lot of your viewers have been requesting. So there's lots of you have probably got our floor standing Lumina lamp and lots of people kept saying, um, we need something like that with a magnifier on. So here is the Chameleon Multitask. The magnifier. Chameleon Multitask Magnifier. magnifier. Yeah. Love that. Tell us more. Tell us okay, more. Okay, so it comes on a base like this, and then you've got your magnifying head here. Really flexible neck, as like the Lumina is, so you can angle it, position it exactly where you want to. Mm -hmm. You've got your cables on the, sorry, your controls on the cable mm -hmm. here. So you've got an on and off button, and you've then got your model. So just to switch it on. I'm just going to turn the lamp upwards so we can see all those lights. There you go. Look at that. As always, super bright, but also very controllable. Yeah, very controllable. And you've got different colours. So you've got a warm light, 
a cool light and a daylight. So as with most yeah, of native so, yeah. lights, we actually have the different colors. Now, the reason for the different colors is it's really important as you're aging, because as, as we age, we tend to get very different sort of conditions with our eyes. So some people sometimes find that just daylight is a little bit, a little too, bit too abrasive, abrasive. Mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. So that's so why that's we why always we... have the cool light and the daylight in there as well. And you can adjust the brightness and you can adjust the color. So mm -hmm. on this lamp, you've got three colors and three brightnesses on each color. So that's nine settings on this lamp. That's but also as well, Claire, because like, for example, in the mornings, mm. I'd still need a little bit of extra light. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you know what I mean. Particularly if I'm doing say handwork. Yeah. I don't want just a little extra light. I don't want it full on. Yeah. And you always give us that controllability. Yeah, to be able to obviously make the changes. So mm. it's it's a USB powered lamp as well, but it okay. comes with a mains plug, and then you've got USB. And the other thing that it does is you can remove the poles and turn it into a desk lamp. As this well. is why it's a chameleon. That's a chameleon, yeah. This is the chameleon. It's changing, so that's all. Now, can I just ask, when it's a standing lamp, yeah. what's the maximum height, or what is the height of it? I haven't actually measured it. Should uh, I get a tape yeah. measure? I mean, I think all the details are on the website of, of the height, but some people, it depends what position people will have it at, actually. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that so is true. Depending on how sort of like. Let's give it a rough idea. If you hold yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go 50 inches 50 inches which right. is 127 of your new centimeters yeah so again you know if obviously you had it up this high mm -hmm. it could go a little bit higher than that yeah. but most people would probably use it i'd say at about yeah. that high yeah that's where they so perhaps it. if you're working at a stand i do a lot of my sewing standing up now yeah but also if you're sitting down in a chair or on a yep. footstool at the sofa perfect if you're a stitching frame maybe yep. as well so you yep. know you can just like it also has the pivot on the head so you can yep. ang angle the head completely as yep. well to where, wherever you need it so obviously goes all the way right. um and so yeah so if you're maybe in a stitching frame you want to position it in front of you it's a four inch magnifier as well so mm -hmm. this is quite a bit smaller than some of our other styles mm -hmm. but it's a nice little compact yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely well. and a brilliant price claire hundred yeah. 10.99 and of course we've got split pays as well let's move the lamp over onto the desk because i want to yep. have a closer look at the base now do i need to unplug this claire or should we carry the whole thing across yeah i think i'm not sure if um if you take your foot off of the oh yeah of course there. and then i think we we'll just unplug that one for the minute and yeah it'll allow us to come over a bit further awesome great um because i love the base on this lamp it's so slender and discreet. It means that we can get this under even quite sort of low-lying furniture. Yeah, yeah, you can get it, get it underneath. I mean, I can take it apart and turn it into with the desk lamp. That yeah, that'd be awesome. About, let's let's see how it transforms. Doing, doing that earlier, yeah, you're not kidding. So Brilliant. Let me just. So if I just lay that down, mm -hmm. it's really easy. All you really need to do is you just unscrew the base. Mm -hmm. rum, rum. <laughs> Love and that. then you would just unscrew this pole. So everything's really easy. It's just uh, yeah. you get two poles in the box. You don't use any tools, no do you? No tools at all for this one. Just take your two poles off. Which is useful because I show I shared my toolbox <laughs> the, the other day, which is which is about this big and just contains two tiny screwdrivers that I use for bag making. <laughs> so then then you just end up with the, the head part which has got the magnifier yeah. on and then you'd obviously just twist that one on yeah. as well and then you've got your desk version yeah. of the lamp. Can you do the same as before? Can you like spin it on? Yes, that's probably going to be easier actually I think rather than trying to um, get all those that twist in on that cable. Awesome. Brand new lamp today, and I've fewer than 20 already. This is a great addition to the native lighting family, isn't it? Really affordable, 110.99, really affordable for a chameleon lamp that transforms from a floor to, look at this, the perfect desk lamp. 
And so, sometimes you may be working at a table um, or you might always be working at a table, but then sometimes maybe later on you might be doing another project, say in the winter when you're going to be in the lounge mm. a lot more. So then all you need to do is obviously just keep your poles somewhere safe and then just pop your two poles on. So it's just, as you saw how quickly it was, it's really, really easy. It's just, just a case of screwing poles together yeah. and working out what position you want it. Well, it's about a two minute job, isn't yeah. it? No, yeah. and you don't have to start reaching for tools and where have I put the Allen key? No. <laughs> it literally just yeah. swivels off and swivels back together again. Super, super easy. Um, we talked before the show, didn't we, about doing that live on air? Because mm. we wanted to show you how easy it is to transform yes. between the two. Yeah. Would you just take me through the controls again? Because yeah. this is something that I think is absolutely key. You've you've always got that magnification if you want to use it. How many times? So it's 1.75 times Brilliant. magnification. Brilliant. So we can probably put something under it as well too. Yeah, we can definitely do that in a set, yeah. Show. So on the controls here, so if I just turn the lights around a little bit, then you can you can, you can actually see see the lights changing. So what you've got is you've got the, the model. So that's what changes the colors. So you've got warm light, cool light, and daylight there, changing the color. And then you've got the brightness on each one. So that's on the brightest, and then that takes it down to the lowest one. So then there's the warm light going up to the brightest and then coming back down. So again. three colours and three settings of brightness. On each one, yeah. Nine in total, absolutely perfect. I think that's great. It's very, very easy to use, isn't it? It is, it's really easy to use. It's also USB powered, so maybe if you're in a class or if you're in like maybe a hall where there's no plugs, you can mm. pop it into a battery pack. Yeah, um, or just you into your sewing machine. Yeah, I mean, I, machine. all of my sewing machines now have got USB ports, yeah. which I quite often plug my phone into, so I'm charging my phone. You can be controlling the light on your on your yes. lamp. Yes, yes, you can do that as well. And it doesn't drain the power from your sewing machine at all. No, and also you're only using one power source. Yeah. So that means obviously you're saving electricity because you've not got the lamp plugged in separately as well. So. Tell me about that, because I was talking earlier on, I don't know if you heard about sort of, you know, being conscious of, of the bills, mm. which we all are now, yeah. way more than we were a couple of years ago. Definitely. And I'm heating where I am in the house, yeah. and I'm lighting where I am in the house now, instead of just leaving all the lights on. Yeah. I think most of us are doing that, aren't we? Um, what are the running costs of native lighting and tell me about things like the bulbs, the light source and all that sort okay. of thing. So all, all native lights are LED. Um, LED use much less uh, consumption than um, a, an, an old style bulb would use. Mm -hmm. So that, that is much, much less. So to, to actually run a, an LED lamp is, is gonna be a, a lot less. Mm -hmm. Um, they don't generate any heat. That's either. good news because yeah. the last thing you want is extra heat when you're crocheting, knitting, yeah. sewing. Yeah, and you don't need to change the bulbs because they last for 50,000 hours. And 50,000 hours equates to about eight hours of use a day and that's about 18 years of, of use. So that always makes while. me giggle because you know what I remember the first time we did a show together and when you said 50,000 hours I thought gosh well I reckon I'd probably get through that in about a year or two <laughs> yeah. but then you put it into yeah. context yeah. and it's like no I won't no, no. no I won't so eight, yeah eight hours a day is around about 18 years worth of use that's so. a lot of great fella because I'm useless at changing <laughs> bulbs yeah. that's amazing isn't it should we have a look at the magnification yeah. I've got a we, we also have a gems channel I don't know if you know that yeah. so we've got yeah. around a lovely little dish of gemstones here okay so i'll let you me do we'll this. do this the is, overhead always, uh, we're always gonna fun. move Try over to the shot. right <laughs> yeah let's yeah, just move it. Desk, it is that okay there and let's just oh yeah we've already got them in look look first time today so if you see what they're like on the outside yep and you can obviously see them there and then when we bring them into shot, you can see how much they actually magnify. Yeah. And then just to change the uh, colours as well, so you can see see the difference nice. there. And then obviously put them up onto the brightness. So for things well. like colour selection, when we're doing tapestry, cross stitch, our knitting colour work. Yeah. But also as well, I love the fact that that your lighting, oh, we're a sewing channel, we're soft craft. Yeah. But it's not specific to a craft, is it? No, lots of people use them for lots of other different, different yeah. things as well. Could so. be a reading lamp. 
Yeah, lots of people use them for reading. Calligraphy, um, painting, model uh, soldiers. Artists, yeah, models. Dungeons and Dragons. A lot of beauty people use our lights as well. A lot of factories use them, industrial mm -hmm. settings. So yeah, there's lots of lots of different yeah. uses. Because you know, most people, anything you're doing, you always need to have a really good quality light. So absolutely, absolutely, and I've learned the hard way over yeah. the last few years. You know, I was definitely getting to that stage where I thought, you know what, I'm not really enjoying cross stitch anymore. No. Because it was it was it felt like such a fiddle. Yeah. And I've always enjoyed it. I've been doing cross stitch since I was about twelve. Mm. Absolutely love it. And I was thinking, now nah, I'm not going to be able to do it anymore because I was just really struggling yeah. to see the holes in the ADA yeah. and the threads and threading needles, stuff like that. Um, and my opti I talked to my optician about it, and he said to me, "You absolutely do not need reading glasses. Yeah. You can read way beyond what you need to." So he said, "That's not the problem." And um, and didn't really give me any more advice than that. No. Just you don't need glasses. <laughs> but I wasn't enjoy so I so I've used magnifying light. And that's helped. Total game changer. Yeah. Total game changer. So many people have said to me actually that it's been really nice to get a light and to be able to carry on like you've just said really, be yeah. able to do what it was that they love doing and yeah. that they still can. So exactly. that's good. It's a very affordable way of getting an amazing two in one a piece of lighting from Native Lighting. It's the chameleon light. And at the moment we've got it as a table lamp. So you've got that fantastic, flexible, really strong gooseneck there. 1.75 magnification a magnifying glass. You've got your nine different settings for your lighting. Warm, cool, and daylight. And then a low, a medium, and a high setting. But then it also transforms into a floor lamp. Can we convert it back? Can we? We can. Can we yep, do that? Let's convert awesome. it back. Awesome. <laughs> if you've just joined us, this is a fantastic, brand new today lamp. Quarter of the stock's already gone. Loads more in baskets. Um, a great Christmas present. This I feel. Yeah. Sorry to mention Christmas. I'm not sorry it's not actually. Not really that long, is it? It's not long at all. At How it. many days? 74, 73 days, 11 weekends, that's all. So, basically, you put your two, you get two poles with it. Yep. E, they're really easy, you just screw one on, and then yep. you screw the next one on. Yep, no tools required whatsoever. And then you just... Then and just sort of finger tight. Just finger tight, yeah. yeah. And then you just will put your magnifying head on at the end yep. as well. Whoops. Whoops, I was going to say, if <laughs> I hold this end, yeah, then, then, then you just, that one on. we can just twist it. Yeah. And also as well, don't forget that if you're going for the split pay option. Actually, it's probably easier uh, to put it on the floor. No I interest. Think. Absolutely no interest to pay. I'll just swap, please. Sorry. Um, no interest to pay if you go for split pays. Um, you've got two split pays on this. Uh, all you pay is 55 49 uh, pay that today plus your PMP, and then in a month's time make your second payment and then you're done. So this would be completely paid for before Christmas, really helps to spread the cost, you don't have to fill in any forms, there's no credit check, it's literally just an option that you pick as you're checking out your basket. Um, and I think this would be a great present for, well, anybody frankly, um, even if you've got like teenage children, who just want some cool extra yeah. lighting yeah. in their bedroom for study, things like that. What about doing makeup? as well or yeah. nails yes particularly if you don't want to do really sort of like intricate work on the eyes and the which face i do and, and face paint you know face paint yeah. and things like that so yeah. no stage makeup things yeah. like that as well so you know ideal for all of those uses. yeah 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 i so love it so it's, it's back cool. as a floor lap yep let's just take it back into the yep. center where it started here we go. And again, at this height, it's around about 50 inches yes. tall, isn't it? I'll just move. Thank you. It's about 50 <laughs> inches tall, um, but would go slightly higher than that. Um, so absolutely perfect height if you're working at your sofa, or at your table. Yeah, and your if you've maybe got like a cross stitch stand or yeah. something like that as well, it's, it's perfect because obviously you've got your gooseneck and you can angle it exactly where you need it. And Fantastic. you've got the angle head as well. So, you know, if you want to put it in front of a cross stitch stand or a product on a tray that you've got, you can yep. just position it wherever you need it. Great, low teens left. Remember to check out your basket, everybody. 
but low teens left. Well done. Right, we are going to go over to the other desk, Claire, okay. and we are going to have a look at the neck lamp. Uh, so light, so easy to forget you're wearing it. The last <laughs> time we were together, I did forget you did. that I was wearing you said, Where's it. Where's it gone? And you're like, oh, it's still on my neck. <laughs> I'll let okay. you do the honours. So this is super, super, super lightweight. If you've actually had one before and thought, oh, I can't get on with that. It's too heavy. I can feel it on my neck. Give another one a go because these are amazing little lamps. So they're rechargeable and um, charge it up. Once it's charged up, it will last for about four hours. Awesome. It's charged. Pop it round your neck and you have got your little buttons on here. It's got again the three coloured lights. So we've got warm light and the last what cool light and the last setting is the daylight setting. It's also dimmable, so just keep your finger on the actual colour that you've chosen and that will dim down. So again, I mean, they work independently as well. You don't mm -hmm. have to have them on at the same colour. You probably wouldn't do that, but just if anybody decided, well, I fancy this or mm -hmm. a disco, mm -hmm. <laughs> <There's about laughs> like, like that. Um, so yeah, so that's what you, it's just the, a slight press of a button. The necks are very flexible as well. So a lot of people use these for uh, you know, maybe reading charts if you've got your, your project in front of you as well. Mm -hmm. So angle it to, to where you, you need the light. Mm. Lots of people wear them for dog walking. Um, like that, yeah. yeah. They said that you know at least you've got a little bit of light. People can sort of see see you coming, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, reading in bed so that you're not bothering other people because just you've got your light exactly where you need it. Um, other options are like if you're sat in the lounge at night and you haven't got any other light on and people don't want the television affected, then mm. again, you've just got your own light from your neck light as well. So yeah. so it's just your individual light. Basically. Or even as well, just when I'm going out to restaurants and cafes, I need it for reading the, the menu. menu. <laughs> yeah. yeah, otherwise the phone comes out. Yeah. And then I'm checking for emails and messages. And messages yeah. And that's not good. No. Uh, much better to use your own independent lighting. Brilliant price again, 25 99 for this. Um, some FIFO uh, uh, reviews, absolutely brilliant. Three super settings and perfect for all types of activities uh, from dog walking to fine sewing. That's Carolyn in the West Midlands. That's a lovely review. Thanks for that, Carolyn. I know um, also it's used, uh, thinking again ahead for Christmas for buying presents. A lot of people have said that they've bought them for their husbands who work on cars yes. and work in the garage doing little projects and yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah. So obviously your hands are free and then you've got your angled light into yeah, what you're doing yeah. as well. Model making, things yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, actually just, you know, I live in quite an old house and it's sort of quite dark nooks and crannies, yeah. you know, throughout. I could do with that round my neck most of the time mm. just for when I'm going into cupboards or there's a big understairs cupboard yeah. things like that just you know that gives that little bit of extra yeah. lighting i'm not allowed to put the lights on <laughs> <laughs> no i have i've been speaking of you in this little corner with a little light all huddled. i'm basically a mole and i live underground <laughs> that's what it is that's what it is i got tiny little hands um <laughs> no but they are absolutely brilliant and they are seriously they are so light last show i forgot i was wearing it and i was trying to find it maybe you even simple things like taking the bins out in the evening you know I yeah. do that and I always want a bit of extra lighting and I don't want to have to carry a torch you don't have to carry anything you've got both hands free for what you're doing mm. um, and yet it's getting dark early now yeah it is, isn't it? And the clocks haven't even gone back yet. This is this is native lighting's time. Yeah, it's, isn't it? it's our time. <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, seriously, it, have you noticed how how early it's getting dark now, mm. and how dark it is in the morning as well? Yeah. yeah. It was so, very dark. Yes, I haven't been here for about six weeks, I think, and it was yeah. like really dark. This yeah, morning. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, you notice a yeah, difference. Yeah. It might even be things like when you're getting the bus home or up to work in the morning or out to school. You know, just having that little bit of extra lighting around your neck just to kind of guide the way um, and just sort of see where you're going. Um, or just sometimes it's that little bit of I don't know, a bit of extra security, a yeah. bit of extra comfort. Mm. You've got that little bit of lighting. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And I love the fact that you can adjust both of them. I could actually see when you would have different colours on. So I'm just thinking if you were reading in bed and it might be that you have your, your bright, your daylight, the further away. 
and then maybe you have the other one just as the lowest light setting so you've got a bit of extra light but it's not right next to the person mm. i don't know it depends how sensitive but they yeah. are Personally, I'd send them into another room yeah. and just say, listen, mate, <laughs> yeah. if that disturbs you, then go and sleep yeah. on your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually, Hannah. Just saying about, you know, if you've got babies, small children, and you're just, you know, getting the kids into their car seats, yeah. just having that bit of extra yeah, light. Yeah, to be able to see the, the book. And maybe, like, if people are having, you know, feeding the baby at night and don't want to put the big light on to wake everybody up and make the, the baby big light. The big light. The big light. No <laughs> yeah. one wants to turn the big light on. No, absolutely brilliant. And also, as well, can you believe split pay? It's twenty five ninety nine. That's not your split pay. That's the full cost. But if you want to split that over two split pays, then you absolutely can. We always do split pays for native lighting. Uh, it was actually three split pays on this one. Oh, wow. Eight pound sixty six. <laughs> Eight pounds sixty six. That's all you need to pay. Get this home. Give it a go. Honestly, I think it's ace. I think it's absolutely ace. Um, we need to give a little shout out to Laurie. You and I, Laurie, mm, I'm sending you lots of love. She's three days into COVID. Oh, Ooh. hope you but get better soon. She's right? feeling better today, actually. And she says, thanks for keeping me company. You and the team have a great day. It's really kind of you to think of us and we're thinking of you as well. Um, Maureen says, is it too early to, to keep about, uh, to, sorry, I'll start again, teeth in. Is it too early to talk about keeping wine cold with Thermalam? <laughs> Not is, at all, it's no. never too early. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong people, I would suggest. <laughs> uh, Margaret says, buongiorno from Sicily. Ooh. Buongiorno, come stai? That's fantastic. Uh, Adele says, morning, Stuart and, and uh, Claire from a very frosty and sunny Helifield near Skipton. Frosty, I know. I'm saying frosty. Yeah, no way, no <laughs> way. It's just beautiful. You can't beat crisp, sunny days. Have a look. Well, I think you can, Adele. I think just sunny days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For my money. But no, you are right. At this time of year, crisp and sunny, we'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, Jan says, cheese scone day here again, Stuart. Just got to deliver them to the coffee morning before going for a blood test. Uh, Jan, we have talked about this before, haven't we? If you're going to do the cheese scone run, you need to include redditch. Mm. <laughs> Charlie doesn't like cheese scones. Do, I. do you? No. I could tell. Yeah. I could tell. Yeah. Well, I do. Scones are meant to be for cream and jam, not <laughs> cheese. <laughs> hey, I made pear and ginger jam the oh, other day. It's nice. one of my favourites. And then I had to make scones to uh, slather it on. Not cheese. Gorgeous. <laughs> Anyway, fabulous bit of native lighting. Keep going through on that. Now we have a few more options. Half the stock of that neck light though has gone. Let's do the two-in-one travel lamp. Possibly my favourite product you've ever Is done. <laughs> I love, I love it as a piece of design, as a really useful piece of lighting. Yeah. Tell us about the two-in-one. Okay. So the reason why it's called the two-in-one travel lamp is because you've got an option of a desk lamp and you've got an option of a torch. So to use the torch, you just tap it twice and it's got a really bright, wide beam. It really Can we does. actually take the lights down, please? I love taking the lights down low. <laughs> so good to see. This is, the lights are at 50%, but we can take them off. Ooh, Let's do it. Really dark, so. I've never felt more beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you can, so you can see. It's fabulous. It does really. That was rude, Hannah. That was rude. <laughs> Being rude. Should have, I've never looked better. <laughs> So yeah, it does um, really bright light and it has a really far, uh, it's a bit difficult to tell here, but you can see like it's like really the other side of the studio really. Yeah, yeah, that it perfect. That end, ends up, ends up shining. Do it too. again, do it again. Look at that. Also yeah. <laughs> 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 at the start of a 1950s crime drama. <laughs> so yeah. So that's the first option that you can use it. And then you just lift it up and it's a desk lamp. So again, it. it's got warm light, cool light and daylight and it's got a continuous dimmer on each color. So just keep your finger down and take it off and then put it on and then it'll go back up to the brightest. So that's on the cool, warm, 
and the daylight setting there. Fab. Okay. And as well, you'll notice no power cords because this is completely rechargeable. This one's completely rechargeable. So this one lasts between four and six hours once it's charged up, depending on what brightness setting you you have it on. Yeah. People say they last a lot longer than that, but obviously we have to give like you know a be conservative minimum. and, and yeah. say that's a, that's a minimum. And same thing, LED lamp yep. bulbs nope. in there. So LED bulbs, but they're never bulbs. changed. So yep, um, fifty thousand hours. Fifty thousand hours, and all our Amazing. lights are guaranteed for two years. As that's well. fab absolutely fantastic yeah i just think this is such a smart design it's so discreet as well still really sort of maneuverable bedside lamp for nighttime reading this could just be in your study or if you're working from home so many of us now yeah. are doing at least a day or two working from home mm. um lots and lots of us have got you know we just basically we find space in the home to sit and do our work that is not necessarily best placed likewise no exactly. here's your lamp for your table but equally uh close it up and take it out if you're going out to the shed or out to put the bins out yeah. again something again, like that for a dog walk dog walking really a lot of students take these to university um, so obviously they don't have a lot of space to have a, like a big lamp so mm -hmm. they can pop it in a drawer and then obviously if they're you know, walking maybe home at night they've got the torch yeah. and then they've got the desk lamp when they're working in, on their desk as yeah. well. So yeah, I do no it's that. absolutely brilliant. If you um, work on the train yeah. as well. On a plane if you don't want that big overhead light and yeah. again affecting everybody around you yeah. then you can just have your own sort of like individual light. Yeah and again if you did want to keep this charged as you go, can you use it while it's charged? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so again, you know, on trains you get the little socket, don't you, mm. for your USB. It's USB charging um, point. You could link this up to your sewing machine. You could link this up laptop. to your laptop. Yeah. yeah, and have it going through the same power yeah. source. I mean, yeah. just a brilliant, brilliant bit of design. I love that. Well done if you've got yours. $45.99. Again, split pays. Shouldn't really do them, but we do because we love native lighting. And we want you to get it home and give it a try. Three split pays on this, 15.33 is all you need to pay today. Get it home and just see the multitude of ways you're gonna use it. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. absolutely fantastic. Now we've got the tabletop magnifier, which is this one right here. Yeah, so this is one which is just a desk one, and this is mains operated, this one. This is our highest magnification, this one. It's actually three times this one, so, so the magnification on this one is, is really strong. So again, you've got your different colours on here. So we've got um, warm light, cool light, and daylight. So just change those colours there and each one has a brightness level so each one's got three brightness levels as well so again this one has got nine settings on here. fabulous 42.99 for that and actually i've got to tell you people have been uh, checking out in droves on this you're going to need to be quick you're going to need to be quick on this We've got single figures Oh wow! Yeah, really, yeah. Uh, it, you, but this is the time of year, isn't it? Yeah. I'm there making my hot water bottle covers and mm. you know cozying down. Part of it is getting sort of light ready for, yeah. for you know Being light ready. proofing your house. You know, making sure you've got all your task lighting yeah. in. Yeah. But also very giftable. It's a, it's a lovely gift this one as mm. well. So again, it's got nine settings, the three colours and three brightnesses on each one. So again, you're going to be able to find the, the, the right one that, that works for your eyes. And because the magnification on this one is three times, <gasps> you can see oh here goodness. how much that magnifies those beads wow. there. It almost like magnifies just one bead in the whole area. You're not area. kidding. <laughs> you're not kidding. That's incredible. So I'm thinking threading those needles, yeah. if you do jewellery making, if you paint those mini figures, mm. you know, like for, dun is it Dungeons Warham and Dragons, Warhammer? Warhammer? That type of thing, yeah. They're, they're so, so tiny and intricate. like, yeah, very intricate. So these, and again, you've got the gooseneck, so you can, you can angle, 
angle the head. So if you've got a, you're in front of the sewing machine, you can have it right in front of you as well. And what's nice about this one is it's a light and a magnifier. Mm. But if sometimes you think I only need a light, I don't need the magnifier, you can just pop the lid down yeah. and then you've got a perfectly good light and then yeah. you've got the magnifier when you need it. Yeah, 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 because that might distract you sometimes, yeah. might it, being yeah. such strong magnification. But you can close it off, you don't need to use it. And also as well, uh, just from an aesthetic point of view, I really, really love the smooth curviness yeah. of this one. Yeah. It's particularly curved, isn't it? Yeah. And, and very voluptuous. Yes. Yeah, I, I like, um, we've been very particular about the, the lamps that we've put into our range because I personally have felt that like over the years, crafting lamps have maybe not been the most attractive. Right, maybe a little very functional. Functional, <laughs> but maybe a little bit sort of clinical. Hospitally, yes, as well. very much so. So we've sort of tried to make them look nice in the home as well as doing what they need to do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. No, I totally agree with you. And and they're, they're not specific. You've, you've made them stylish, but you, you could have gone and said, oh, let's make them really sewing you. So we'll put decals yeah. on yeah. and needles and scissors and things like that. But, but these are for anybody and everybody. They are, yeah. Any they age, are. men and women. Yeah. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Love it, really nice, really nice lamp. Um, now, I've only got six of these left. Once everyone's checked out, I've got six left, which means there aren't that many opportunities. You can still get involved, you can still get this lamp, but I only have six chances left. And, Christmas is a coming and stock starts flying here, there and everywhere. It does, yeah. <laughs> so this is definitely the time of year when we can't start guaranteeing that we'll have things in again before Christmas. So if there are, and I'm not just talking about native lighting now, if there are things that you see, you have to start thinking, you know, this is cut off date now. I need to make sure I've got this. Yeah. Because I can't, we can't guarantee we'll have this next time you come in. Yeah. So 11 weekends. Wow, just is that saying. all? 11 weekends? 11 weekends. <laughs> I've only got three of these left now. Just got three. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's such a beautiful... It's the curves. Yeah, it's, it's the, the curves. curves, Claire. I love it. It matches us, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> That's why we like it. <laughs> exactly. But it just it is beautiful. It is very stylish. It's very smart. But it's just got those lovely, that, those lovely curves to it. Yeah, I think it's ace. Um... Heavily oversubscribed now. Lots of you going for this. Just check out your basket and we can all move on. <laughs> <laughs> really strong magnification though. Three times? Yeah, three times. Three times magnification. Look, here's the pot of beads. Now here's one bead. Yeah. That's incredible. That's incredible magnification great for real detail work but if you don't want to use the magnification just shut the lid and then you can just use that beautiful lighting nine different settings so three temperatures three settings within each yeah uh, and also um this one isn't rechargeable no, you need it plugged in that one yeah but it's usb so if you're on the train if you're maybe somewhere that doesn't have another plug socket but you're running your sewing machine or your laptop you can just plug it into the usb port and you can keep working um for as long as you like fab right we're going to go across and look at task lighting because okay. you also do the most incredible task lighting um i've just got myself a brand new super duper brother embroidery machine and sewing oh. machine and i'm needing good task lighting this is absolutely perfect for illuminating a sewing area isn't it it is if you've got a sewing machine under here it just fits perfectly yeah this is an 80 centimeter spread of light so really wide spread of light this this one is um it's on the gooseneck again so you can have it up you can angle it that way you can angle it that way mm. exactly where you want it most of the time you're going to want it like that but somebody told me the other day that they 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 light a, a dress dummy 
up, so that's why they have Makes it like that. Makes perfect sense. So it puts uh -huh. all, all of the light there. Yeah, because it's a long spread of light yeah. as well, isn't it? I mean, I was thinking of my embroidery machine because, you know, with the, I mean, a standard sewing machine, probably about this width, but with the embroidery unit attached, it is it's absolutely, big. it's yeah. this long. It's a big area. This will cover all of that area. Let's take the lights down low and just see, look, that's incredible, Claire. Yeah, it's a bit, it gives a really big pool of light. So if you're working on, say, like a big quilt or a big project and you want to At be able 2 to light it. Yeah, you want to be able to light it. So it's got a few other features, this, this lamp as well. So again, this one's got five colours. So you've got warm light, cool light and daylight on there. So you've got, it's always really hard to go around the side Sorry. Here. So you've got, it's where it says temperature. Yeah. That's your different colours. So you can see on the desk where it's changing. So warm, cool, daylight. Yeah. And then a few different ones in between. Then you've got, again, your different brightness levels. So there is five brightnesses on each colour. There's, so there's 25 settings on this one, so loads of choices. Amazing. Yeah. There's a 50 minute timer. I love that. Yeah. I love that. That it's 50 minutes. Uh, I love the fact that they actually, it gives me an indication, take a break. break. Yeah. Because I know we do this for fun, most of us, but that doesn't mean that it's good for our bodies to do eight hours machine quilting straight no, without, without getting out break. of your seat. Yeah. So every, yeah, so basically 15 minutes yeah. and then, you know, have a 10 minute break and then yeah. put it on again and then 15 minutes. So if you're going to be doing eight hours, then like you say, you just get a break in between. Yeah. It's also got a really clever auto feature, which we've got on now. So oh, if you can see this brilliant. little sensor yeah. here. So what this does is if you have the auto button on, it remembers what the light is that you're working at. So as the light in your room changes so either gets darker or gets lighter if the sunlight starts to change or you know it's different times of day then it will adjust up and down so always be at a consistent light so if you're working on a project and you're matching very intricate colors then it will always be the same light so you're always working at the same light so it's, it's a really so clever. clever feature it's so clever yeah it is really so there's clever. a sensor there's here a sensor. yeah so like you've just put your hand over that over there and so it's now changed so <laughs> that's so and indeed there you go yeah to keep this light the same that's really clever really clever and having that consistency of light mm. is so important i can't believe the price claire yeah it's a good price i can't well. for a lamp of this size for all that functionality 25 different settings the timer the sort of sensitivity yeah. if you like the to the yeah, yeah. And that's amazing and also can we just do the lights again because i just want to show just how big an area this illuminates because did you see how the light changed as well because yeah. we took the lights down it went brighter and this has illuminated the entire desk now your work desk at home probably isn't as big as this but this illuminates every inch of this desk and so if you were crafting late at night or you work in a room in the often i will if we do if we're lucky enough to have a workroom in the house a sewing room it is the worst bedroom isn't it it's yeah. the smallest it's the pokiest it's the one at the back of the house it probably isn't the one that's got the best lighting and the best aspect but this is a way of making the lighting in your room perfect for what you use it for changing the brightness as well so you can see the difference. super clever super clever now this is the white version 119.99 it's got like um almost like a frosted silver hasn't it along yeah. the back and along and the, the top, top which is very smart but if you like black we've got black got it in black yeah another thing to want to talk about is the clamp oh on these yes as well actually because it's um a very different clamp to a lot of our other lamps mm -hmm. So it's a very deep clamp, so you can deep, you know, do you. about eight centimetres depth. So if people have got like a really deep desk, but you can also attach it to the wall on this bracket that you've got so I'm here. So I'm going to turn it around and just show you that. So you've got different hole positions, so you could fix this directly to the wall. 
And that's what I'm actually thinking. If you've got like a big sewing machine or a big embroidery machine and you always have it in the same position, you could fix this against the wall yeah. so it doesn't take up any space on your desk mm. and you've always got the lighting where you need it. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. We've got a message. We've got a message, I think. Oh. There it is. Good morning, Stuart. I have both the task lights. Oh. Uh, the screw clamp fits anywhere and I couldn't live without them. A must have in our house. That's Karen in Dumfries and Galloway. Oh, she's good too. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think this is the thing, isn't it? Once yeah. you, most of us, let's be honest, haven't got one piece of native lighting. We've got two or three because you do so many different, different lamps. I had a message from a lady yesterday who said she just had her seventh delivered. So I think that Ooh, must be one of our yeah. super fans, I think. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. We've we got, we got the details on screen if you want the black. Now the black is all black. So there isn't any of the frosted silver at all. So you've got black along the top and along the back too. So this is completely black lighting. Again, it's an aesthetic thing, isn't yeah. it really? It just depends on what fits with your decor really. Yeah, yeah. Or I suppose if you're using it in maybe in the garage or in a shed where yeah. you want some extra lighting but it's a bit of a grubby environment, then, then this won't better. show. Yeah. Um, the real star of the show, apart from Claire obviously, <laughs> is the brand new chameleon lamp which we're going to have one final look at before we go to a break. Okay. Claire, if you would join me back in the middle. In the middle. Uh, fewer than 20 of these left. This is the brand new chameleon lamp. Just give us a quick rundown, A Claire. quick rundown on this one. So you've got a 1.75 magnification on this one. You've got a movable head. You've got the flexible neck where you can position the light exactly where you need it. You've got your controls on the panel where you've got different colors of light. So warm light, cool light and daylight. And then you've got three brightness levels on each setting as well. You can remove the poles and you can also turn it into a desk lamp. So depending on what you're doing and where you want to use it, you've got the desk and you've got mm. the floor option with this one. It's a small compact lens, four, four inches. Yep. Um, so that's, that's what makes this one sort of quite different and compact. Yeah, really cool and a great price too. £110.99. You can get it on two split pays if you'd like. £55.49 um, is what you pay today. You get the lamp home, you get two year guarantee from Claire, which yeah. is awesome. And then in a month's time, you make your second payment, all done before Christmas, a uh, great time to buy. Get your house or your craft area or a sewing room, sort of light ready for autumn and winter. So you can carry on crafting with accuracy and pleasure and no frustration all the way through autumn and winter claire thank you so much thank for you. a brilliant morning thank you. um when are you back i think i'm back in about 10 or 15 days awesome yeah. wonderful thanks for bringing the new chameleon lamp love it right we're going to go to a break uh, when we come back uh, we have got sally ann harrison no it's living in loveliness it's living in loveliness. I'm so sorry. It's living in loveliness, Kerry. We're going to be going crackers oh. for Christmas. So don't go anywhere. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses but I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. 
you know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.
Oh, it's great to have your company today. What a lovely morning. You know, we have the most one, you know, we have the most wonderful guests. But this morning, my goodness, we've had Claire Donnelly from uh, Native Lighting. I've got Kerry from Living in Loveliness with me now. Hey, Kerry. Good morning. Nice to see oh, you. It's so lovely to see you. You always bring such a breath of fresh air with you. It's <laughs> lovely. We always have a giggle. And then we've got Sally Ann Harrison as well. It was such a lovely, busy morning. It's absolutely gorgeous and jam packed. I've also got lovely Levi in the studio with me. Hello, Levi. Hello. And I've got lovely Hannah producing and lovely Charlie directing. I, I am Is that a your word boy. of the day, lovely? But always, <laughs> always. We're living in loveliness. We are. That's what we we're doing. Are. And that's what this hour is all about. Living in loveliness, Christmas. Now, we are going to start... I'm so I'm thrilled to bits with this. We've got reusable fabric crackers. Uh, which I can't tell you, I love reusable anything because I hate the waste, especially at Christmas. I think it's awful, all that paper wrapping, all those paper crackers, and there's no need because you can make your own. And you can make your own this year, you can make your own next year. These are brand new fabrics for today. These are customizable, they're creative. Now this is a full kit to make four crackers they're really good value they're very good value. really good value here's the cracker um you have spelled my name wrong it's actually <laughs> s-t-u-a-r-t -T. but don't worry Stuart, I've, we I've, had got this conversation. <laughs> I've got an unpicker so while you're demoing i'll just i'll rip all this out and you rip, can rip that name <laughs> off and i'll start again in the break <laughs> <laughs> we all seem to pick on craig don't we or i do anyway um there's your lovely cracker and look, we've got Kerry, we've got Honey, cute, and we've got Alex. Does Chase not get his own he's, cracker? He's not having his this he's year. Not having a cracker. I don't know where Chase is. <laughs> God. Chase, take the hint, mate. Take he, the hint. He's too busy at school to not notice. I've got some time to squeeze it in, haven't I? <laughs> but you can make all of those for nineteen ninety nine, and all of the bodies reusable. I've got extra snaps and things like that if you need those. By the way, we'll get to that in a sec. Right, Kerry, what do I get in my kit? So your kit includes everything to make these. So we've got two new colourways. We've got they come with your four mylar sheets you've got your four snaps your ribbon so there's enough ribbon in there to make four yeah and then you've also got the cream fabric we've popped that in so if you do want to um you know if you do want to put names on there yeah, then you can definitely. do that as well so inside your pattern there's a little um uh, what do you call it? Sorry, there's a little template. I was trying to think then. There's yeah. a little template oh, in there cool. as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this pattern comes with a full pre-recorded tutorial as well. So if you need to watch it back, slow it down. How do we do that? How do we so watch? Inside your pattern booklet, there's a QR code. Yeah. Um, and there's also a link to YouTube as well, which you just type into um, your search engine and it'll take you directly to oh. that particular tutorial. Awesome, awesome. And you've got your Mylar sheets, which the Cracker bodies are made out of. Of. So you've got all of your templates. Um, there's for your embroidery. You could put Merry Christmas, but you could put names as well. It's a put great Stuart idea. On. Could, could put, put Stuart. Stuart. You could. You could have. <laughs> you didn't, but you could have. Um, and then you've got all of your templates inside there as well. And they're made in two halves. So normally, where a cracker is like one whole piece that ends up getting ripped in half. This is made in two halves. That's right, yeah. So I'm not going to pull it apart. You can pull it because I've oh, not sewn I? them in. So there ah, is a snap in there. There's a snap um, in there. But if you, obviously, if you're putting the snaps in and you want to use them um, as they're intended for in this pattern, then all I've done, and I show this Ooh. in the step-by-step -step instructions and also um, in the tutorial, you just put a little tack stitch on the edges of your cracker, which Got I'll show you. you. And that little gift in there is a clear jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> thought I'd keep the kids clear. busy at Christmas. So you've got to peel the little what's it's, but it's a clear jigsaw. Puzzle. Oh, there's no picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's evil. 
<laughs> it's that or do the washing up. So, you know, the choices, the choices are available the to choices you The choices do house. the jigsaw, <laughs> yeah. frankly. Yeah. I thought yeah, it that, was brilliant. <laughs> that is fantastic. I love that. Um, and, and what's really great, actually, there's a decent sized space inside the cracker. So you could put little chocolates in there. Do you love a bit of chocolate? Do you like a um, But you could also, a friend of mine always puts, um, she makes her own crackers, and she always puts a, like a lottery scratch card oh, in there. Oh, good idea. She's hoping that one year one of us is going to win the big prize, you know. Oh, yeah, that which would, would be, be nice. nice. That would be, especially yeah. on Christmas Day. What a treat. Yeah. Would Lovely. you share it? Would of you share course, it? Of course, of course. Of course you would Say share anything it. right now. <laughs> um, but you can put your own jokes in there that could be charades. Do yeah. love charades. Yeah. Or you could put like a little saying or, or something like that. Or it could be like a, your gift could be something like, I'll do the washing up for you. Yeah, or... we, I bought little, uh, last year, little quote cards as well. So like oh, quote nice. of the day. So I put little quotes in there that were yeah. relevant to to each person with, with the intention that you know put them in their purse or their wallet haven't yeah. seen them since mine's in my mine's in mine to remind me so mine's in my purse it's a nice little You're playing inspirational fair. yeah so absolutely. I, I love things like that it's so. absolutely fab i love it you get all your fabric the snaps the ribbon the instructions the mylar the snap <laughs> and of course you can reuse these crackers year after year uh, Lucinda's got in touch who's in Devon to say these crackers are easy to make and are fantastic Kerry you are amazing love Lucinda in Exeter Lucinda came to see us when we were in Exeter uh -huh. and she, she bought us um, boxes of chocolates actually Ooh. which were perfect to slot in these ones I, <laughs> I do have to say they didn't make it they were eaten all by Craig not by me I found the package in, so they're not making it to the crackers but they would have been perfect they I'm would have been I'm definitely <laughs> unpicking this that's outrageous behavior uh, that's absolutely lovely um, gorgeous um this is a very me fabric actually all of your fabrics are very me this is gorgeous lovely deep red background you've got your little mistletoe berries and leaves there and loads of gorgeous metallic yeah. gold on there because at Christmas Kerry frankly I want it all absolutely all I the love, gold, all. All the I silver, I love all the these glitter. traditional fabrics it's lovely to have them especially with yeah. all the lights and the metallics on there they're Me timeless too. aren't they it's absolutely gorgeous there's for your little embellishment either Merry Christmas or you know you don't even have to embroider these you could use your Santangle fabric marking pens you could write the name on that's a nice idea or yeah. stamp as well stamps stamp are nice it. yeah I've yeah. done them you know personalised decorations machine with embroidery. stamps. And but also it's quite well, nice to have slow stitching time as well, isn't it? I agree. And also you can buy lovely little, they call them picks, don't they? Which are like little, almost like little corsages that you can buy already yeah. done. Or you can make your own yeah. with like artificial leaves and berries yeah. or you could get the real thing and add them yeah my mum's um i tend to keep things nice and simple so as they're as they're intended mm -hmm. you know the way we've put those together but my mum's brilliant she just puts lots of embellishments on things bells and oh, yeah. you know they she just transforms them really she'll just sit and yeah. play with them so she made some i'll have to share some photos actually she made some spectacular ones exactly. i like the bells actually for when you're Oh, you know, it's a gorgeous yeah. one. Please don't mention bells again. Every time you say bells, the whole gallery goes, oh, bell. And it sounds <laughs> like they still awake from a night's drinking. It's not, it's not a good thing. I didn't realise we had a sing-along going on here oh, today. Oh, I mean, really? That's and that, well, I wouldn't it call it singing, Kerry. <laughs> You've heard me sing though, so you know, I've probably just about <laughs> participate in that today. <laughs> Although I fear I may not be invited back if, I, if that's what I choose you to do. You will, you will. <laughs> now we have a second colourway, and actually if I was doing a table of eight, I would do one of each, because they blend together really nicely. Yeah. But um, is this one, and I'm going to bring the fabric out and show you. So you get, obviously, your instructions, reuse usable instructions, your template, your mylar, your snaps, all that good stuff. You get your cream and um, gold spotty fabric for your names or your embellishments. You get red ribbon this time. So again, you know, you could mix and match these if you buy both sets. And then this gorgeous fabric look. 
absolutely beautiful an ivory background Ooh. but i still love i've got a dress made in this fabric this is I gorgeous two-tone green holly leaves and berries the poinsettias which are for me just shout christmas yeah. beautiful absolutely gorgeous you're going to demo with this i'm going to demo you? with this one yeah love this it. could be yours this could be yours look oh there you go hint hint taken <laughs> <laughs> well i mean come on i'm glad someone noticed there you go which one should we do charlie should we do red or should we do coordinating oh coordinating, oh, coordinating. there we go <laughs> now if you want instructions on their own we can do that we'll put the details up on screen so 9.99 you get the full instructions you also get access to the full pre-recorded tutorial now i've watched some of kerry's tutorials they are superb such a if you're a visual learner if you like to actually see things being done in real time watch the videos as well won't you they're there you don't need them it, you can get by perfectly well with your pattern and your instructions and your templates but i think it's worth it's, watching it's nice videos. having it it's because it's company as well isn't it you yeah. know it's company yeah. absolutely get living in loveliness into your home <laughs> yeah definitely so there's your instructions 9.99 sorry yeah 9.99 big bomb now um if you want obviously you do get your instructions in your bundle so if you're going for either of the bundles for 19.99 that puts into perspective what great value those kits are doesn't it because you're paying an extra 10 pounds for all the fabric all the ribbon the snaps the mylar yeah, it's all there it's all there to make four crackers that is brill that is absolutely brilliant. And remember, yes, you'll need to replace the snaps unless you do what we do at home, which is to pull them <laughs> and everyone shouts Like bang. I've done in that one. <laughs> <laughs> we all <Just> shout bang. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm if you try want that to replace that, do it. Do it. <laughs> Instead, you have to go things like bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we've got innards as well. We've got innards. So in your innards kit, you get four sheets of mylar, which is enough to make four crackers, four snaps, and you also get a bundle of ribbon and you get green ribbon yeah. in the bundle. Yeah. So that would work with either of the fabrics. So if you've got five people in your family or seven people in your family or coming around we're, we're, a, we're a five we're you're a five, five. Yeah. so you might need to make some extras um, or you just want to mix and match and use some of your own fabrics you can absolutely do this so you could buy this plus the pattern if you wanted to you could buy this plus a full kit and then you can make eight a third of the stock of this has gone already already this is mylar um hint hint this is also the most amazing template plastic for using for your crafting for your quilting for your sewing as well um and a very very affordable way of buying four <laughs> sheets of my that's a really yeah. good and it's deal, three actually. meters that you get in there three uh, meters three of meters ribbon. of ribbon in there fantastic yeah fantastic so you might actually be thinking well i'm going to buy a kit and make crackers for us for the table i'm gonna we're going red green and gold but i want to make a couple of crackers maybe for mum and dad yeah. who are celebrating christmas and they do it all in purples or yeah, pick up nice. blues or yeah. whatever fabulous colors my tree Gorgeous. used to be those colors actually. really yeah yeah i had that years ago you get those fashion colors yeah. don't you yeah do you remember I'm, the upside down Christmas tree? Yeah, I never had the upside down Christmas tree. I, 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 when the black Christmas trees first came, Ooh. I thought you would have a black Christmas tree. And then the Did following year, it? I had the black Christmas Did tree. You? Couldn't stop thinking about it. And that's when I had all the teals and the blues. And it was spectacular. And you then, can do anything you like when you get we went the kit. Back traditional. Yeah. But I kept it just in case I ever changed my mind. Yeah. I'm not very good at partying with things. Halloween tree. There you go. <laughs> Halloween tree. Um, now, before we go to demo, I do just want to mention baubles. I'm going to grab this for me is when I, oh, look, don't make one. Don't make one. You won't be able to stop at one. Look at these. These are so smart. They're an app. Every one of them is a work of art. But would you believe completely beginner, beginner friendly? Completely beginner friendly. We're going to start with large cream. No. 
I would call the other one large cream. <laughs> so the cream ones are the ones with the cream stars in the centre. Are they labelled large cream or? It's no, 49. I Normally I do that, I didn't do that. Uh, <coughs> There's no number on. Okay, I'm going to dig in and have a look. That's, that's not the poinsettia. Cream. That's poinsettia, so that's good to know. So it's the other large one. Oh, wait a minute, there's two other large ones. Is that the large cream? That's, nope. that's large red. That's large red. This is large so the cream. Last one. The, the last very one. last one. Good. <laughs> Excellent. I'm on fire, aren't I? I really am winning at life. We were too busy chatting. I'll take the blame. We were. So this is large cream, yes? Yes, that's this right. This is large cream. So let me show you the bauble. So this is the large cream. It's a really nice size. That's a really nice size. And look, it's double-sided. You get your your cream star in the centre and then it's surrounded. Do you call this, is it Suffolk patchwork? Yeah. Or, yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? So intricate looking. But this is an afternoon's fun. No sewing involved. Yeah. You get your polystyrene ball, which is the base of your bauble. This is the genius. All of your fabrics are pre-cut by Kerry. Lovely, lovingly cut. Lovingly cut. I love cutting you these. Love cutting. I do, I do, I do. I do love cutting. I love the preparation of projects. Ah, we love you for that. <laughs> that means you, you don't even need a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors, frankly. You can get straight into it. You get all of your sequin pins. The whole thing's pinned. It's not sewn or glued. There's no glue. You get your ribbon for creating the band and also this gorgeous ribbon on top, which again, held with pins. And uh, that's it, you're ready to launch in. And you've got, of course, your full instructions as well for creating your patchwork bauble. There are QR codes in these booklets So there's now. a video as there's well. There's a video tutorial Amazing. for all Amazing, love that, love that. Right, so that's large cream. We've also got small cream. I think you'll be impressed. I am very impressed. So this is small cream. A message from Louise in Hertfordshire who says, I'm going to make a bauble for each family as a keepsake. That is a lovely idea for many, many years to come, hopefully to pass down. I That's lovely. I love, oh yeah, I yeah. love anything. I love a story behind a project. I've had a lovely morning with Sally Ann and we've been chatting about the stories that we, you know, we receive yeah. and, yeah. and how heartwarming it is actually. It's so it's lovely. always lovely to hear stories like yeah. this. Yeah, the things you've designed and made yeah. become heirlooms yeah. in a family and something like, I was talking yesterday about a Christmas boot that we won in a raffle. Is this um, the one that gets passed around? I feel like you've told me this yeah, it comes out it no, comes okay. out every year yeah i feel but yeah. now it's not christmas till the boots out okay and one year we couldn't find it and we were absolutely desolate until we found it who lost it because it's because it's, <laughs> it's christmas it's so good i when love the, this yeah it's important so with your small cream and this is small cream whoop, there we go this is small cream so you can see large cream small cream go really nicely together don't they big bear and baby bear there's small cream um you get your 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 bauble your polystyrene bauble your ribbon all of your fabrics pre-cut your instructions and your pins everything included you don't need anything else do you um elaine in somerset says hi Stuart and kerry it was lovely to meet you at exeter with your beautiful products and delve into our possible family history so elaine, elaine P., tell me the story elaine uh, came to see us and elaine has the same last name padmore as we yeah. do so yeah. we were trying to see if there's a connection um, and Elaine was sharing some stories, so she's um, digging, delving into her family history and ah. seeing where their connections. So uh, as Padmore obviously comes from Craig's side, we yep. were trying to see if they, they knew anybody. So we left it to Elaine to do all the, um, all the research and come back to us. So oh, thank you very cool. much for messaging in. Well, hopefully there's a connection. There we go. How well, you're exciting. connected in sewing, if nothing Definite. else. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. That's cute. I love that. Now, I've got large red, which I haven't got the bauble. Large red. No, I have. It's here. Oh, no, wait, have small. I got that one? Oh, la just small red. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Just got small red. That is this one. 
Oh, is that a different technique? This is this is the poinsettia I've actually got the Sorry, large red over here. Sorry, that's poinsettia, you've got large red. So this, the one uh, that small, I'm holding. No, we want small red. Sorry. So small red is, small that's is it? This one, yeah. That's it? Sorry. Sorry. Right, this is small red. That's delish. Love that. It's got so, that lovely poinsettia fabric on the outside. Mm, it's gorgeous. So red star in the centre. So same again, you get your instructions, pins, all your pre-cut fabric, your ribbon and your ball. Um, Size-wise, Kerry, what's the diameter of so this So these ball? are eight centimetres, the smaller eight yep. and the larger ten centimetres. Brilliant, brilliant, yeah. It's a great size. I like to hang special baubles in the window yeah. with like fishing wire. Oh yeah, that's nice. At different nice heights, yeah. so they hang in the window. The little really ones, pretty. actually, they're great. So if you've made the Christmas wreath, they fit nice, nicely in the centre of oh, the Christmas the wreath. Yeah. So somebody sent us a photo after the last show. Yeah. Um, and they'd made the smaller one, and they'd just popped it in the centre. Oh, in that's the centre, a lovely idea. Is, I like yeah. that. It's nice to see that your projects come together, isn't mum it? Mum and dad bells, I think. Mum, I oh, my mum adds bells to everything. Mm. She loves bells. Mm. Pack mm. a bells and mm. she's happy. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Elizabeth from Merseyside says, I have a collection of these baubles uh, decorating my stairs. I like that. They're amazing and so therapeutic to make. You know, it was mental, World Mental Health Day this week, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And I've been thinking all week about how much crafting just helps us to relax to focus yeah. to get away from things and it's perfect for that and these are lovely because you know once you've once you've made that center center part of the ball ball mm. you've perfected that technique for sure so working out on your layers and your pieces you know you're just repeating that so you can zone out i quite like a project you know we do lots of yes. large projects that require a lot of attention and measuring and making sure we get it just right Whereas this, although the measurements are in there, and, and you know, if you like it absolutely exact, the measurements, and you can mm, measure these with a mm. ruler, but I tend to just, you know, by eye. So it's quite nice, you know, sitting with friends. Yeah. Um, and I make these when we're traveling. I'm not a very good passenger. Um, so I always try and find crafts I can do while I'm, you know, while we're traveling. We do a lot of traveling. And this yeah. is a nice sort of passenger project as well. So yeah, yeah. feel like I've achieved something with that long journey. Yeah. I haven't had too much time to focus on what's around me which I'm not very exactly. comfortable with. Keep um, off your phone yeah. and you know and also as well I, I, I wonder whether the sort of particularly mindfulness bit comes from it not being sewn with a sewing machine. Yeah. Don't need a sewing machine. Yeah. I think it's all. I, I find it, um, I, I said to you earlier, you know, just cutting because I cut so mm. many of these. I know I can just, mm. you know, we've had rulers made to size. So, you know, I can just do that without much thought at all. So yeah. I find that really therapeutic yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I really like the idea of getting a few of these kits for me and friends sitting around the table, Christmas tunes on. Mold wine. Little glass of mold wine. I've just bought some gorgeous double walled, like, glass mugs oh. all i need now is the mulled wine or mulled cider and then mince warm mince pies living in loveliness bauble kits all round <laughs> and just Christmassy chit chat. That's right. I'd intended on doing that with Lucinda's chocolates, but Craig had a different plan for it. Craig, <laughs> how could you? How could you? She did this warn is the him. She did warn him. No, no. This is the large poinsettia. This is a different technique, isn't it? Because you actually yes. get proper. Oh, look at that! Like a proper poinsettia flower. I love the little sequin in the centre as well. Look at that. That is really smart. I just mm. felt when Add we did the these, that it just missed something. It needed mm -hmm. a little mm -hmm. extra something mm -hmm. there. But it's this a similar technique. It's just two additional folds onto there to create yeah. the poinsettia, which we've demonstrated lots of times. Yeah. Um, and there's less layers on the poinsettia as well. So um, mm. there's less layers. So okay. less cutting if you're going for these and you're making them yourself. Fair enough, because you get full instructions. You can make All more. There, yeah. And we've got more ball, more balls, by the way. We've got more of those polystyrene balls. If you want to make more of these, you can. Um, Pre-cut fabric, gorgeous deep red ribbon. You've got your bauble as well. This is the large, this is 10 centimetres diameter. A real statement piece, isn't it? Really something to show off. And also robust. This will last every year. But keep your box, because your finished bauble goes in there. 
and then you keep it safe for next year and the year after. And then it's nice, isn't it, when you're getting your decorations out, seeing what you've made, you know, you're building on those year after year. Well, it does, but you have to allow time for reminiscing and more time every <laughs> yeah. year that goes by. Do you remember when we made these? Yeah. Yeah, lovely I know, though. we've got a little snowman that Alex made and, and it's the scariest looking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it has pride place every year and the older he gets, the more he's a bit like reeling. I'm like, yes. oh, I love that because he was so proud of that snowman. Try and not getting it out one year and see how long it takes for him <laughs> yeah. to notice and complain. <laughs> we'll be looking everywhere. It'll be yeah, like, where's yeah, yeah. the snowman? <laughs> now, we've got small poinsettia here as well, haven't we? We have. Small poinsettia is right here. So when we did these last year, we, the feedback that we got is that, um, you know, if you've just got a little tree or if you have a little sort of a, tr a, triggy, a twiggy tree, yes. um, that the, the large ones are a little too heavy for the smaller trees and that's mm. why we made them smaller this year that's why we mm. bought those mm. in but I love a mixture of yeah. sizes anyway and especially if you're going to do um, you know a garland up your stairs you know when you're going to put lots of them oh, on yeah, love or, that idea, the you know stairs. having different ones different fabrics um, mm. and different designs look spectacular really yeah 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 I particularly yeah. like the idea of hanging um, a couple in the centre of a wreath mm really like that idea i think that is gorgeous or even one with a few bells Love or a bells. few smaller commercial balls. i feel like i need to like get some real get good some bells, bells now for my mom get some bells <laughs> you could also you bells. Could a tassel off the bottom that's, as well if that's you what wanted. i'm thinking i'm thinking three little you know staggered mm. ones dangling at the bottom she'd absolutely have that on the front door driving my dad insane there when we you all go. swing it open. They, there's those bells again <laughs> There's those bells again. I love it. I love it. It's one of your most iconic projects, I feel. <laughs> uh, now, if you need polystyrene balls on their own, got you covered. You get two. You get two. Uh, you know what I'm going to do with them now, don't you? Juggle with them. Juggle with Can I'm you juggle? Can you juggle? <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can't. Four pound for two. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Uh, yep. <laughs> Don't know where that came from, Kerry. Ye years but I ago, know I I'll never do it again. In a, in a, um, a, um a youth centre and uh -huh. they had the circus in and they were there to teach us to juggle yeah. and everybody perfected the actual skill of juggling oh. but I managed to sort of get, I'd always got one in each hand and just sort of moved one but that okay. was juggling to Fair me. Yeah, so I've been yeah. teaching Chase and he's now perfected it and I only found out yesterday when Chase was doing it again. Craig said, that's not actually how you, you do know that's not how you juggle. All this time, I think I was about 17 when I did that, so I've thought I could juggle all my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until I've taught yeah. Chase the incorrect yeah. way. <laughs> he's, a real, he's a real bubble burster, isn't he? Yeah. I was like, listen, you can't do this, so we're still one ahead of you. <laughs> Uh, June says, I made a bauble last year. It's so gorgeous. It stayed on my white tree all Aww. year. My mum has a twiggy tree up all yeah. year. It's got it's lights nice, on it. It's nice, isn't it, to change it for the different yeah, yeah, seasons. it's lovely. Oh, Pauline Wheeler's got in touch too. I love Pauline, Pauline. Pauline. Um, Pauline's Pauline. in today, I think. She is. She says, morning, my two lovelies. I'll see you soon. Hey, we'll see you soon, we'll Pauline. We'll probably drag her in. We'll drag her we'll in. We'll have to drag her in. She <laughs> loves it. Um, now, notice the obvious mistake on the next graphics. They're not eight metre baubles. <laughs> I will just warn you, don't be don't I'm be not concerned. doing the cutting for that size. <laughs> eight centimetres, I'm good with, I could do that. They'd be like to hang from the front of Selfridges in London, wouldn't <laughs> yeah. they? Eight metre imagine, baubles. Imagine, that's what we should aim for next year. I think so, Kerry, if you're, you know, if you're really committed. <laughs> Three pound, you get two, again, these are the small size, eight centimetres. <laughs> Eight centimetres, not eight metres. All right, for three pounds. So if you want to make extras, that's the way to do it. Awesome. Uh, also, if you want instructions on their own, you can get instructions on their own. We'll put the details on screen. It's 6.99, that's great, that's brilliant. 
So if you're prepared to do your own cutting, you could get the instructions, a selection of baubles, and then get some fabrics cut and get your friends around. Yep. What kind of pins should I use for this, um, by the, the way? The, to, to use these, they're sequin pins. Okay. So you need 50, 15 grams, 15 millimetre of sequin pins Lovely. of these ones. Thank you. Should we make a cracker? I'm coming over. I want to make a cracker. Let's make a cracker. Let's, Let's make your it. cracker. Let's make my cracker. Let's make your cracker. I'm not making my own cracker. <laughs> I'm going to give this to I'm going to watch. So what you'll need, so oh, in each little... piece of your, I've, I've just realised I've used it there. So from each piece of your mylar, there is um, instructions how to mark these ones up. It's important um, that you follow the diagram so you're getting these out of each piece of your um, mylar because you need four, two for your exterior and two for your interior there. Um, and then you, the best thing to do is just use a permanent marker and mark up each piece. Now, the trickiest part of this project is actually getting that circle to stand still and that's why we use mylar in these. So we, when they're pulled mm -hmm. and snapped, they pop back into shape. Of course. So you're marking these, um, marking up your pieces, and then you're also marking up, I think this was about half an inch, just from the edge, and then you're taking your tape. Mm -hmm. When you bring your tape together, you're then just going to line up the edge of the mylar here with that line. Just take a little bit of tape. Mm -hmm. And then we're securing this together. You need to provide together. your own tape, don't need you? Need to provide your own pen. Permanent marker is the best thing to use on here because you don't want it to rub off. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're popping this and sliding it yeah. in or pop it to one side. What kind of tape should I use? Sellotape. Sellotape's Any, fine, yeah. yeah. Sellotape's perfect. Yeah. So yeah. all I do on here is just pop a little piece on and then take a longer piece, slide that through the centre. And this is the trickiest bit, really, I suppose. But the more you do, the easier it becomes, of mm. course. Just to make sure you've got one full loop and that's holding together because there's nothing more frustrating than when you're sliding those into the um, into the cracker itself for them to pop open. So again, on each of these, I'll just go through and do that on each. Mm -hmm. Again, just lining those up, sticker over the top, and then your longer piece inside. See, the, the thing which we sometimes forget to mention is that, that actually the sitting around, I mean, it's not just about using these crackers and the fun and the extra craftiness at Christmas. It's the whole sitting down making them, yeah. isn't it? And it's these, these little things, you know, once you've marked them up, cut them yeah. out, this is, I tend to find, you know, when I'm sitting overnight, I like to always be doing Me something. I'm not very good at not doing something. So these, if I was making these again, then this is something that I sort of relax. Oh yeah. Old wine, obviously, if yeah, it's available. Yeah, yeah. Or cup favorite of tea. Christmas tunes. What is your favorite Christmas tune? Uh, Winter Wonderland. Oh, lovely. Can you play it on the guitar? I can play Jingle Bells. I've told you this. <laughs> Very Didn't poorly. Ask if you could play Jingle Bells. <laughs> asked if you could play Winter Wonderland. Maybe. I did say, actually, I, last year we went, I think I told you this, and it was like, right, we're ready for a new new song. Which one do you want to do? Craig wanted to do Nirvana, so of real course, heavy metal. Yes. I wanted Jingle Bells. And he was like, you two even married? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd perfected it until I played it, and the kids were like, what was that? <laughs> So yeah, I haven't actually There's picked no it filter, up. is there? Not with children. <laughs> <laughs> so you make all your different sections. So you've got your exteriors and then you've got two parts in the centre. That's it. So, and it's important because there's a slight difference in your measurements. Mm. So it's important that you keep these together. And if you have a little look, you know, they're one slightly wider, so they're tucking inside. Of so what I tend to do um, is just keep all the exterior bits in a pile, all the interior, all the interior bits in a pile as well. Ah. Fiona's messaged in to say, morning, looking forward to seeing all your goodies at Malvern Autumn Quilt Show next week, Kerry. Yeah. So you're going to be at Malvern? We're at Malvern next Lovely. week. Lovely. Yeah. Is that a good show? It's a brilliant show. Oh. It's a brilliant what show. What day is it on? Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday next next week it's a lovely show i'll have to look and see if i can pop down yeah, after come, come. i'm on next week but i can't remember i think i'm on tuesday wednesday thursday aren't i i'm not in on friday tuesday wednesday so i'll yeah. be going home it's a thursday. nice it's it's mm. a lot smaller yeah but, um, nice. but it's nice because it you know it's you really get the opportunity to have a a good chat with everybody yeah, yeah, as course. well so we love and mulvern for us isn't too far so what I'm going to do here is to just take the, and I'll repeat this on both interior and exterior, we're simply folding those over and aligning the raw edges. 
and then we're just going to sew along that raw edge starting and finishing here um, with a reverse stitch so I'll do that on both pieces. Okay. Just need to let you know, stop warning, the, the colourway that Kerry's demoing with, that's the cream, there are only three of those kits left. Two now, two now. And then the red colourway that I've got here, which I'm just going to grab, I'll show you quickly again what Kerry shows, the red. I've only got four of these ones left, so this is the red colourway. But don't they go beautifully together? If you need eight crackers or six crackers, do three and three. The spare innards have sold out as well. Okay. Everyone's going crackers. They're all going crackers. crackers. I have a question for you. Do it, I love it. Do you hang mistletoe at Christmas? Oh, yes. I didn't get any. I asked this question the other day on a, oh, on a yeah. live. And I, we normally always get it from the same um, farm. Mm -hmm. And last year they didn't do it. And it felt oh. really strange not having it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's my thing. You know, I Did have to you find know, it. traditionally, you're supposed to, for every kiss, you're supposed to take a berry off and when they're all gone no more kisses so your number of kisses are restricted by the number I of need berries a big bunch then. <laughs> i never knew that i never well, knew that i never I knew it, that I, I read it once i just so, i just wondered because we we always yeah, have it and I when we it. have guests yeah. like that's so strange that you would hang that you know i didn't i thought it was a what tradition what are you druids that's right. So I've just been asking yeah. people, is it a, oh, a no, tradition? Oh, no, I love it. Yeah. yeah, of course it's traditional. It's lovely. I mean, I, you know, still say to the kids, like, yeah, come and give mum a kiss. Yeah. They're like, not mm, really. Come on. Everything I do embarrasses them these days. <laughs> well, that's your job I, right I, I, now, isn't exactly it? That's exactly why I'm going to yeah. get lots of it this year. Just, that's, you know, just to embarrass yeah. the kids. Every room of the house. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Come on. Come here. <laughs> it's horrible that oh. there's a certain age that you become... Um, embarrassing to your children but oh, I, I love it and i'm making have, the most just of it pets. <laughs> just have pets they're never embarrassed by their own no he loves a good sleep. and i can give cuddle. mrs mills as many kisses as i'm prepared to there you go she loves there kisses you go. um another little message for you from sue says oh i'll be stalking your stand on sunday at malvern come and stalk us come and see us we yeah. love to see you yeah. we love so you've to made see you two tubes so i've made two tubes this is the point where you keep make sure they're separate yep. and then what we're going to do here is just fold this back on itself yeah and then you're bringing these two raw edges together gotcha make sure your seams here line up so yeah. there's no twists inside there and then i've got a lovely little job for you Stuart. okay yep so you're going to slide the iron just in the tip yep roll this around just to give that a real good crease yep and on this end so the open raw edge end yep. You're going to do that. In fact, we'll slide this Folding back, make it a little in. bit. Yeah, so in for about half an inch. Yep. And that just allows a little pocket, if you like, for your mylar to slot into. Do you want that on the top and the bottom? Top or and the bottom for me, the please. The folded in? Yes, yeah. please. Yeah, no about, about half an inch. Half an inch is great, actually, because it just allows. Because what we're going to do is slide the mylar between the layers. And then as we bring the mylar back, it tucks into that little lip, if you like and then I sew through. So I sew okay. straight through um, w with the intention of sewing and piercing that mylar there so it stays in place. Got you. And I don't change the needle for that step. You might find if you've made lots of them you will need to refresh your needle but I don't use a particular needle for that. Got you, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna do the other little, I didn't realize you were just literally gonna stand and watch me. What did you think I was gonna do? I was, I'm not just watching, I'm admiring Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> Should I continue with this one? Well, I mean, you know, it's entirely I've up to you. I've become very good at delegating and watching. Haven't you just? I remember when me ironing for you was a novelty and now it's just an expectation. <laughs> Take full advantage. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do it. As do Stuart it. said, I must do something while I'm stood here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the same on the opposite side. Now, in your pattern booklet as well, um, whether you're going for just the pattern or whether you're going for the kits, you've got a little um, template in here. So this will rest just underneath your um, your cream fabric just here and that's why we selected cream for both of these and what you can do is just draw around this I mean I've put names of our family on here but if you want to go all out and keep it generic for your Christmas table then you're just going to trace over that Merry Christmas 
and then to secure those into place all I did here is just did a running stitch to secure that onto there mm -hmm. but of course you could put anything on I mean there's lovely little motifs that you can buy and fuse those on oh yeah or you can keep them you know if you're making masses of these you might not even want to add this to this section but it is in there for you anyway well I'm obsessed with my brother embroidery machine at the moment <gasps> oh, yeah. so I will be embroidering everything including mrs mills if so when i see you next enough. can you bring miss stewart and charlie and i'll pop it on your crackers <laughs> fair enough all right. i think that's a very good deal it's isn't a it? done deal there you go <laughs> so for your mylar now you've got a middle which is going to go so your middle section is where you've got that single press so not your um, where you've got these two little lips and the nice thing about working with a mylar is you know even if you press it together it still pops out and retains that shape so and it's heat resistant as well, yes. isn't it? So if you do ever touch it with an iron, it's not going to melt. Yeah. So we're just going to fold this up and slide this through. So as I push that through the layers and that crease at the bottom or that press line that you popped in, it just stops exactly where it needs to. So that extra few moments of pressing is, is really worth its weight in gold. Did you do an okay job? You did a fabulous job. You can definitely that's make all more. I need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all the reward this is I the need. Thing. You are so good at this. I just know that I can pass it across. And I'm a people pleaser. You what are? can I say? You are. I just want to make you proud. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the other one. There we go. So this one goes in and just rests snug. Now the, the tricky part here is we'll sit this onto the machine. And as it's on the machine, you're going to allow the machine, let's just do a little bit of this here. So about an eighth of an inch in, nice and slow on your machine, because there's not a lot to rotate here. But you're just going to sew through those layers, making sure that you're sewing through the mylar as well, so it's not slipping in and out. Especially, you know, once you've made these, you're going to mm -hmm. want to bring these out year after year. So just because of time, I won't finish that So do you that have to off. use a special needle to no, sew through? No, so I, I mean, there, there, there might be a written rule somewhere that you can, but I tend to just use the one um, that's you know, the universal yeah. one that's on yeah. the machine. I generally tend to find, you know, if you're just making one, it's not going to make too much difference to mm -hmm. your needle, but if you're making lots of these, you might want to just change it before you then go on to Fair sew enough. another project. Yeah. Yeah. So once you've secured the first one in, you then take your end, so again, this is my exterior section. Popping and sliding this in, in the same way. And then just as we mentioned here, this fabulous pressing that Stuart did, we're just sliding that in and tucking this back on itself, on Got one you. section. Line up your seam. So once your seam's in the right place, you're then going to, quilting clips are perfect for this project as mm -hmm. well. Couple on there to secure in place especially because you've got the two layers and you will find there's a little bit of movement in there and then again you're just sewing through you've got those additional so layers you could also put a little line of um glue stick couldn't yeah, you yeah glue sticks i oh, wouldn't be without glue well. sticks yeah, yeah. Oh, I glue know. What sticks do we do without things oh like honestly that? i wouldn't be without them and anything you know pop your glue in fact i think that's probably what i did the first time i made those pop the glue in there pop yeah. the clips on few yeah. moments and it's nice and secure and then you're not battling to get oh, your exactly. hands in anything and move that makes them. the job easier it's ever such a clever design kerry it's brilliant very nice and easy and then there's your little so there's your one side in. we'd repeat the same on here and then because of the difference in your sizes they slot together nicely and, and all your you've crackers. that's your cracker Oh, I think it's brilliant. Absolutely. A little bit of ribbon. Genius. Chocolate. You, you just sit at home playing with fabric and thinking, what can <laughs> I do exactly next? exactly what I do, actually. I love it. I absolutely I love, love it. I love a, a You're so clever. With fabric. You're so clever. <laughs> and you keep coming back with lovely ideas for us that just help to reinvigorate crafting. The more frequently I do that, the more it keeps me out of trouble. So I've got, I've got ah, to stick to it, you see. Now it makes Otherwise, sense. I would just create mischief. Mayhem. <laughs> Absolute mayhem. Uh, I think. Hannah, is it fair to say that all of the kits are sold out for the crackers? Instructions on their own if you want them. But yeah, otherwise, Thank you very, very much. well done. Thank Excellent. Um, I'm just going to nip back across, Kerry. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs> see you in a mo. See you in a mo. Um, just want a quick look at the uh, baubles. Poinsettia large. Bit of a different technique, 
two different folds, two more folds to create the poinsettia fold, all included in your instructions. And also as well, of course, you've got your full video tutorial that you can sit and watch. Now I think that's lovely to actually sit down, read through the instructions, then sit and watch the video, and then I think if you read the instructions again, everything sort of yeah. slots into place, We, we had it? so many messages. I mean, we've repeated these uh, frequently, asking me the last date we were on, and, and my memory is dreadful, actually. Yeah. Um, so we thought by adding the uh, QR code in the tutorial, it's all just in the same place for you. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and as you say, you have the opportunity to just, especially that poinsettia fold yes. it's really helpful for that yeah now of course if you're buying any of the kits your fabrics come pre-cut you do also get the instructions included in your kit now if you're buying instructions on their own then they're the same instructions that you get inside your kit both sets of instructions tell you the exact measurements that you would cut your fabrics in future if you want to make extras so all of that is in there don't worry you haven't got to start measuring your bits of fabric and jotting down the numbers even though it's done for you in the kit you do have full dimensions right now if you want to make extras um, of course you can now the baubles that we've got today they've all sold out but we will get more in because we know how popular they are and we know once you've made one or two of these you will make loads a uh, small poinsettia is the bauble. Um, the po I must admit, the poinsettia is my favourite today. I love it. Yeah. I'm a bit poinsettia obsessed. Yeah, at the moment. I love poinsettias. Gorgeous. They're so Christmassy, aren't they? And just joyful. Um, this is the small poinsettia, eleven ninety nine. It's eight centimetre bauble. You get your polystyrene bauble in your kit. You get your full instructions. You get all of your sequin pins. You also get all of your fabrics. This is the genius bit. You get all your fabrics pre-cut for you to size. You get your little sequins for the centre of your poinsettia. You get your ribbon. You literally do not have to add anything to make your whole bauble. And this is the kind of thing that you'll bring out year after year after year. It's never gonna date. It's classic. And also as well, if you're buying a kit, your kit comes in your storage box. Don't throw it away. Store your bauble in. Which you... is probably the most useful thing, isn't it? It's quite nice Brilliant. in storage. Brilliant. I mean, so often <laughs> packaging, I mean, especially if you buy from the Long River, is excessive and yeah. a bit offensive, really. But this packaging, you, you will absolutely want to keep it and reuse yeah. it because it'll keep your bauble yeah. safe. Love it. Um, large cream. It's the star, Stuart, not the bauble. <laughs> Large cream. You got them you get, in that. <laughs> <laughs> Your centre star is cream, hence the name. And then you've got these sort of echoing, almost like the ripples on a pond, echoing outwards, um, layer upon layer. I know it looks really complicated, and it is very sophisticated, but Kerry, this is beginner level. It's beginner level. Everyone can make this. You don't and, need any and, and sewing we skills. we put the measurements in, and what, what I often find with the baubles, especially when I do them in workshops, is, you know, I tend to say, use your little finger, whenever I demo this, and, and obviously our little fingers are different sizes, but yeah. so what we can sometimes find is the star ends up smaller to the person next to you, but yeah. as long as your raw edges meet in the centre, and you can hide those raw edges with a ribbon, then perfect. This is nice to, oh, now, I think, you might have to take this idea and oh, run okay. with it because Teresa says, I've made these, they're gorgeous. I adapted one of them using brown and white fabric and made a Christmas to make a body. I know, Teresa sent me a photo and it Did was she? absolutely brilliant, actually. I love that. It and then you'd brilliant. have to do like holly and berries yeah. on top. Yeah, it was fabulous. Oh, please she send really the basic. picture in. It was very elaborate. It was spectacular, oh, Teresa. I love it. I, I did think about magpie in it. I did. I did think about Small it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that what we call it? Magpie? That's what my children call it at but school. Gotcha. Fair enough. Right. <laughs> small cream. Small cream. Small. Just a small cream for me. Just a small cream liqueur. Eleven ninety nine for the small cream. 
I made Bailey's cheesecake last year. That's the only thing I can make, you know. It I'm was terrible at baking. Mine was a bit. It was a bit sloppy. It was a bit too. It was Bailey's though. It was I mean, it was okay. We ate it. Let me <laughs> it tell you, Kerry. We did eat it. It didn't go to waste. It's the it was... only thing that I can make well. And, it, and I love it. Mm. I haven't made it for a long time. Well, tell a lie, actually. It wasn't Bailey's cheesecake at all. It was Bailey's tiramisu. Yeah, I mean, I probably couldn't do that then. Oh, no, it's lovely. I love <laughs> tiramisu. Mine would probably end up quite sloppy then in that case. <laughs> Last one, Hannah. Small red. Small red. Sounds like a character, doesn't yeah. it? In a children's book. Small yeah. red. I'd be, large small red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be large red. I'd be large red. I'll be extra large, <laughs> extra large blue. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Kerry, you are lovely. You bring such a gorgeous energy to the studio every time you come. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Um, now, we've got a back in stock. It's a table runner and it's gorgeous. I'm going to open this out just so you can see this. It's absolutely lovely eight of these motifs in fact i'll hold it up so you can see isn't that that's so clever it looks really complicated it's all very easy you is know it we all like very easy. easy it's very easy we don't do hard sewing we definitely don't we've got a bundle we've got a bundle that's brilliant is that for the bun yeah do i i don't get the backing it's all it's all included i get the backing the, yeah it's all amazing 29.99 all your fabrics backing binding all of your top fabrics as well really clever folded patchwork top stitching much easier than you think this is going to be that is absolutely beautiful that's a must-have oh my goodness or you could make two cushions they're nice as well as a, li as a little mug rug like it. make a nice little mug yeah rug. oh it's beautiful absolutely beautiful that's stunning. That's the back in stock. We've only just touched on it and now it's time to go. But honestly, that is lush. Absolutely lush. It's lovely. Kerry, thank you for that first hour. You're very it's been welcome. gorgeous. I can't wait for the next hour. I'll see you in an hour. Yeah, I'll see you in one hour. I'll and I'll see crackers. you after the break with <laughs> Sally Ann Harrison. Yeah, finish my cracking hour, would you? <laughs> honestly. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi everyone. I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. 
I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlate thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston and I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. But I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Well, now, John might be off to buy himself something fabulous, but I've got a fabulous guest for this hour, and it is none other than Sally Ann Harrison. Hey, good Sally Ann. Good morning, my lovely. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm really good. Really nice to see you. Great to have had a catch-up this morning. Yeah. You've had an exciting, busy time. Yeah, I have done. We were talking Amsterdam. We were. Fabric shopping in Amsterdam. Of course, there's got to be fabric shopping. You're living the life. <laughs> and also, Sally Ann was showing me the most gorgeous projects including oh my goodness this is a thing of beauty i love showing off fabrics sally and i know you do too <laughs> yeah. and the opportunity to show off fabrics in a really clever design um this is a circle applique cushion that sally ann's made using liberty tana lawn in beautiful turned edge applique circles picked out on this gorgeous denim chambray background now 
looking at those appliques thinking I could never do circles like that that would take the master of applique <laughs> but actually to take nothing away from Sally Ann anybody can achieve these perfect yep. circles with Aplipops and that's what this hour is all about now I was so intrigued by Aplipops that actually when Sally Ann launched them with John I sat and watched the full <laughs> hour because I love applique, I absolutely love applique, and of course one of the hardest shapes to applique is a circle. Um, apple pops are all about doing that. Sally Ann will explain what they are and how they work, but let me just show you the bundle. Now this is a bundle of two sets. So, and there's a reason why there's two sets, let me show you. So this is one set, and you get instructions with both, and you also get this suede pochette. There's a lot of suede pochette. Uh, they come with a little carrying ring as well, which I think is super. And um, you get different sizes of circle that you can applique using these. Now, they are made of metal. You are going to use your iron. So in the process of making these, you will need to allow your circle to sort of set and also for the metal to cool down. Now that could slow you down while you're working. So this is when having a second set, a second identical set, um, really, really comes into its own. So we recommend that you get the bundle, which is two sets. So you can be working on one while the other one is cooling down and then you can swap over and keep going. 59.99, it has absolutely been the very most popular option as well this morning. Lots of you have already been pre-buying, pre-ordering on the website and you've already secured your Applipops. So 59.99 for two sets. This is also a great way of getting them if, you, if your, your friend wants a set as well. So you get a set for you and a set for a friend. If you want to do that, you could do that too. Right, that is our bundle. Now we've also got them singly. So singly, again, you're still getting, uh, this is one set, yeah? This is one set, um, different sizes of circle. And you can see from real tiny circles right up to a great big two inch circle is the largest yes, size, yeah. isn't it? And the smallest size, Sally, and what's the smallest size circle um, we can eighths. do? Three eighths it's of an inch. Tiny. Oh my goodness, that is a small circle. So it could be like for eyes, for appliqueing onto soft toys, or for your applique, of course. Um, it could be the center of a flower. Absolutely gorgeous, or grapes, or cherries. Beautiful. So you get your full set, you get eight rings, and you also get, uh, yeah, there's eight rings. And then you get your suede pouch and then you get your full instructions as well for $34.99. So that's our Apple Pops. I like the word as well, Apple Pops. <laughs> Well, apparently it's applique and you pop them out, you see. Gotcha. Mm. Very clever. Mm. Very clever. Um, lots of you missed out last time. I know when you were on, Sally Ann, you sold out really quickly, yeah, didn't did, you? Yeah, we did, yeah. And um, the bundle option of two sets was the most popular option. One to use, one to cool down, swap them as you go, so it really sort of keeps up the speed. Because it's really quick as well to yeah. prepare these circles, isn't it? You won't believe the time it saves, and also the amazing accuracy that literally anyone can do. You don't need to be a sewer, you don't need to be a quilter, you don't need to be an applique -er. you need no uh, prior experience at all um, and you can applique perfect circles by hand or by machine now we've also got uh, some liberty because we do know that you love your oh, liberty I do. <laughs> we love liberty so now this is a lovely autumn selection this is emily bell this is emily bell and we've got a gorgeous half meter bundle this is absolutely delicious i will if i may go through the colors in just a second that you're getting look at that you've got seven half meters you're actually getting one of those half meters completely free 
That's a bit tempting, isn't it? I'm just looking at that already and thinking of all sorts of different options, isn't the radiating circles. The colour tones just go... Absolutely It'd be gorgeous. like a sunshine, wouldn't it? Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. So colour-wise, we've got lime, saffron, sunshine, golden ochre, paprika, tangerine and magnolia. Absolutely beautiful. We are limited, Sally Ann. We are limited. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> okay. If you want to give your other half a shout. <laughs> yeah, can you just give him a shout? You can't there. order these <laughs> while, while you're on air, can you? But <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And Emily Bell is such a pretty design, isn't it? It looks gorgeous in whatever colour we show it in. It always looks beautiful. And that is just a gorgeous ombre. Very, very limited, though, on that. Now, we've also got a blue half metre bundle, which is absolutely gorgeous as well. Again, I'm just going to show you. What's lovely, I was actually talking um, fabric design just the other day uh, about blues, and I, and I said, I want all the blues. I want all the different blues. I don't just want the navies, I want the cobalts. I want the grey blues, the slates. I want the sky blues. I want the, those watery, turquoisey blues. And you've got all of these here. Again, seven half metres, three and a half metres in total, and you're getting half a metre for free. Which one we're talking about, Liberty, getting something for free is extra fabulous. Colour-wise, We've got Cobalt, Evening Sky, we've got Mermaid, we've got Peacock, I'm just guessing now, Peacock, <laughs> Ultramarine, Pale Sky, Silver Birch, Silver Birch, la la la, there we go, oh, I've only got single figures on that bundle though. Because the world loves blue. It's the world's favourite colour. It's the world's favourite colour. Now I've also got some fat quarterman. Oh, it's sold out. Your, 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 well, your yellow is your gold. One. Maybe that's why. <laughs> if not, you're in trouble, mate. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I've got some fat quarter bundles as well of Liberty. These are lovely. So you get four fat quarters. These are all Liberty. So you've got a pretty little deep blue floral. You've got some Wiltshire shadow in there. And then you've also got a couple of tone on tones. These are Liberty as well, aren't they? Gorgeous, beautiful. Very difficult for you to pick up. This one's got sort of like, almost like a tulip Jacobean sort of style mm. print. And then this one's got snowdrops on it in a white on white gel print. Lovely. Oh, Charlie's coming in close. Oh, oh, ah, not that close. Beautiful. For 16.98, we very, very rarely have Liberty Fat Quarters. Great opportunity. A little extra for your stash. Gorgeous. So that's one little bundle. And then our second little bundle of Liberty Fat Quarter goodies is this one right here. So again, you've got two Wiltshire shadows in there and two really pretty florals. Again, they're lovely, aren't mm, they? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lovely kind of denim -y blues, those. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I'm just thinking, I love how you've used the denim as a backdrop for Tana Lawn here. This also is a beautiful denim. Yeah. That would look good too, it wouldn't would. it? It would. It would definitely beautiful. look good. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, we've also got an Apple Pops announcement. I need to let you know that the, pa the single pack of eight rings about to sell out. We haven't even gone to demo. I've got one left. The double pack, we've got a little bit more stock of. Um, this is definitely the most popular option though. We've got more of these, but very, very popular option. One to be using, 
one cooling yeah. and then swap. It's the most efficient way of doing it. We'll keep that graphic up and uh, I'm going to head across now and we'll talk all things Apple Pop okay. with Sally Ann. I'm up on my step. Goodness, just to explain <laughs> what <laughs> giant mm. you <laughs> love it right happy pop Apple now pop. i saw the last show but lots of you i know didn't so take us right back to the beginning what are they what do they do so apple pops are intersecting rings that are, that you use to manip you know you wrap fabric around them basically to make a perfect applique circle mm -hmm. and the idea is that you actually pop them in you can mm -hmm. see I've started to do it here I was going to say get, let's go right from the very beginning okay piece of fabric select your rings yeah. how do we how do we even do that okay so you select rings that inter you know that fit together so yeah. you've got some now I haven't got the same set as you've got you, you've got two sets that are the same yeah I've got two sets that are different okay, okay so you have to bear with me okay so I mine are different sizes okay and basically, they, all the rings interlock and fit neatly inside each other. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember what the phrase is. They say that something it's it's milled or drilled. Yeah, to, milled. Is it to, milled? Yeah. So that they absolutely fit together. And yeah. there's two sides to them. There's the there's a beveled side, and then if you turn them over, there's a straight side. I can see that quite clearly. Okay. Yes. Can you see that on there? Yes. So when you're deciding, when you want to do some applique, you need to pick two of the interlock Lock, yeah and the finished size of the circle is it's the inner one and is it the inner circle no it's the it's outside the outer outside edge so it's this outer edge of the inner ring that's the finished size yes gotcha okay and the idea with them being sort of beveled on one side and flat on the other is that you can use different combinations according to the thickness of your fabric because you want to clip them together like these are currently clipped together i don't know if you can unclip them mm -hmm. okay so there's your outer one and it's got the non beveled edge up and then you can either put it in with the beveled edge up or with the beveled edge down mm -hmm. to whatever gives you the most secure sort of clip okay so so you just manipulate one inside the other so I suppose that's almost like putting embroidery fabric into a hoop yes yeah exactly and you sort of clip them together yeah so you can see those have now clipped together and I've got them both beveled edge down. Mm -hmm. But you can play, you'd have to sort of play with your fabric because mm -hmm. different types of fabric like lawn, etc. Yeah. you know, are going to clip in a different way. So you might want one beveled edge, one straight edge, two beveled edges, Got two you. straight edges. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. So that you get them firmly clipped together. And once they're together, if I just have a look from the front, so that's sort of fairly, fairly, it's very smooth, but it's not sort of drum skin tight. No. You don't have to pull it tight or anything like that. No. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the edge mm -hmm. and just sort of cut off the excess. So when you're trimming your fabric away, sort of how much yeah, fabric up. allowance are you leaving? So I'm just cutting around the outer circle. Mm -hmm. So it's like a quarter. Just okay. trying to re-clip these together as they've come apart. Oh, I see. So sort of a generous little bit yeah. outside the main circle. Yeah. So now the camera's on me, I've got a case of the, the shaky hand. Don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. Let me go and I'm going to leave you just to cut that out. I'm just going to grab the apple pops okay. and bring my set over. Here we go, I'm back with my rings. Okay. And what's lovely as well, of course, is that you can make so many different sizes of circle. I'm just going to have a look on here. Does it tell me on here the sizes of circle yeah, I so can make? You can make it from... These are the, the actual measurements. Here we go. So three eighths of an inch, uh, zero point three seven five. So, oh gosh, I don't even know what that is. I suppose that is three eighths of an inch, isn't it? Uh, half an inch, three quarters, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, and two, all from one set. That's awesome. Yeah. Love that. That's really versatile. Okay, so we've sort of just roughly clipped away the edge. Yeah. And then, um, with the so it's important you've got that bit of extra fabric all the way around there. Yes. Okay. So let's get rid of that. 
So we're using some st some starch. I've got some what's it? You said it was starch starch savvy. savvy. So I've just got some just in a little yep. cup. Awesome. So you've just sprayed that into a little cap. Yep. And now you're using a brush. Yep. So you're just going to wet that outside edge. Mm -hmm. So you want that fabric really well moistened. Yes, you do. So then, and then you're going to go in and you're going to sort of manipulate it inwards mm -hmm. with your fingers. So I've actually sort of rigged up. I've got like a mat on top of a mat here, mm -hmm. a lazy Pepper. Susan. Mm -hmm. I'm just pushing it into the shape that I want. Let's take those off. Okay. Let's move it into the centre. So I mean, you could do this with a stiletto mm -hmm. or... But, generally but actually, just, just where the fabric is moistened by the starch, that makes it easy to manipulate yes. anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. So then I'm turning to the little... I've got like a little baby iron and I've got mm -hmm. it on a medium heat. So I'm just going to go in and do like half a time. And I can kind of hear a slight sizzle. Yeah. That's the starch. That's the starch, yeah. And you don't want it on too hot. So I've, I've just got this on two two spots, I think. Mm -hmm. And I've just moved it round. Got you. Now the iron that Sally is using right now is a Cricut iron. You can use a travel iron. Travel yeah, irons are good, fine. aren't they? Um, but if you want to get yourself the Cricut iron, they are brilliant. It's the Cricut Easy Press Mini. Uh, it's $59.99. Ours is blue, yours is pink. Mm -hmm. It's just the colour of the inner part of the handle. But it's $59.99. It'd be good actually to have one of those. I like that. It's really smart. You haven't got one? No. No, I haven't. It's got my little travel iron. But like I say, you could use that. That would work. Okay, so then I'm just going in over the whole thing. Oh, Alison Marion's got in touch actually. We were talking earlier on about your fabric shopping in Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. She says Utrecht Market is the best fabric shopping ever. Ooh. I think we need a return trip, don't we? <laughs> I need to come do. this time. Sounds good. I, w I found the most amazing shop that sold like Indonesian batiks. Oh, yeah. And like um, sarong lengths. Still packaged up. Wow. Oh, it was so beautiful. I bought loads. <laughs> and what for your stash? Yeah, <laughs> yes, of course. So, so that's all done now. Yeah. Everything's all pressed in. Yeah. And I notice as well where you've used the starch savvy. That's really crisp, and it's yeah. just held down very firmly. Yeah. So don't be tempted to take it out too soon. Wait for it to cool. I okay. mean, generally, that's why you would use the two sets because you're yes. going to wait for one to sort of cool completely. OK. OK. But you will end up with obviously something like this. Mm -hmm. And when it comes out, the other thing, so you're going to take it out. And because of the actual depth, there's just a little tiny ridge. I don't know because there's going to be a little tiny ridge because of the tool. Mm -hmm. So you just go in, take it out of the, make sure it's cool, take it out. Yeah. And just pop that straight down on top to get mm. rid of that very, very slight ridge Got to make you. it perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. So how long do you leave this? Because obviously... Well, generally you should leave it until it's cold. Yeah, it's still quite warm, yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I can see now why you need two sets, really. Yes. Because you're working on the one and then you, you can push that out of the way and you can carry on with your same size yeah. but from your second set. Yeah. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Should we... Do another one? Yeah, 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 that'd be lovely. Can you show okay. me a smaller one? Smaller one. So mm. I think we had... How do you know how big a square to start with? So I would look at... So basically you want... Oh, this one's going to be a bit a pair that are smaller. I like that they come on the um, holder as well. Yeah. So it keeps them all tidy. And you could hang that up on a hook in your sewing room, couldn't you? You could do. You know what I mean, just to keep them handy. How's it fixed together? Oh, I see. That's really clever. Okay, so you want a square to start off with that's about just a bit bigger than this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it doesn't need to be hugely no. bigger. No. 
So this time I'll just roughly cut around the edge. As I say. What are you up to there? We we all we always like to talk about what special day it is. <laughs> And today is um, Farmer's Day. Oh, right, OK. It's all about thanking farmers. But um, Charlie's already started looking for tomorrow. <laughs> I'll tell you later. You we might reveal tomorrow. I'm not on tomorrow. I might email into the show and remind <laughs> everyone what special day it is tomorrow. OK, so here's a smaller one with a roughly cut got circle. You. So again, you're going to go in and you can sort of feel it clip together. So. She says. So there's like almost clip together. Yeah, that, yeah. May I have a little feel? I'm yeah. intrigued just to feel how they. I got you, and gosh, that makes such a smooth flat circle, doesn't it? it? Does. I mean, with without any skill required whatsoever, it's absolutely brilliant. We just have a little, let's have a little go at doing it. And feel so you so can turn, turn these the over way. as well, and you can feel sometimes what is a better fit, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And you just kind of push them together, yeah. And that's literally it. You've just you've just effectively needle turned all of the edges of your circle. Yeah. And then literally all you've got to do is press that. That's very clever. So. Very clever. Slow so down. again, now you're using something different. Oh no, no. you're using your starch savvy yeah, and gonna, your brush. Yeah. Love my starch savvy. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And of course you can paint it on like this. Yep. Also you can use it when you're doing things like your piecing. Just spray your fabric, uh, iron it dry, then cut out your pieces and they're just so much easier to work with. Okay, so you just sort of, again, you're just pressing it all in towards the middle. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Yeah. Well, one thing that I did say last time is it's a good idea to wash them when you get them home because mm -hmm. there is some a little bit of coating on them and you want to wash that off before you start. Got you. And all, also, as you go along, periodically, you may want to wash them again in soapy water because the starch look will build up a bit. True. Got you. Yeah. So just warm soapy water. Yeah, warm soapy water. And then dry them off. Yeah. Do you store yours in the bag or do you just store them hanging out? In the bag. Just really, in the yeah. bag, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It's a nice little touch. Yeah, it is. I like that. Very smart. Mm -hmm. So I think that, um, that somewhere it says that you can make something like 20 or 30 an hour. Gosh, that's amazing. That is I like... I mean, I've tried needle turning a circle. I mean, frankly, why would you? But, <laughs> I mean, that took about an hour to do one. And of course, these as well, once you've prepared your applique, you can pin it or glue it to your background shape and then you can sew it by hand or by machine. Yeah, you can, exactly. Amazing, amazing. Right, Going can back we open up the original one yep. and have a look? So this is the original one. So. <gasps> it's amazing. It's so neat, isn't it? it it's is. absolutely incredible. So you just take the rings out and then, and then were you saying you just give it one final little Yes, yeah, so you're gonna give press. it one fi fi final press because you've got very, very slight ridge. So yeah. you just wanna get rid of that. Yeah. You see that's just completely gone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing and so beautiful. The circle that you've turned is absolutely perfect. Can, Absolutely perfect. Can I just go back to this one? Yep. And say the other thing is, I don't know if you can see on this one that there's like quite a pleat here. Mm -hmm. So you can go back 
and readjust it. So if you get like a little bit of a pokey pleat on one side, you can go wet it again, go back in and readjust it so that that pleat comes out. So don't be frightened to do that because I found that that works really well. So if you don't get it perfect the first time, go back and do it again. Wet it again. Fab. So you can always go back in and have another little go if you find any pleats or tucks. Yeah, exactly. Any pleats or tucks, you can just go straight back in and do the same thing again. Perfect. Um, now, if you want the bundle of 16 rings, that's two packs. So they're not all different sizes. You've got two sets that are the same size. Okay, so you can use one while the other one's cooling. Um, best way to buy them, I think, fifty nine ninety nine. You get sixteen rings and the most popular option as well. Mm -hmm. So you get eight rings in that set, eight rings in that set, a duplicate, um, or you know you might one for me, one for you. But I think to have two sets so that you can one can be cooling and the other set you're using is the best way to buy them. Now I'm very taken with the cricket. Easy Press Mini, love that, love that. I'm just going to open it's, what it's... It feels really nice to use, I think. Isn't it used with vinyl, in vinyl crafts? Yes, absolutely. Yes. So if, you, if you've got a Cricut and you're fusing your vinyl to things like T-shirts and your makes, brilliant for that. But also, I mean, just a really gorgeous, it's so smart, Mini Iron, look at this i mean it's a the most beautiful uh, shape and size got that lovely point to it as well okay but just so small and discreet very smart it's really attractive isn't it? i love that it's ever so stylish you've got your three different heat settings just like any iron perfect if you do starch and press applique also perfect for fusible applique as well where you're often fusing down lots of small elements and frankly a large iron is a bit cumbersome mm. and a bit clumsy to do a job like that so it comes on um it's a mains mains uh, plug and lead and then you've also got your little stand which is darling um that that it just fits in so it fits in doesn't there. it yeah, like that like a little cradle that is absolutely i want one that's abs look at that isn't that gorgeous yeah textile art lots of fusing yeah yeah i love it if you like use angelina fibers and things like that and you do fusing oh i love it beautiful i love the baby blue as well i like the baby blue more than your pink <laughs> i knew you'd like the blue <laughs> it goes with my shirt um i don't know why we've got a split pay because this is 59.99 and it shouldn't start until 100 pound but anyway sometimes it's just on products that we we want you to try because they're new they're exciting there's something a little bit different this is very stylish love it love the little cradle as well Isn't that smart look at that loads of you got this in your basket now it's absolutely gorgeous and it's sort of small and discreet it feels really nice in your hand really comfy as well isn't it yeah Sally it Anne. does feel really nice in your hand really natural sort of and it's and it's a good weight but it's not heavy do you know what i mean for its size it's got a good weight which is of course what you want and also as well with your apple pops you're actually going to leave that on top and just leave it just to do its work for maybe 10 seconds 15 seconds yeah this would also be really useful bag makers when you're going in your bag to press your seams or to press your lining into the bag maybe to attach the lining into the bag if you've used a double-sided in our form something like that i think that's great really useful bit of kit yeah really useful bit of kit that cradle's adorable yeah i, I definitely I, I need one of those definitely need one and i'm not like i'm not a gadgety person but that's just beautiful it 
it just I don't know it feels nice doesn't it's it gorgeous it's just it feels like an extension of your hand yes it does, does. it just cradles you, you haven't got to grip it literally you can just cradle it in your hand just and it's smooth and rounded there so it fits into the palm of your hand like that just feels very natural there's absolutely no strain in my hand at all gorgeous really popular absolutely flying out you're treating yourself i don't blame you it's lovely it's cute yeah <laughs> it's really smart genuinely i want one of those <laughs> <laughs> oops <laughs> there goes my wages <laughs> But hey ho, don't buy them all, will you? Leave one for me. Thank you. Right, let's go back to Apple Pops. I like the name too. Yeah, I like the name. It's cute. Let me pop that away. There we go. So our Apple Pops. Did I leave my other set of rings over there? I think yeah. I must have done, didn't I? Possibly. I, I don't know. We'll... Back my rings. Well, it'll be a full rings... set. Oh. I haven't taken any off. I think I took some off. Did you take some of mine? Oh, all right, I'll have them back later. <laughs> Talk about widening your stash. <laughs> I did say I didn't have two sets the same, but perhaps now but I've got now three. Now you do. <laughs> now remember, in your double set, you're getting two sets of apple pops. So in each bag, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. Right, so in your double pack, you get two sets of rings. Sorry. Two sets of rings. So two duplicates, they're duplicates, okay? Uh, so you can be working with one set and then one set is cooling down. And for example, you might be doing something like a, a layered flower center. So maybe like you might use the two and a half inch, sorry, the two inch finished circle for the outside of your flower center. And then you might use the one inch and then you might use the three eighths of an inch and layer them up. So you've got the three different fabrics for the center of a flower. So using two sets, you can do all of those and have them all on the go at the same time. Yeah. You can do. Whereas if you didn't have the two sets, you'd have to wait for the rings to cool down mm. before you could go on to the next. A message from Sandy, who's in Cornwall. Good morning to Sally Ann and Stuart. Lovely to see you both this morning and love the apple pops. Morning, Sandy. They are really cute. <laughs> they are really cute. Um, what kind of fabrics can I use these with? So it's generally quilting weight cotton yep. or lawn. Um, I did try, I did give it a go with some, and I, I can never remember how many angst, it was like a, sh a, sh a chambray. A, right, okay. Actually, I think it was that. Like a shirting the, weight the, denim. No, the, that denim. I tried it with that yeah. denim and it wouldn't, it's, it's just too much for it. Got you. Yeah, so that is the sort of capability mm. of the product. But generally speaking, we're going to use quilt weight cottons, aren't we? Yeah, because... Yeah. And the other thing that you could do if you're going to use a light, I didn't, a lightweight, like a, a tana lawn, mm -hmm. is you could join it first. Do you see what I mean? If you took a square mm -hmm. and actually joined it, yeah, and seamed it down the middle, mm -hmm. providing it was, say, tana lawn, you could then cut your circle from that. And oh. then you've got two colours, haven't you, oh, in I like the same that idea. one. You'd need to press the seam open. Mm -hmm. it, but it'll be a bit experimental. But I yeah, think it yeah. would work if you used a, a lightweight cotton. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. That's so really then you nice could have idea. two colours in one circle and begin to create another sort of dynamic, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Particularly with solids, it would look like yeah, like very the solids clever. you've you know, you've got there. Yes. You know, you could pair it sort of like a dark blue with the light blue. Yeah. And, and you could build up something very geometric looking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really cool idea. I like that. Um, I was also going to talk about the Elmer's glue because I came across that as a, as an option, and we were talking this morning, mm. weren't we? And we were saying a lot yeah. of people, in the, particularly in the states, use yeah. glue. Yeah. Now this is Elmer's school glue. We don't sell it, but you can find it. So how would we use that with our apple pops? Okay. So the way that people are using that, and they're just using it with water to start off mm -hmm. with. So you just again, I said setup is exactly the same as before. So 
we just wet so it. So this a bit. is just plain water. Yep. And then you go in with the the glue. Mm -hmm. So you just sort of put tiny smear of the glue in there. Okay, so just the tiniest yeah. amount. And then it would work in the same way that you'd press it in. So I've got it really quite wet. Yes. And I suppose that dilutes the glue when the two come in yes. contact as well. And this is on Tana Lawn. Yes, this okay. is on a piece of Tana Lawn. But you can see how already that that's the fabric's thinner and the glue is stickier than the starch. Yes. Yeah. So possibly a slightly easier um, way to use it yeah. as well. Okay, so and sure. then you just do the same again. You just yeah. go in, and generally you do like half at a time. Mm -hmm. So you do half. I like the fact. I mean, your largest size is a two inch, yep. which means that you could use a two and a half inch square of fabric. That would give you just enough. Yeah. Which is your mini charm. Yes. So yeah. if you've got mini charm packs, yes, yeah. great way of using them because I think often we're tempted by these things, aren't we? Mini charms and charm packs. Yes. Yeah. But it's then how to show the fabrics off, how to use them. This is an ideal project. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. Gosh, the tunnel lawn flattens down really well, doesn't it? It does. Amazing. Yeah. So that's another another way of doing it. Cool. Right. So. Shall we just move on? Yeah, definitely. How are we doing for time? We are doing well. We've got about 12, 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Right, so when I came on before, I showed you this. Mm -hmm. So this is created using the Apple Pops. So basically it looks, it's a, it's a quilt block mm -hmm. and I've cut and applique on several circles to make a sort of flower shape. Mm -hmm. And the outside edge, they're all half. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can, you know, so, so I would fold it that way out mm -hmm. so that you don't get caught up in that seam mm -hmm. and then just cut it across the middle. Yep. And then you begin to generate like a little border. Oh, I see, that's really lovely, I like that. For your block. Yep. Yeah. That's a good way of using halves. And if, if you imagine they're going to bump up against each other, mm -hmm. so you'll get a secondary design then between mm. the blocks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course you would. Yeah. Or if you have sashing down the middle, that would create a lovely look as well. It That's would. beautiful. So then you would stitch around the outside edge. Yes. Now, can we talk a little bit about how you stitch these appliques or appliques down, please? Okay. What do you recommend? So if I, you're going to machine sew them, so for example. I machine sew them um, on my UX8 and I tend to use, I'm a big fan of invisible thread every time I come on, mm -hmm. I use an invisible thread on the top yep. and a like a 50 weight polyester in grey on the bottom. Like a bobbin film. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then I use a really small zigzag on the machine. Now you've got the UX8, I've got the UX8 from Juki as well. <laughs> amazing machine. <laughs> it is an amazing machine. Absolutely amazing. Semi-industrial machine. Yes. So you've got all of your regular domestic sewing machine features but you've got an HP foot, well in fact two feet and plate haven't you? Yeah you've got two two different plates, one with straight stitch and one you know for a wider stitch. Yep. Um, it's got apparently it's got a box feed which you've is like... You've got your HP plate as well though haven't you you've got three plates have i got three plates? you've got three plates Ooh. you've got three plates so you've got your zigzag which is yeah. your one that comes installed you've got your yeah. straight stitch plate yeah and then you've got your hp which has got hp on it which you use with your industrial feet so you've got like oh, your well, industrial you're, you're quarter inch and your walking for <laughs> okay. oh yeah it's fab oh yeah wow, i haven't gone that way yet <laughs> Trust me, once you put the HP plate on and you use the quarter inch foot, which is which has got integrated feed yeah. on it, so you've got like a walking foot, but it's a quarter inch foot, yeah. you'll never go back. Okay, right. Learned something there. Wow, really good. <laughs> so you've got your little zigzag. Yeah, so you've got your zigzag and yeah, as I said, I would just use an invisible thread on the top and, the, and a grey polyester on the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and an open toe foot yeah. and basically just sew around the edge. You can just see 
I don't know if you, you can probably see on the back how narrow the zigzag is. Can mm. you see that or no? Perhaps on this one because it's got a darker thread. Oh yeah, we yeah. can probably see it on there. Yeah, so it's going to be a moment. really narrow. So on this machine, it's width one, stitch length one point four. Yeah. My eyes, my eyes. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Nice narrow zigzag. Yeah, so I just sew all the way around the edge and I don't I, I don't tend to um sort of put in the locking stitch at the end. No. Um I tend to go back and just overlap it just slightly yeah. because the locking stitch will cause just a little bit of a tiny bump. Yeah. 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 Um do you ever use a straight stitch for your applique? No. I do sometimes. And I just if you want speedy, you could, like for example, on this border, you could do a straight stitch where you literally sew over, 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 and just go round. It's really quick. And because you've got a turned edge, if you sew really close to the edge, it's super secure. It looks like quilting. Oh wow. So it actually doesn't look like machine applique it looks like it's been quilted wow. so everyone thinks it's hand applique yeah. more so than the little zigzag interesting it's just something to yeah. play with yeah and and you can use a toning thread you can use a contrast thread i mean obviously if you use your contrast then you need to be just a little bit neater uh, okay. omp silver have got in touch to say good morning stuart and the gorgeous sally ann morning 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 Okay, okay, great. Did you want me to talk about the fish? Yes, yeah? please. Okay, so last time I was on, um, we talked briefly uh, there we, about you know different things that you could do with the apple pops, mm. and it came up that it would work as a, as a, as a fish scale. Mm -hmm. So I had a go at home. I haven't finished it, so because I, I wanted to show you how it has all gone together. So if you can just see here, like. I've made like a fish body mm -hmm. out of those halves. Mm -hmm. See that? So these scales are basically just the apple pops cut in half, mm -hmm. various sizes. And what I've done is I've built it onto um, this is a, a like a fusible interfacing. Mm -hmm. So I've just it basically ironed them on. I've built it up, started with the first two, then put one slightly under the next one, etc., mm -hmm. etc., to make the fish body and then I it, it did start off as a square and then I made myself a little bit of a template for a body put it on top cut round so that I got a body shaped mm. piece um, and then this is just heat heat and bond mm -hmm. what's it called mm -hmm. fusible yeah, bond web, bond web kind of yeah um, for a head and for a tail and then you would just use like a probably a button for mm. the eye but it would make a good block yeah it would it would look great on a sort of kiddie pencil case yeah it would it's nice and also you could or you could make it into a stuffed toy yeah you could you could and also as well this is giving me mermaid tail vibes <laughs> so i'm thinking as well you know that that would be another direction you could go in yes yeah, mermaid. or even, what about cr thinking Christmas? It's giving me gingerbread house roof, <gasps> roof tiles. Yes. It's giving me those vibes too. I like the roof idea, yeah. that's great. Oh, sometimes I get the spark of inspiration. Yep, so. That was actually Hannah, producer Hannah, said it oh, in my ear. thank you, I'm Hannah. Stealing it. I'm apparently it's called magpieing. It's not stealing, it's magpieing. Thank you, good. <laughs> I love that. Okay. I love that. Yeah, it's a really cool idea. Very, very versatile. Very versatile. Just while we're here and we've got a bit of white fabric for contrast, I just want to show you the smallest size circle next to the largest size circle that you can applique using your apple pops. So this is the smallest size. This is the largest. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. That's actually pretty much the same size as that little button, button isn't yeah. it? Fab. Really, really clever. I've also seen it re used really effectively when you actually, so if you start with the, the smallest size as a ring, yep. and then you go the next size out as a ring, and then the next size out, and the next size yes. out, and also use it like those colours, those blues or those peachy 
the orangey tones that you've got yeah. there, you could start with the palest colour Ooh. and radiate all the way out to the deepest orange, yeah. couldn't you? It Love looks really idea. good. Yeah, beautiful. Great on a cushion, it would look. Really gorgeous. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Yes. Yes. Um, Sue says, oh, I'm thinking of the rainbow fish. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, with a bit of crystal organza. Oh, yes. Very nice. That would be lovely. Now, what I would just say, quick top tip there, if you are going to use something like crystal organza or silk, you could use fine silk with your apple pops. Just make sure that your iron setting matches the fabric. I know that Sally Ann has been using the two spot two iron spot, yeah. on your Cricut. Sometimes you might need to go down to the one. Mm -hmm. And you can do that, can't you? Yeah. The yeah. temperature's not that important. It just needs to match the fabric. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Might take a little bit longer, but that's all. I think awesome. it's got an auto cutout as well. I'm pretty certain it has the Cricut. So. Well, I'll find out because I'm definitely getting one, <laughs> Sally Ann. So it'll be, it'll be going, oh, there's only four left. So I'll have to be quick, <laughs> won't I? Would you mind asking your husband to order one for me as lovely <laughs> while he's ordering your liberty? <laughs> oh, it's lush. I've fallen in love with this. Um, so you've got your little cradle. I'm rather taken with the cradle too. Not just for apple pops, for applique, for small ironing jobs, bag making. And then your Cricut Easy Press Mini fits inside so it keeps it nice and secure very secure this is sort of weighted this is heavy and sits on the table to keep everything nice and secure you've got your cable mains plug and then you've got your three heat settings and it's easy enough to control it's literally just one two three presses to get your three spots on your iron and that of course relates to your regular iron but yeah this is new in and we've only got a couple left I'm sure we'll get more in I hope we do because I certainly would love one of those and that's awesome okay, very nicely next to my brand new embroidery machine <laughs> there's only three left Sally Ann so oh, I'm not okay. going to get one today but you <laughs> might still uh, now the apple pop the apple pop we have we sold out of the single yeah we sold out of the single so what we've got left is the twin pack so you get two sets of apple pops so 16 rings in total and remember that you can turn circles everything from three eighths half an inch one inch stop me if i'm wrong yep. one and a half yep one and three quarters yep and two. Yep. Can you do one and a quarter? Yes, you can do one and a yes, quarter. Yes, one and a quarter it. as yeah. well. Jill from Cambridge has messaged to say hi. Great Morning. to use the smallest circle as toy eyes yes. that are safe for young children. Yeah, that's a good point. Yes. Yeah. And also as well, I was at, Charlie and I were at the Kilnsley Agricultural Show um, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and we were in the craft tent and a number of entries for the soft toy category had been disqualified, Sally Ann. Would you believe because they had used buttons for eyes? Oh, right. Now, I did not know, I did not know, or even safety eyes. What? Okay. It, some people had used safety eyes and they'd been disqualified. For safety eyes? Because apparently that makes it, it's not a soft toy anymore. Because there was hard mm, yeah, something yeah. or other. So it has to be. So I don't know if that's relevant. Probably not. But I mention it anyway. Okay. But it's a good safety yeah, thing, it is. isn't it? Yeah. Fabric eyes. And buttons. And buttons. I'm not meaning buttons for me. I mean buttons on a toy. You could do little circles. You could do. For little definitely. faux buttons. Yeah. Really clever. Love that. Did you want me to just yes, have please. a quiz? So the other way, obviously, you can. Um, applique on your circles is by hand so I'm using a very fine thread a bottom line sort of thread really thin thread it's a 60 weight thread there we are polyester um, a top tip is to actually because these threads are ever so slippery is to actually tie it to your needle okay ah yes good yeah. tip actually tie it to your needle good tip and then you're just going to take li tiny little stitches into that outside edge a little applique stitches so you go at right angles, back into the background fabric, back into mm -hmm. the actual pops, at probably just over an eighth to hand applique them in, in position. So 
so and obviously that will really disappear the edge so are you where are you more comfortable hand or machine applique um generally machine yeah yeah, yeah. See, like the smallest circles, I, whatever I was doing elsewhere, I'd hand applique those. Yeah, they're easy. I, I have done them on the machine, but they are like these ones, these tiny ones. Yeah. I did those, but it's very difficult to pivot it completely, yeah. and you end up using a stiletto to, to do it, and yeah. yeah, it probably would be easier just to do it by mm. hand. But you know, once you've prepped your circles using your apple pops, when you put them down onto your background, I would just get the glue stick out i get the glue stick out, run the glue around the edge, yep. glue them to the surface. I wouldn't pin, I wouldn't tack. I'd just glue everything down and then sew around it, whether I was sewing by hand or machine, because who needs pins getting in the way, frankly? That's true. And that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. I've had a lot of people contact me and say that it's, it's such a like mindful process mm. that they've sat down with their stash and they've just made a load of circles with the <laughs> idea that one day they can just bring out the circles, oh, you know, nice. ready. Oh, well, I've already got, you know, 20 circles in that colour. Yeah. So this is, I'm going to mix them in with something. It's gorgeous. It would actually be a really lovely different charm, um, charm quilt or scrap quilt, wouldn't it? Because yeah. you could do your blocks, a bit like you've done your cushion here. You could, these could be individual squares or it could be larger piece of fabric as, as Sally Ann's done. And um, just every one of your precious scraps, you could turn a circle. And maybe some of the circles would be smaller, some would be larger, depending on what size scraps you've got. And then applique them, all your precious bits. And that would be the most beautiful. It's got almost um, a Japanese look to this cushion, even though there isn't a single sort of Japanese or Japanese style fabric there. That's giving me, I don't know, it's sort it of- It is, yeah, there's something there. Mm. Yeah beautiful project absolutely lovely i think as well where you've used the running stitch hand quilting the denim background it just all comes together it's lovely absolutely beautiful what a clever project oh sally Ann, thank you so much for sharing all of your skills with us and teaching us how to use apple pops now we're seeing you for another hour at 12 yes. o'clock yeah brand new quilt yes brand new quilt tell me about it um, foundation pieced little sailboats um, really still fun to make yeah yeah really cute we'll show you that at 12 o'clock thanks Sally Ann Thank we're gonna go to a break now when we come back uh, living in loveliness Kerry is here and I'm just gonna let you know now so you can do it in the break we've managed to get more cracker kits and more innard kits as well for Christmas crackers. So they've literally just gone on to pre-order. If you want to jump onto the website during the break, you can grab yours before they sell out again. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as a quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Pollyanna was acclaimed as one of the world's foremost wildlife artists.
She always knew she wanted to be an artist from being as young as she can remember and she specialised in painting the birds and animals that she loved. I think her work is absolutely unique, not just because of the technical accuracy, which is evident, she was an incredibly talented artist, but it's also the fact that every single bird or animal she painted was a unique living individual. Everyone had a heartbeat. Oh, so excited about the first collection that we're bringing to Hobby Maker. So it's a collection of exotic and endangered species but all featuring baby animals to show that kind of rebirth. We've got baby panda bears, we've got tiger cubs, we've got a lion and a cub, and there's some new paintings as well that the crafters have never seen before. I'm Anna Louise, and I can't wait to share a brand new collection of Pollyanna Pickering's artwork with you at Hobby Maker. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there!
Hello, it's lovely to have your company on Sewing Street today. Um, we've got Living in Loveliness. Now, this hour is all kinds of lovely different projects. We weren't meant to have the Christmas crackers, but bless her, Kerry and Craig have been beavering away in the last hour because we know loads of you missed out on the Christmas crackers. We've managed to get them back in stock. There's no delay on these. You're gonna get these in the same time frame. We're gonna start with the Christmas crackers. A set of four, make your own Christmas crackers with the green ribbon and this gorgeous red fabric. So let me just show you what you're getting in the kit for 19 99 You get your full instructions, of course, these are reusable Christmas crackers you can make a set of four out of the kit but of course then you can make more you get four sheets of mylar which is going to form the body of your crackers you get your instructions you get four snaps which I think is so important with a cracker that you get that bang you get a little template there if you want to add embroidery. You can also personalise. There's your bit of fabric for adding personalisation. You get six metres, I think, of ribbon. And then you also get this beautiful, beautiful fabric. It's got a deep red background, mistletoe berries and leaves, and lovely gold overprinting as well. You're going to make four magnificent Christmas crackers. So, so many of you missed out in Kerry's last hour. We just had to do everything we could to bring these back in stock for you. And we've managed it. We've managed it. But I know the stock won't last very long. So if you want to get your set of crackers, um, you, you need to be quick. You'll need to be quick. All right. We don't have loads of these. Kerry's done the best she can, but obviously all of these kits are to actually make. And you've got extra work to do now, haven't you? Quite, but it'll be worth Craig it. Craig has extra work. It'll be worth it. Craig's got <laughs> extra work. Well, there we are. <laughs> right, so that's your red kit. I've got fewer than 20 kits left. They're already flying out. If you want your red Christmas crackers with your mistletoe berries and leaves, all that lovely gold over printing, you'll need to be quick. The details are on screen for that. Full instructions as well. Mylar, snaps, templates, you name it, everything you need. Just add a bit of, fa a bit of um, thread. That's all you need to add, isn't it? Bit of thread, bit of tape, bit of sellotape that just holds the rings together. And then you sew the pieces together. Kerry did a lovely demo in the last hour. If you missed it, you can watch back. Um, I've got fewer than, 12? I've got 14. I've got 14 left. They're absolutely flying out. 14 left. Okay, so that's that colourway. We've also <laughs> managed to get this colourway in. I love them both. Uh, this one might just pip it for me. I don't know. I don't well, know. you're having yours made in those. So well, I that's hope, right. I no, that's it is kind of pipping it for me. <laughs> so you get this gorgeous ivory background fabric, poinsettias, holly and berries, lovely gold over printing, red ribbon this time, your snaps. Um, this is the one that Kerry demoed with, and actually we sold out of this before we even got to demo. It was very, very popular. Mylar sheets included, full instructions as well. You can use these again and again, just change the snap, or do as we do and shout bang as you pull them. Um, <laughs> snap, snap as you pull them. Snap, <coughs> snap. Um, they're also, uh, of course, you get the pattern, so you can make more if you want to for that you will need extra bits and bobs which we've got as well we've managed to get those back in stock so 19.99 for the ivory now remember as well on your pattern you've also got details of how to access a full pre-recorded video tutorial on how to make the crackers so every step videoed exclusively for you to watch okay <laughs> details are in your pattern so make sure you read the instructions watch the video i would say read the instructions again and then you'll know exactly what you're doing and you can just make as many crackers as you like um, now we've also got a package of innards the bits and bobs. And we got <coughs> lots of these because we know that lots of you are buying the pattern or buying a kit. You all right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, little coughing fit there. Um, <laughs> you've got your mylar, 
you've got your snaps and you've got your ribbon. Three metres of ribbon. Three yeah. metres Three of, meters ribbon, of ribbon, four snaps, four sheets of mylar. So with your instructions, now you might buy your instructions on their own. You might have got the instructions in with the kit but you will need instructions to go with. But this is 7 99 for four sheets of Mylar. I mean, I'd buy this for the Mylar, <laughs> frankly, because yeah. it's really hard to find, and that's a great price. Four sheets of Mylar, four snaps, and three metres of green ribbon, and you'll get green ribbon in yours. But I mean, I think whatever Christmassy fabric, yeah. it's going to work, isn't it? Traditional, Absolutely. isn't it? Yeah, we like yeah traditional. perfect. We love traditional. Actually, it would look really nice, wouldn't it, if you used something like just cream fabric mm. so it's just spray or... yeah and just maybe with a little bit of machine embroidery on you could put a bit of rather than doing a straight stitch around the outside you could use a decorative yeah, stitch yeah oh, i'm all, all for decorative stitches lovely um, and also as well if you're having to do multiple meals we, we do that actually we, so we get together with family christmas but then we also have friends christmas yeah. get together so of course you could get the same crackers out change the snaps over um, or not use them and just say snap just say snap <laughs> the other thing i'm thinking as well kerry is that you could put a little bit of velcro yeah velcro would be and wonderful. you could have a detachable yeah yeah couldn't you you could even do them plain and then have them as like birthday crackers, yeah. wedding crackers. Sewing get together crackers. Love it. I love that idea. Love a little sewing theme idea. gifts in there. Yes. Or, and there's a decent Or you space. could make lots and have them as your 12 days of Christmas, couldn't you? Ooh, an advent. An advent, advent crackers. crackers. <gasps> We're on the same way we are. here. Because now <laughs> the this. sort of the luxury the luxury advent has really become huge, hasn't it? We could it? very easily fold a fat quarter and slide that in, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah, you could, or fat yeah. eighth. Or oh, skeins of thread. And instead of your, we're, I mean, we're getting distracted. But instead of your joke, yes, a little step by step instruction a step day by, by day. Step. We'll have that next year. I love that. We'll have that next year. That's gorgeous. Because Stuart and Kerry's pattern. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I love it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you want instructions on their own, we've got that. We've got that. So you could get the instructions. You could get the innards and then add your own fabric couldn't you and make your own set of crackers 9.99 for your pattern 9.99 for the pattern and that gives you full instructions and full cutting dimensions to make your own crackers and like i say why why stick to just christmas crackers i think birthday wedding you could do them for you could do valentine crackers perhaps that's the way you pop the question eh you're a cracking friend, a friendship <laughs> cracker. Well, you could also Stephen, use... please make me one that says that. That would you're... make me so happy. You're a little cracker, aren't you? <laughs> um, you could also do it as, as how you gift. Yeah. So that could be your the way you gift I something. These, yeah. So it could be something small, like a record token. A Show record. Me age. No, I love records. I love, love record, record. shopping. Or, but, but I mean, a bit of jewellery. Yeah. Or if you're, you know, giving like a little gift of a, of a you know, a day out together. Nice. You could do that, you know, tickets. Gorgeous. I feel like I just need to get you to have a chat with Craig. Yeah. And give him some ideas. Yes. I mean, he has the samples. Yes. All he's got to do is fill them. <laughs> Craig? Craig? Are you watching? Craig, I'm talking to you. <laughs> she wants a ring. She wants a ring. Oh, I'd be far more happy with a pair of new scissors, actually. Would you? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Craig, that easy. Craig. <laughs> she wants scissors. She wants scissors. Are you strange? No, I'm Not a, no. Please tell me you get the scissor thing now, Stuart, because I'm feeling very on my I own. I do, here. but frankly, um, Charlie, if you're watching, I want to ring. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want scissors. Thanks. Or a new iron. Or a new Thanks. iron. No, iron would be good. I'll buy Won't my own. Won't fit in cracker, though. I'll buy my own. I'll buy my own. Thank Just put you. a voucher in, Charlie. There you put go. There in. you go. Cash. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. Uh, it was a bit of a cackle, wasn't it? I just, I'm practising for Halloween. What can I say? <laughs> You've perfected it. You can stop practising. Got the costume sorted. Have you? Didn't say no more. We'll I'll have to look no out more. for it. Yes. 
Yes. Now, uh, we had an early bird this morning, a second early bird, because I asked for it, because I got you back. It's a metre of Thermalan, which is um, heat insulating compressed fleece. It uh, should be five ninety nine per piece. This is four ninety nine. Now that's not for half a metre. You get a metre. It's ninety centimetres wide. I'm going to hold the piece up. This is what you get for four ninety nine, but only today. Normally, don't worry, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> normally, you'd pay five ninety nine for this. But today you're going to pay four ninety nine because it's our second early bird. And use this for things like. Um, now, obviously, for things like tea cozies, you can use one or two layers. If you're going to use it for, if you were, if you were going to use it for a hot pad, I would definitely use two layers, and I would use it with caution. I would use it on things that are warm, but I wouldn't necessarily use it for taking things straight out of the oven. You really do want the, the one with the foil for things like that or oven gloves. But if you're making something like a tea cosy, if you're making things like hot water bottle covers, quilted clothing, bowl cosies, a tortilla warmer, a baked potato baking bag, <laughs> something like that. They're things, you just Kerry. make. I mean, They're you just thick. make me want to cook. You're making me want to cook. I'm making also you want to things eat. things to make <laughs> me feel like I want to cook. <laughs> oh yeah, but you can get your look, Kerry. I don't need to tell you this. You can get your sewing into every aspect of your life. Yeah. We've got some fabulous kits and projects from Kerry with the, in the kitchen, uh, in uh, the sewing room uh, for general organising. You know, you can you can get sewing into everything. I we, we, well, we certainly try to anyway. We certainly try. We're doing our best. <laughs> We're doing our best. Um, but absolutely, this Thermalan, you're saving a pound. Now, loads of you, in fact, most of you who've bought this today have multi-bought. Just remember, if you're multi-buying, these are pre-cut pieces. So if you buy two, you'll get two separate one metre pieces. Pieces, and this is 90 centimeters wide um, it's very firm it's almost like a layer of felt it's a compressed fleece it traps the air it, yeah. it keeps the heat in or it will also you can use this to keep cold things cold for longer so you can use this to make lunch like bags and things. yeah lunch bags are good yeah. and um, in Australia they have what they call stubby holders which are basically like a base and then sides and you put a can or a bottle, usually a beer, uh, yeah. in. Because obviously in Australia, if you're holding your bottle of beer, you can of beer, it's going to get warm very quickly and no one likes warm beer. That was Father's Day project though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but also as well just for like, you know, a can of soft drink or yeah. something like that or a bottle of water. Yeah. You can put it in there so you're not holding on to a... Picnic really friendly. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, there's loads you can do with them. It's brilliant stuff. Really recommend it. We don't often get the chance to highlight how useful yeah. these things are because they're a bit, you know, it's just a bit white fluff, isn't it? <laughs> but they're brilliant. It is brilliant. It's the important white fluff, though. It's well, it is important. really. The fabric on the outside is just personal taste, <laughs> yeah. but the bit that goes in the middle is what makes it functional. Awesome. Right. Okay, that's that. Right. Okay. Now, let's talk kitchen. Let's talk kitchen. And um, what we've got here is we, oh, wait a minute. Let's get the bundle of all three, which is this one here. Thank you. Right. So this is very much with being in the kitchen in mind. So we've got, this is a bundle of all three. We've got pattern and panel to make oven gloves. These are gorgeous. Now you get, you get the purple panel to do your Dresdens and your piecing and your everything that you see. But you also get full cutting instructions to repeat, repeat, repeat with your stash, with your scraps, with a new range of fabrics. You could use back quarters. So you get dual duty out of this. So you get your, your oven glove project and your panel, of course. You also get your hot pads. Your pretty pot, Matt. And um, you've got enough in your panel to make two of those. Here they are. And again, I love they feature this Dresden fan motif that's all pieced. 
and then appliqued on top hand or machine they're gorgeous you make two of those so you get the panel you get the pattern but you also get your full instructions for making as many as you like and then your third project now i don't have it in purple but i do have it in this gorgeous corn color um actually kerry you're going to make yeah. the tea cozy in purple in aren't purple, you so yeah. we'll see that so you get your tea cozy and i think as i revealed in the last hour i'm mad for a pot of tea <laughs> but the tea's got to be kept nice and hot yeah and this is the answer you've got your tea cozy we've got thermalan which is our which is our early bird today you get your panel you get your instructions that's amazing value for 49.99 absolutely amazing value now i've also got the same set but this time in what we call beige but i'm going to call it corn or dijon dijon it's kind of a mustard yeah. so it's a nice word as well <laughs> soft yellow dijon it's lovely isn't it i like dijon um but yes please yes please so there you go you in corn you've got your tea cozy again featuring that dresden i love that it all matches yeah and do you like a bit of sensitive do like matchy matching matching. i do i like it i like it you've got your oven gloves you've got your tea cozy you've got your hot pads remember you make two all your instructions you've got your panels to make a full set but then you've also got all your instructions and dimensions and templates to make as many as you like and these are very giftable Great scrap projects. What's your angel policy, Kerry? We're happy for you to make to sell. Make and Not sell. Not mass produce, no. but make to sell. I'm Factory idea. owners on your bike. <laughs> you can't. We, we had a lovely little can't trip actually produce. earlier in the year and we went to a little craft fair. We were in Wales and of course, when you see something pop up, you have to go along. Of course you do. And it was really nice to see some of our uh, patterns that were featuring on there as well. Oh. So it was, it was lovely to see them made up. Made me very happy, actually. Oh, it's lovely. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Well, these are very, and also as well, things like tea cozies, the hot pads, the oven gloves, they're very sort of, they're craft fair, aren't yeah. they? Very yeah, craft fair Yeah, absolutely friendly. lovely to make and sell at craft fairs. And you are happy for customers to do that. Awesome. Now, we've also got all of these things separately. <clears throat> um, tea cozy in purple. So you get your instructions. You also get your panel. Okay. So you get your panel. That's all your fabrics. Does that include lining? Yes, it's all your lining oh, as amazing. well. Oh, amazing. So you've got so that beautiful gingham that on gingham, the lining. gingham, that purple gingham. That is beautiful. We'll see Kerry making that in just a sec. So that's a full bundle, pattern instructions, 19.99. Now that's really, really good value because 19.99, I think would be usual price to get a panel with printed instructions for how to make the panel up. Not to make it again using your own fabrics. And the templates are in here. But you get it? full instructions with templates to use your as well. That's fab. That's fab, love that, great value. All right, that's your tea cozy in lilac. Then we've also got it in what we've called beige. Mm. Dijon, Dijon, in the Dijon, there it is. Full instructions and the panel. Make as many as you like, make and sell, just not commercial you know like factory production <laughs> yeah. mass production but if somebody wants to make 50 and do a big craft fair yeah. you're happy i'm happy for you to do that ace. very happy ace. for you to do that ace because it all helps to keep the wheel turning yeah. doesn't it you yeah. know if you make and sell a bit you know and then you have the funds i used to do this yeah. years ago this how is I exactly how exactly how yeah. i started made yeah. some of my best friends there as exactly. well and also it's sort of an, it's an excuse isn't it then, to go and buy stuff. <laughs> i'm doing it for work i've got to buy this my, my deal is if i go and i sell that's my little pot and if i break even by the end of the day it's a good day yeah exactly so, you know my new my extra new fabrics exactly. or pretty bits to play with exactly there we go. cost neutral <laughs> yeah. cost neutral oh, i like that cost i'm off the break even but that. cost neutral is great <laughs> so that's your 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 dijon your your beige uh that would go lovely in my kitchen i'm not hinting i'll make you i'll make you gorgeous absolutely gorgeous right that's that now pot holders yeah, pot holders next. So we're talking. Oh, sorry, teapot 
cosy instructions on their own beg your pardon yes you can get instructions on their own so again you know you get full instructions there templates i love the fact it's not just plain yeah you've got your dresden on there you can leave that off if you like yeah. so you've got options you could add little embellishments it's an afternoon or yeah. a weekend a weekend little project, project isn't yeah. it it's lovely nice nice friendly project yeah and just you know my mum calls me a tea belly yeah i'm definitely a tea belly my mum laughs at me the amount of tea i drink <laughs> but my mum my mum's the one who got me going oh really frankly, yeah. drinking tea. She so you owe a lot of thanks to your mum for your love do. and passion I for tea i certainly do i'm going to send her a big kiss <laughs> love you mum um but yeah she laughs at me but yeah i've always got to have a teapot on the yeah. go uh beautiful right that's the pattern right okay <laughs> hot pads now we've got hot pads now we've got hot pads not hot pants not hot pants <laughs> that's next time hot pads this bundle's going to sell out really quickly uh isn't it delish so you've got two um these are great i've got a stovetop kettle these would be absolutely great perfect yeah oh is it sold out so if you wanted if you want the panel and the instructions for the hot pads in purple you'll need to go for the bundle that is great value though you get your tea cozy your hot pads and your oven gloves as well in one bundle that's great value but yeah okay so that's gone you can get it in the beige slash corn slash dijon <laughs> sorry <laughs> but there's your panel it's absolutely gorgeous you've got these fabulous kind of beige beige um gingham and then you've got this lovely kind of dijon mustardy color it's soft it's gentle it's very country isn't it very country kitchen isn't it love that love that and you make two you can make two pounds it's limited very limited stock that one Oh, busy morning for you, Kerry. <laughs> we busy like morning. being kept busy, don't we? Love being busy. Um, if you want the pattern on its own for the hot pads, again, it's a great project. Oh, gosh, great price too. Six ninety nine. Remember, not plain. You've got your Dresden. You could put two on if you preferred. Uh, or you can leave it off altogether and use it as a base pattern. When we did these before, we mm. had a, a lovely picture sent where somebody had made four so when it's not, and then they use them as placemats so oh. they made little mini placemats you know just for a sandwich little yeah, picnic like party that. and then put the four in the center so it was nice with a little vase in the middle oh, which i thought like was this. fabulous actually so they put the the four together <laughs> yeah. that created the whole yeah oh that's cute so it was like a table center dressing that's cute and then useful as well for your afternoon tea oh, yeah, 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 like which that. i loved i really loved that well actually not being funny but once you've got the pattern you could actually use this as a block and you could make a table runner, couldn't you? Yeah. Or a cushion, or a quilt, frankly. Get the most value out of these patterns <laughs> yeah. as you can. You work hard to make a gorgeous <laughs> pattern for us. It's nice to see them it's turned inspiring. into other projects yes. as well. It it's really, really inspiring, is. really inspiring. So that's that. And then we've got oven gloves. Oh, only got the pattern. Only got the pattern. No panels, sorry, all gone, all gone. I love oven gloves. Yeah. I'm always changing my oven gloves in my kitchen. Are oh, you? Yeah. yeah. Because they'll get very well used and they get worn out and they get greasy. The problem is when I make them really pretty, I have my nice pretty ones that nobody can use. <laughs> and then my loved ones. Ah. <laughs> so yes, I definitely have lots of them. Yes. But they have different purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, isn't it? That's fine. Gosh, sold out though. Uh, we've only got the pattern. We've only got the pattern. All right, so that's all of our kitcheny things. Are we going to have a little demo now? Could we have a little demo? We can now? have a little demo. We can we'll show do a tea you. cozy. Uh, I thought you said, "Would you like a cup of tea?" Then I was going to say, "Oh yes, please. That would be marvelous." Oh yes, please. I'd love one. <laughs> after oh, yeah. after the show, we'll do that. Me then. too. So it's a really nice, easy project. Each of the shapes is on there, including all of your little Dresden pieces. So I'll show you in a little while just how easy it is, and they're quite large as well. So I've done patterns in the in the pa uh, past where they're little mini ones that so can be a bit tricky, but these are nice big ones. So what we've got here is you've got your top base and then you've just got your cuff, if you like, at the bottom. 
So for the back, that's simply all it is. It's on the front that it changes to feature that Dresden. So with the panels, actually, if you didn't want to put the Dresden on there, you know, you could just use the, the cuff, which is here at the bottom, and the main part and keep this nice and simple. The same really, you know, we've talked about craft fairs, you know, when you're doing craft fairs, sometimes you want nice speedy projects to work, to get your, your you know, your showcase ready. And adding things like the Dresden can take a little bit of time. Yeah, it's a lovely feature though, isn't it? If you've oh, got I the just, time. I just love any opportunity to showcase the Dresden, yeah. but you can see that this comes together very quickly. Now for your Dresden, so on here, the way that the panel has been put together is that you're alternating the, fit, the, um, the combinations of fabric that feature in here. So you're simply going to take your Dresden, fold these in half, yeah. and then just sew here along the raw edge. And a nice yeah. little tool for this project, um, I think we've got a little tool uh, maybe on the table across there, but something to... You can either finger press, press these, or finger crease these ones. So the little clover tool is fantastic for that as well. So for each of these Dresdens, I'm just folding in half mm -hmm. and sewing along that longest top raw edge there. And there's quite a few of these, so you can just chain stitch these to keep this nice and speedy. And the reason that I particularly love the Dresden is it's a nice scrap busting. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, you don't need much. It really highlights the patterns, doesn't it? Yeah. And I always want to get the most from my fabrics as well. You know, and just popping this on the front of any project, like you, like you mentioned, keeps mm -hmm. that nice and, you know, you're showcasing those. Yeah. yeah so absolutely. I have already snit these, but when you come to do your Dresden, you just simply go into snip there into the corner. So when you turn these out, that's pressing into that corner and you're getting a nice point just on the top of each one of your Dresdens here. Mm -hmm. So if I do that for a few, I've already put um, most of it together. So you can sort of batch make those, yeah, can't you? Yeah. Um, no, a couple of nice messages. Uh, Sue says, I'm absolutely going to use cost neutral from now on. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, That's Marion's, what I've learned today. Yeah, I love that. Cost neutral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not to be confused with a for nothing purchase, <laughs> which is when things are on sale to such an extent that they're actually for nothing. Yeah. Um, that's different. Um, Alison Marion's got in touch to say from now on she's going to be putting scratch cards in her crackers. Oh, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, just in case someone <laughs> wins the big one. Or anything, frankly. It's quite fun. Yeah, yeah. I think that's great. You just yeah. make somebody's Christmas. I, I love that as well. I love that idea. So I've just popped these through and I'm just simply going to press now to give myself a nice point on there. Sorry, I feel like I've neglected you. Well, I felt if I just Goodness hovered, sake, hovered for long having enough. Having to do your own ironing, <laughs> Kerry, what is the world coming to? I thought if I hovered and gave you the look. You'll be straight upstairs, <laughs> won't you? After this After show, show. <laughs> we're like, if that ever happens again, I'm Have walking. Have a word. Have a word. I'm going to walk. <laughs> <laughs> So then all we're doing here is just following the design of the pattern and they have been printed onto the panel in a particular way for you, which once you've got them all cut out um, and placing them, you're alternating the four different fabrics here and it's very easy to work that order out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Fabulous, thank you very much. So sorry to have kept you waiting. You I'll let you off, you're all Do right. Do you know, I'm like a house elf. If anyone ever buys me a sock, that's it, I'll be gone. I'll be Where's free. <laughs> Is that all it takes? <laughs> right, let's pop these on. I'm not going to worry too much about this. Would you mind just pressing that seam for me as well? Lovely. Would you mind? So, Open pop the Dresden. One way. It doesn't matter on there, to be honest. Okay. Up or down, mm. whichever you prefer. Mm. All I'm going to do is just place these together. Where the fold of the fabric is on the Dresden, we'll line that top corner up and then we're simply sewing along that raw edge there. And we'll do that for each four of those Dresden pieces. So I will start with a reverse stitch on there. Just okay. a quarter inch seam allowance on each of these pieces. Mm -hmm. That's it. So a quarter inch seam. Just a yeah. quarter inch seam on here. 
And then the difference really between the back and the front of your tea cosy mm. ultimately is that you just are sewing the Dresden into that seam. Oh, okay, I so see. So nice, nice and easy. Yep. But we want those raw edges in there so it's nice and secure. Mm -hmm. Now in the pattern, I won't have time to do this today, but in the pattern um, I do add just some really nice echo quilting just yeah. around to really emphasise the Dresden. Yeah. And so with that in mind, I have popped a layer of batting in there mm -hmm, as well, mm -hmm. because you don't want to sew into, um, you know, your heat resistant fabric. Sure. And just to explain here, you've used quilt batting and the heat reflective, which we don't have in stock at the moment. But if, you, and that does require actually quite a lot of layers, doesn't yeah. it? It ends up quite thick. But if you want to use the thermalan, you can bypass the wadding and the heat reflective. Yeah. You can use one or two layers of Thermaland. Two layers will be extra insulating. Depends how long you like to linger over a cup of tea, frankly. <laughs> I mean, I'd yeah, get no, down me. I'd be all right with, with just yeah. fabric, to be completely yeah. honest with I you. I can drink it scalding hot or completely <laughs> yeah. cold. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm just so really accustomed care. to cold tea, to be honest with you. Would you mind giving that a little press for me? <laughs> of course I don't mind, darling. Anything for you. There we go. There we go. I'm People will be sending not, in trying... socks now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All complaints that I'm taking advantage of you. <laughs> oh, no. No. There we go. That's all pressed. Lovely. So when you come to do your Dresden, then you're simply just going to centre that on here. I mean, to centre it, we're just folding, finding your centre and lining up your middle yeah, point perfect, of your dress. easy. Then for the little half um, circle that we've got there just to finish it, I've used a fusible interface in here. So I've put the fusible interface in pattern facing towards the fabric. So when we turn this the right way out, the fusible side will just fuse directly to the fabric Oh, it's there. on the outside. That's clever. That's right. So if you're, you know, slip stitching this, then it just means it secures it into place. No pins? No pins required. And that no. covers all the raw edges And that up covers at the your raw edges. So just give that a little press for Gorgeous. me, please. Yeah, you want to press that in place? Yes, please. Okay, we'll do. And it just holds it there. So because I've put the layer of bat in there, you can, you know, you can use a lovely decorative stitch. A blanket stitch would look fabulous on there, actually. And you can do any quilting, or you can leave it as it is and yeah. just hand stitch the Dresden directly to there. I <coughs> just want to make sure I cover all those raw edges up. That's it. So we definitely want to cover those little edges. Now, on the tea cosy and on your panel as well, you've also got this little loop. I mean, I always remember visiting my auntie Evelyn and she always had a tea cosy. And she used to get really frustrated if the tea cosy didn't have something to pinch and, you know, oh, lift, it, sure. off, lift yeah, yeah. it off with. I mean, yeah. you knitted one, you'd have a little bobble on there. So you've got your little loop there. It's nice as well if you just want to hook it on, you know, up high. Um, in the kitchen as well. So mm. for the hanging loop, all I've done here is folded the fabric into four and then just stitched on either side of those. So we've got that lovely little hanging loop there as well. I'm just going to pin this on for oh, you. Oh, thank you. Before so if I'm you, asked. If you, <laughs> before you get the look. <laughs> oh. I love that you can just read my mind and you know exactly yes, what I'm thinking yes. before it's even entered mine to be perfectly honest oh, with you. Yeah. There we go, that's all pinned in place. So what we've got now, so the Dresden is nice and secure, we've got that centre semicircle there um, and then this is where you would do any of your quilt into this section. Yeah, yeah. And then for the bottom, so for the cuff of this if you like, then I've just popped this on top and sewn through the layers again. Mm. So I'll do that just to complete the front. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we said if you've got the pattern or if you're making this again, you know, and if you wanted to make lots of these, I know, mm. you know, they're great for little, um, you know, craft fairs, but also, you know, your charity events as oh, well. Oh yeah, they're lovely nice. gifts as well. Yeah. If you're doing like a sort of a charity coffee yeah. morning or oh, something yeah, like that, nice. you and you make and sell them. Yeah. But if you're doing a charity coffee morning, it just look nice to have your colours if you've yeah, got a would. theme. Yeah. So you might not want to do... I mean, I always try and talk myself out of overcomplicating things, but I do have a way of... <laughs> I do have a way of doing that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So again, we'll just press this. Yep. Press this out for me. And then just to mention, if you're using your um, foil uh, fabric in here, and, this, and I'm talk through this through the pattern as well, 
I actually put two layers uh, of this into the into the project. So you're simply going to cut them the same size. The templates are in your pattern, but of course you can use. Um, and, and I tend not to use the templates at this stage, to be honest. I tend to just use the templates that mm. are there from the actual project. And then what you're doing here is you're having two layers, both of the heat reflective, so the silver side needs to face up towards the fabric. And then we can pop your two layers in. So you're placing two layers on top. You've got your batting and your panel. We then take your backing of your tea cosy, place this on top. And at this stage, it's quite important just to check that these are marrying up mm, at the sides. Mm. And I've got another two layers here. Now I'm just simply going to slide the little loop in between in the center and clip through those layers. Once I'm at this stage, I'm then simply just going to sew around the exterior and repeat that for the lining. So that even the lining is included on your panels as well. So you've got that gorgeous gingham, which mm. I think is fabulous mm. for a lining. And again, we're just simply sewing around those raw edges. Once you've done both of those, you're simply going to place them together. So we turn this one the right way once we've sewn it and put the raw edges marrying up. And then I decided just because I really like binding projects and getting the most, once you've done that, and I'm sure um, Stuart will be able to show you on our Dijon one, I've just, bind, just added a binding around the cuff to just secure all of those layers into, into here. And because there's so many layers, I actually found it easier to just zigzag stitch over that binding to really make sure I've secured that through both of the layers there. Good method that I like that. Now, if you want to get the bundle where you get all of the lilac, you get panel, pretty pot mat make two bundle of uh, pattern sorry panel tea cozy panel oven gloves all in the lilac amazing value for 49.99 so remember you get the full panel to make the project a set of oven, a set of oven gloves two pot holders and a tea cozy but also you get the instructions and the dimensions to make it again and again and again. It's the only way that you can get the panel, the lilac panel for the potholders as well actually, is within the bundle. The oven glove as well actually, the oven glove panel because that's sold out on its own. Yeah, been really busy. Okay, so that's in lilac. Now we've also got all of these things in the Dijon all available on the web. If you want the bundle of all three, should we just give those details? If you want all three projects in the beige, country beige, again, you get the pa three panels, three sets of instructions, special price, 49.99, you get all three in this gorgeous kind of soft corn, Dijon mustard yellow, absolutely gorgeous. Okay. That's that. Now, draft excluders. Now, um, I've got the pattern and I've got a panel, Hannah. Have I got more than one panel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I don't have the orange panel with me, but I've got the sample, so we'll have a look for that. Okay, right, so this is the Living in Loveliness Home Draft Excluder. Um, I don't think we've got the panel, but I can show you the finished make. So this is your draft excluder. You're getting your kit here. This is for your pattern and for your panel, and it's orange flowers, so is that this one? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. There we go. So there's the one. So there's those gorgeous, I mean, this is perfect, isn't it, for autumn? You've got those lovely, warm, rich, autumny colours. And look, you've got your pretty floral on the back as well. What do you stuff it with? Um, just toy stuffing. Toy stuffing, yeah. 
Oh, back in the 70s, that would have been old tights. <laughs> cut up. Do you remember? Tights were for games. Do you remember tights were for back games. in the day? No. Oh, no, when they were full of holes, they were all chopped up and used for toy stuffing. <laughs> Trust me. Right, so you get, that's the orange one. You get your panel and you get your pattern as well. So you can remake it with your own scraps. So that's that one. Then I've got it in teal flowers. Is this one teal? This is the teal. Is that this one here? Yeah. No. Is it? Yeah. Oh, excellent. I've got it. Got it. Hurrah. Right, so this is the teal flowers. With the little birds look like okay, it's got beautiful. little birds on it as well i'll open out the panel so you can see what you're getting this is well it's this is the one you said was teal isn't yeah. it yeah this is teal with birds on it we've got another one called birds though oh okay is that this is going to be I've, birds. I've just named it <laughs> okay i think i think that teal is this one I think we've called this one teal. Okay. And there's a panel. Yeah. So this is your... That's right, actually. Yeah, that yeah. was teal. Yeah. Right. So this is the teal. So 14 99 Brilliant price. Pattern and panel. Again, I'm going to open this out so you can see what you're getting. There we go. Look, all those lovely fabrics... You've got your applique fabrics, you've got your piecing fabrics, you've got your backing, everything to make the draft excluder. And all those little extra sections you've got of flowers, I've made little plush padded hearts with those as well. Oh, so although ones. that pattern's not in your, your pattern, mm. you've just, it's a shame not to use it. So nice little plush padded hearts made a lovely little Beautiful. coordinating gift just oh, to yeah, hang on nice. the door handle. Well, it would be a lovely housewarming present for yeah. somebody. Or if you're going to stay with somebody, you could take them a little gift. Um, and also as well, you know, we've been talking today about keeping the house warm and cosy yeah. during the autumn and winter. Draft excluders are a great way of doing it. So that's that, fourteen ninety nine. And then our last one is the birds. And that is this one right here. So it's got those gorgeous kind of deep teal and navy colours. And then if I turn this around so you can see the backing has got all these gorgeous little garden birds on it. It's beautiful. And here's the panel. Again, 100% cotton. There's your panel. And look, you've got little blue tits at the bottom, which you could do some extra little appliques. I think I'd applique them next yeah. to home. Yeah, that'd be lovely really cute i'm all for making hearts so i do love making little brush padded hearts yeah i feel I while the machine's on if there's a scrap i need to make just a little a little heart mm, no absolutely gorgeous really nice they're nice to hang on door yeah, handles and yeah. things like that aren't they lovely right no pattern on its own for that though only in one of those three bundles the choice is the orange flowers you can get the um teal or you can get the um birds now, I've also got a doorstop in orange, which is the doorstop. We're just grabbing that. Thank you. Right, that's a reading cushion. That's not the right one. That's the reading cushion as well. Okay, let me show you the doorstop itself. <laughs> I'm just having a bit of a trouble finding the right panel at the moment. Don't worry, we'll get there. Right, let's show you what you're getting. So it's to make the doorstop, it features a cute little cottage. And on the panel, you get all your fabrics for your background of your doorstop and also all of your appliques you also of course get your full pattern which includes templates so you can make this again and again now then we've got by the looks of it four different options so the first one okay right here we go so this is the first one let me show you the panel so this is very me 
This is those gorgeous blues and oranges. I always think oranges. of you when I see autumnal colours. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Do, yeah. It is definitely me. Oh, it's lovely. Really like that. Oh, that's gorgeous too. Look, you get a little, little extra there. So um, you've got all your fabrics. This is for the background. Lovely little ditzy all over. And then you've also got your, the bottom edge. You've got your house. You've got the bottom of your doorstop. You've got your door. You've got your roof. You've got all your different sections and actually very generous pieces of fabric as well. You've got your little bee wings and body. Oh, there's a little bee on look as well. Can you see? Little... When I made it, I was like, it just needs a little Aww. bee. Everything needs a little so bee. So you get all your little PK Every, pieces for that too. Everything's on there for you. Adorable. It's great value, isn't it? Fourteen ninety nine for your panel. So use your panel first, make one, but then you've got full instructions and templates included as well amazing value you can make loads of these again that would go really nicely with the um, draft excluder yeah. wouldn't it really nice so that's that version now next up we have got the teal version okay that's this one right here so this is in teal so you might remember again we've also got the matching draft excluder in these colors that's gorgeous absolutely lovely here's the matching draft excluder got those lovely fresh florals really pretty and this is to make the door stop um what do you put in the bottom of this so actually when i did this i just used a cell i used the cellar bag actually that came from the pattern filled yep. it of some sand and then just put a little box oh, in there because idea. i recommend using interfacing just on the inside so that stops your sand you know coming out Got to there you. as well yes. but i definitely recommend you know the base section that floral section on the bottom yep. you really want some weight in there yeah heavy sand yep. or polystyrene polythene pellets you, you could definitely use those yeah, yeah. You could definitely rice. Use those. But you want yep. it to be nice and heavy. Yeah. Rocks from the garden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's that one. Not the pretty white pebbles. No, don't use those. Don't use those. <laughs> don't use those. Um, next up, we've got the birds ending 5 8. Yep, yeah. ending 5 8. So this one matches the birds. So this has got those lovely dark teals and navy blue. And then you've also got those little birds as well really cute really cute the little blue tits and of course full instructions and pattern included okay so you've got a matching doorstop and a draft excluder perfect absolutely perfect there we go right that's that project oh now pattern on its own we've also got pattern on its own can i just grab one of those patterns back 6.99 for your happy home doorstop I'm just going to open this out and have a little look inside. So full instructions, full size templates, you don't need to enlarge anything. No, no, they're all the correct size. Awesome. So look, great colour instructions, loads of pictures, loads of step by steps, so you know exactly how to make. And then you've also got all of your full size templates as well. Oh, this is going the extra mile, look. You've got, all, for 6 99 you've got all of your templates as well, full size. That just makes the whole job so much easier. Absolutely fantastic. Right, next up, we've got the reading cushion. Now, I'm a big fan of the reading cushion. Big fan of the reading cushion because it's a great way to encourage children to read, isn't it? Yeah. A nice, cosy cushion. And here it is. Oh, that's really cute. Look, it says, read me. But you could. I mean, we've put the letters in for you to put that applique on there. But of course, if you're making these as a gift, you yep. could put, a, you know, somebody's name you on there. You could put someone's name, couldn't you? Or title you? of a favourite book if you wanted to do a little free motion or yeah. use your machine. That's lovely. I really like that. I really like that. Uh, now... Uh, do I have the bundle? Please. Do 
Thank you. Right. So this is ending 04. Purple. Yep. So this is the purple. Here we go. So you get your full instructions and you also get your fabric panel and that's got all these luscious purple florals. So that's going to make this version. Do I need to add my own backing? You'll need to add, yeah. You just need some backing fabric. So a white on white, that looks really pretty. Love the pom-pom trim as well. Got your pocket on the front to put your book in and then find a cosy corner and just sit and relax and enjoy your book. Beautiful, absolutely lovely. So that's your purple version. And then we've also got a teal version. That's, that's a draft excluder. There it is, reading cushion. I'm going to give you that. Here we go. So, oh, lovely. So this again goes with the draft excluder and with the um, doorstop, doesn't it? Yeah. So this is the lovely light teals. And just on the bottom as well, you've got some little quotes there that you can use on the spines of oh, the Oh, I wondered if you got those included. Look, happiness is a full bobbin. So much fun, so little time. It's all fun and games until the bobbin runs out. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oh, that's really clever. Really clever, love that. Okay, great. And then if you want the pattern on its own, <clears throat> you can get the pattern on its own for the reading cushion at 8 99 your patterns are great value great value uh, Teresa says um oh another little make i've already made the home cushion went to my niece and her partner for a housewarming gift and i'm with you kerry i make hearts out of all my scraps every door handle has one and i have lots filled with homegrown lavender in drawers oh how lovely it's my mum my mum gives me all their lavender for my yeah. i i experimented growing it and i have a tiny little section so i still have to go to my mum for the lavender <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i could totally yeah it's lovely to do that yeah definitely um christine says morning gorgeous kerry padmore and stuart hillard uh, so carried away with the demo, I forgot to message in and say hi. I'm doing a Christmas fair soon and all these would be fabulous in Christmas fabrics. Oh. They really would. Um, Derek says, oh my goodness, yes, I remember my grandmother collecting the discarded tights from my mum and aunt and put adding them to her draft excluder stuffing bags. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you uh, Sharon's going to say, morning, lovely people. You could store your TV remote in oh, the pocket. that's a nice idea. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. Yes, yep. it is. You can never have enough cushions on the sofa, on the bed. It's true. <laughs> Alicia <laughs> asks, she says, I've just joined a bit late today, but I managed to get the table runner from your earlier show, the gorgeous Christmas table runner. She says, is there a video demo available? I always love your projects, Kerry. There isn't, not specifically in the pattern. Yeah. Um, but if she wants to send me an email, I'll send it for when it was originally. Oh, when yeah, it was originally you can watch on. the yeah. original show. You can, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Just send Kerry um, Drop me an, an email. email. Awesome, thank you. Right, that's that. Now, next up, we've got the pattern folder. We've done this together before, haven't we? The organising folder for your sewing patterns. I think. We've got purple. Here we go, I got it here. Pattern folding sewing themed. Uh, the panel, that ends four or five, yeah? Perfect, thank you. So Kerry, you've got an example over there of the finished I have, yeah. folder. Different fabrics, but it'll show us what it is. So your pattern folder is, is designed, all of your pieces are on there, including your little hexagons. You've got your little section of white here. Now I've put sewing patterns in here because um, th this is exactly where I keep them. Although I've since made lots, you know, again, you can personalize these mm. in that little section. So it's secured by some hook and loop there. And then when you open, um, open up your pattern folder, to the left-hand side, you've got a nice clear vinyl pocket there mm. with your little zip. And I tend to keep pens, accessories, and things yeah. in there. Could be template and shapes, Perfect, it? yeah, absolutely perfect. 
Then on the opposite side, again, it's attached by hook and loop. You've got two sets of pockets. So you've got your larger pockets here. I tend to use this for my design folder, so I'd put my pens and small scissors. And then you've got that secondary layer of pockets here mm -hmm. as well. So plenty mm -hmm. space to store inside. And then it's you know finished with this little hangy um, little handle there. So it'd yeah. be like a little briefcase. Yeah, it's fab. And I'm thinking I store a lot of patterns in, you know, poly pockets. Yeah. They would go in absolutely perfectly. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Now look, we've got the um purple sort of dressmaking themed panel with pattern to make the pattern folder this is gorgeous it's kind of vintage looking you've got your dressmakers mannequin iron seam ripper of course <laughs> Can't best, do friend. Without a best friend best friend we don't really like but keeps hanging around <laughs> <laughs> you've got thread you've got scissors beautiful so everything on there to make your pattern folder plus your full instructions for eighteen ninety nine. That's a brilliant little project that, and that will fit any A four. Any A four, yeah. Binder, won't it? Yeah, which of course are readily available, and that's very very giftable. We've also got it in a blue colourway. This is absolutely yummy. This is kind of Delft blues and really really pretty. Look at these gorgeous fabrics that you've got on your panel. Sort of little blossoms and tulips and little sprigs of flowers very very pretty ah, it's called blue china and i said delft it is yeah. that kind of ceramics yeah it's lovely ever so nice and of course you can make more you can make and sell them you could make and gift them to friends i mean what if you've got sewing or dressmaking friends what about making everybody a, yeah. a little file for their patterns i think that's gorgeous now if you want the pattern on its own we've got it it's fabulously fast fat quarter fun so these are fat quarter friendly they're all fat quarter friendly. ace yeah. ace so this might be a bit of a, you know, once you've got your pattern, a bit of a cost neutral way to gift <laughs> to your sewing friends for Christmas. Because go into your stash, we've all got fat quarters yeah. lurking, haven't we? Or scraps, bits of fabric. Make everybody a pattern file. Four fat quarters this one, this little project takes. So perfect, Ace. perfect for a quarter friendly project. Yeah. Love that, that's great. Right. Now, next up, I've got the Sewing Room Accessories Trio, which I've got right here. I've got three different colourways and the pattern on its own. Which colourway would you like to do first? Purples, yeah. So this is this matches, actually, the pattern folder. So this is using the vintage purple sewing theme. And what patterns do we get in here? I see three things. So you're getting a trio of patterns. There's some just right on the corner here. You've got the three little projects in, Ooh, in the right. in the different fabric, not the yep. same as the panel. But you're getting three patterns which have which are perfect for your sewing room. So we've got the little triangular zip pouch there, which is fabulous to keep That's where cute. I tend to keep clips. Um, my quilting clips yeah, in there. Yeah, clips. The little storage basket there is the perfect size to put your you know your pre-folded fat quarters in there. So a nice yep. way to organise them. That's cute. Um, and slot those in. And then your little boxy boxy bag there. I yep. tend to use this then for, you know, your small scissors, maybe your quilter's tape. Yep. You know, all your little accessories. Box that, of pins, box thimble. Of pins, yep. So these are great to sew, you know, keep in your sewing bag when you go into classes or mm. just to organise your little, you know, your little bits so you know where they are. Um, and in the sewing room theme, it's fabulous, really. But also as well, like one of the things I like to gift at Christmas, things like hand creams and just little self-care yeah, packs. Yeah. And I like to make that little bag with a few little gifts in, perfect. Little this, perfect sewing kit. I mean, there's so many ways you could yeah. use this, not just in your sewing room. They're, they're nice, actually. So we had photos sent of these, you know, to put your little cleansing wipe pads yes, in. Yes, uh, You know, a nice little, a little gift bathroom if you like organizer. putting your collections in. Yeah, it's perfect for that. Fab. That's your sewing themed version. We've also got teal. There's a bit of a theme going yeah. on here. Love that. There's we your like, teals. We like it to coordinate. We like it coordinating. <laughs> we really do. Well, coordinating Beautiful. in the kitchen, coordinating in the sewing yeah, room. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> this is those lovely light teal florals. We saw the draft excluder and the home pillow and the reading pillow, actually, in this, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And now you've got your sewing organiser, sewing room organisers. 
you've got your box pouch, you've got your triangular pouch, and you've also got your little fabric basket. That is gorgeous. Panel to make all three, instructions to make all three, and of course dimensions to make as many as you like in the future. And then last of all, we've got the blue bundle. So uh, these are all those lovely sort of china blue prints, little tulips, little blossoms, plus pattern. You can't get the pattern on its own. The only way you can get it is in a bundle. Kerry, it's been fast and furious. <laughs> it certainly has, hasn't it, today? It's been fabulous. Thank you for the wonderful company. <laughs> it's been absolutely glorious you to see you. trouble this morning. Oh, you put your boo boo. And I love it. Love you lots. All right. Um, I'll see you very soon when see you're you back. See you very soon. 7th of November. It's a date. Uh, I will see you after this break with Sally Ann Harrison and a brand new Henley sailboat quilt. I'm Becky, I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery, I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do an awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing, so I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my doll's clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, 
three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello you. How's your morning going? We've been having the most fun this morning at Sewing Street. Three amazing guests. It's our final hour. Oh my goodness, we've saved a wonderful project for our final hour from one of our favourite guests, Sally Ann Harrison. Um, the Queen of Liberty, I think it's fair to say. But also, oh my goodness, what an amazing piece Sally Ann is. I mean, I was at Festival of Quilts and saw her amazing award-winning quilt there that she did. You've done um, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yes, that was yeah. the foundation piece. The iconic Audrey Hepburn. Yes. Done in foundation piecing. So it's fair to say you've got your head around foundation piecing. I love foundation piecing. You're going to be showing us today how to do foundation oh. piecing. Technique that some people are a bit marmitey about. It's fair to say, isn't it? Yeah, um, but for me, it gives you that precision, you know, yeah. absolute precision. And there's a process, and it's quite sort of a rhythmic process of so trim. Soothing. Iron, you know, and you go from one piece to the next, and then you get this lovely little crisp block. I agree with you wholeheartedly. And I, you know, I, I, I don't I don't accept any any you know messing about everybody everybody you know I'm kidding but everybody needs to learn how to foundation piece and get your head around it because it's too brilliant a technique to not use yeah exactly you know there's so many gorgeous things you can make with foundation piecing um, and you're gonna show us how today yes. anyway so don't you worry now look this is there's two versions this is the mini version I'm in love with this I'm in love with this. Uh, there's a few things about this I really love. I love the sailboat, it's really cute. It's a cute pattern. I absolutely adore the positive negative. Next, I think that is beautiful and almost Escher-like, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's got that sort of look. But then also look, little three-dimensional flags. You do a lot of three-dimensional stuff in your work, don't you? Oh, I do, you? yeah. We've had origami shoes and dresses. I like to make things 3D. Love yeah, it, yeah. I love it. It makes you engage with the piece of work, yeah. doesn't it? Physically engage yes. with it. Um, and, it and, and it's pearls. tactile, mm, you mm. know? Absolutely, it invites you to. You've got little pearls here on the pattern. You've got little buttons, all sorts you could do. Now, this could be a really lovely way of doing a memory quilt because it's foundation pieced you could use all sorts of different fabrics when you're foundation piecing you don't have, just have to use quilt weight cotton they're little bits so this could be a baby quilt yeah you know or, or memory of baby clothes yeah couldn't it Definitely. little bits but also look this is the mini version but and there's the mini foundation but look you also get what we've nicknamed the midi version <laughs> yeah, or the maybe. maxi version which is the large scale so you could do a bed quilt you could do a wall quilt and you're not having to make a gazillion of these you're making fewer of these or you could mix and match so you're getting the pattern for both so let's go through the bundles now to start with we've got blue tonals which rather 
simplifies the gorgeousness of what you're getting. You get the pattern, very importantly. You get eight fat quarters. Look at these. It would be an absolute crime to do Sally Ann Harrison without some liberty in there. You've got some gorgeous prints. You've got some Wiltshire shadow. You've got some batiks and some tonal prints. This is absolutely delicioso. I love that combination. Absolutely beautiful. You also get three meters of white. And this isn't to make the little mini version. This is to make the big version. Sally Ann, what size is the big version of the quilt? The big version is 48 by 36. Brilliant. 48 inches length and 36 wide. Yeah. Awesome. Great. So great wall hanging. Lovely baby quilt, actually, that. And I'm wondering, would I have a few scraps to make a few of the little mini blocks left over if I'm careful oh, with my cutting? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. It would make a great label, wouldn't it? It would make a lovely label for yeah. the back. Or you might even have enough just to make one or two little want to put in a cushion yeah. to go with a baby quilt. It'd be lovely. Um, I'm all about getting the most out of a kit. Three metres of white and all of those fat quarters, eight fat quarters. This is an absolutely beautiful selection of fabrics, isn't it? You get your pattern included. It's brand new. It's launching today here on Sewing Street with amazing award-winning quilter, Sally Ann Harrison. Um, Sue says, I thought your Audrey Hepburn was a well-deserved awarded quilt at F uh, Festival of Quilts. Should have been the winning quilt. Oh, thank you very much. Nice, nice, amazing, amazing piece of work. Yeah, you've done some gorgeous quilts. So that's the blue tonal version. I've got three different kits. Next up, let's do the purples and pinks. So if I'm being very, very broad, I might say this is a blue baby quilt. This is a pink baby quilt. <laughs> I'm not going to say that though, because okay. you know, you can make things for anybody. Um, you get three meters of white fabric, same three meters of white. And then look, you get these beautiful tonals, mottles, batiks, Wiltshire shadow, gorgeous gorgeous oh emily bell in there as well do love it when you get some liberty absolutely gorgeous plus your three meters of white plus your full instructions and remember this is to make the large version so you're going to use the large foundation remember you get a mini version as well for the little mini quilt but you're going to make the large version so large template and this makes a quilt which is 48 inches in depth and 36 inches wide. So this is a lap quilt. Um, and how many blocks do you make for the lap quilt? I think there's 36 in the lap quilt and 25 in the mini. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. So this is the kind of thing you could make one or two of these sailboats every day, put them in a box. Yes. Before you know it, you've got all your quilt a blocks. A flotilla. Yeah, you've got a whole flotilla. I love that. I love that. Beautiful. <laughs> so that's our second version, kind of pretty in pinks and damsons and plums and lilacs. Gorgeous. And then our third version, one might call a rainbow. Now, you know I'm going to be there for this. <laughs> I can, purely because, Sally, I can't pick a favourite colour. Loads of these in baskets. You've got your pattern. You've got your three metres of white. Love that they're all um, set against white. And then look, you've got a real lovely mixture of rainbow colours. So you've got a red mottle. You've got a pink, that's a Liberty, isn't it? A little uh, Liberty print there. You've got an orange tonal. You've got a yellow floral, pretty. A green mottle, another Liberty. And then a blue. Isn't that a gorgeous selection? And that would be so much fun. So much fun. And can I throw in my two penneth, Sally Ann? <laughs> just to say that you could use all of these for your sailboats and your sails, but you could if you wanted to. This is the mini version, of course. You could go into your stash and find little bits 
to put little different flags on all of them couldn't you you could those little extras because you only need a little bit for that yeah such a fun idea i love it now if you want the pattern on its own if you're thinking like i'm thinking oh my goodness i could dive headfirst into my scraps and all my precious fabrics and i could do a, a whole kaleidoscope <laughs> a whole flotilla of henley sailboats you just need the pattern Grab the pattern for 9.99. Full instructions. Remember, this is amazing value because you get the mini quilt and you also get the lap quilt. And it's not just make fewer blocks to make a mini quilt. No. It's a whole scaled down miniature block. Yeah. But it's still easy to piece. Yes, it is. It's, it's very few pieces. So it's, it's very succinct. I think there's only nine pieces in the block, so it's not like you're starting out with like 20 pieces that you've got to no. figure out to put together. There's only nine. Yeah. So, yeah. And when you are foundation piecing, Sally Ann, there's different things that you can use as your foundation. Yeah. So you can use um, things like you can use things like lightweight interfacing and draw on that mm -hmm. and use that. You can use freezer paper mm -hmm. and you can use the um, what do you call it? What are you calling this one? The, the Carol Doak. The ca yeah, the Carol Doak, which yes. is a firm favourite. Yes. Yes. So this is a beautiful because what you can do is you can you can scan the pattern into your computer. If you've got a scanner printer, you can scan the pattern in, and then you can actually put this paper through your computer printer. Yeah. And it's not regular computer paper at all, is it? No. This is specifically made. It's lightweight. So it doesn't create loads of bulk when you're joining sections or joining your blocks together. It's absorbent, so your ink is absorbed into the paper but won't transfer onto anything else. And it's also non-coated, which means that your fabrics won't slip and slide when you put them on. And it yeah. won't distort either when you're working with it, when you iron it, it won't shrink and distort. It won't curl, it won't turn brittle. And some computer papers really can, and they're coated. Yeah. So it is much easier to use. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. I've got here like just, just a, a copy that's mm -hmm. taken from the pattern straight onto the paper that came out of my printer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it just comes out like this. Well, the thing that you've got to be a little bit careful of, and I do say this in the instructions, is sometimes printers seem to default to 97% or whatever. And I don't really know why. So double check the size when it actually comes out. Yes. That it matches the size in the pattern. Well, you've got a little inch square, yes. haven't you, on the pattern? Yeah. And I think it comes down on your printer. Just make sure that the setting is you, you want it on print to size rather than scale to fit. Yes. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. Because the scale to fit will shrink it or distort it to fit the page. Yeah. Whereas you want it just printed full size. Yeah. And the other thing that I would want to point out about the templates is um, in the pattern on page eight, it actually says templates. Now the template, the little baby first template was too big to go on page eight. So it's gone on to page nine and page mm -hmm. 10. Mm -hmm. But it does say in block capitals before that, don't forget to add a seam allowance to the printed templates. So Got these you. are just the template. So you can add a half inch, quarter inch, whatever seam allowance you want but you will need a seam allowance around that outside oh, edge. Oh, I see. So rather than just cutting out sort of rough, larger pieces of fabric, you actually got templates. Yep. You can cut your, so, so you're really economical with your fabric. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Now then, um, something you may find incredibly useful, and I would recommend, I think you would recommend too, add a quarter ruler. Can't do without them. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Now this is a double pack. Best way to buy them. And what you're getting here is you're getting a 12 inch at a quarter ruler and you're getting a six inch at a quarter ruler. Um, why would I need both, Sally Ann? Why do you think both would be a better idea? Bigger blocks. Yeah. Um, and also, I use, some, I use my add a quarter to add the quarter around the edge of a block mm, as well sometimes. Yeah. So, again, the six inch might be too small if you're doing like a 10 inch pieced block. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I was doing a small block, I'd dive straight in with the small six inch at a quarter. It's just easier to manipulate in your hands, isn't it? And use if you're doing small things, a small ruler. Whereas if you're doing a bigger project, a bigger block, or as you say, you're trimming around the outside of your block, this is perfect. At a quarter rulers, if you've not seen them before, they, you can rotary cut along the wide edge and they have a lip. 
and that lip is a quarter of an inch in there's a little quarter inch lip so um I mean, Sally Ann will show us how to use it, but it really is a boon when you're doing foundation piecing. Yeah. Love them. And Carol Doak recommends them. And Carol Doak is the queen of foundation piecing. <laughs> and if she re recommends them, then I'm there. So she taught me to foundation piece. She did? Yeah. She taught me to foundation piece. Ooh. Yeah. Um, now, freezer paper, I do not have on the counter, but you can use freezer paper you can for use, foundation pieces. Yeah, I don't know how far I'll get today, but you can use use it for foundation piecing, and you can also get it that goes through your printer. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so it, you, you print it off in exactly the same way, you just sew it slightly differently. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Hopefully there's time to show us. Okay. Yeah, let's go to demo. Okay. So there were some things that I just wanted to cover to start off with about the pattern and about foundation piecing. Basically, um, foundation piecing, you're going to use a size 90, a size 14 needle. Okay. Okay, so you're going to use a fatter needle to yep. make a bigger hole yep. so that when it comes to coming, the, the paper's coming out, then they, they can come out readily. It's a good tip. Yep. I like that. Um, I always keep my papers in the block for as long as I can bear them, okay? A lot of people, like, I wouldn't personally make a little block like, like, like the sailboat and take them all off and then join them together. Me neither. I would actually join the whole thing yep. and then I get my husband to sit there and pick out the papers. Yes. yes. If you don't have a husband who can <laughs> pick the paper out for you, you can still make this project. Yeah. Though I agree, yeah. teenage children, well, godchildren, grandchildren. When I made um, the Audrey Hepburn quilt, mm. I kept all of the papers in the whole thing. I pieced it when I was away on holiday and I brought it back. I mean, bear in mind, it's like this, by yeah. like this, yeah. with all the papers still in it. Yeah. Because I wanted to keep it square. I didn't want to give it a chance to warp. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And that won an award. So I think Sally Ann Harrison, someone we should all be listening to. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other top tip is to try and avoid having bias or right on the edges of your block. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes this is not avoidable. You sort of end up with a bit, little bit of a bias edge. Mm. So what I would do before I started is I would actually spray starch the fabric to Good give it tip. a little bit more body mm -hmm. to stop it doing anything strange around the edges of your block. Love that. Love okay. that. Yes. Yes. Um, Sue's got in touch again to say, I love that you two both went with flotilla. <laughs> uh, a flotilla of both. Um, I, I'd have gone full-scale, all-conquering Armada. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see your version soon. Armada. Okay, what else did I want to add? Keep the papers in. Um, I find it useful to actually make one block and actually pin it in front of me. Mm. And it helps sort of going forward to make yeah. the other ones the same. I said about the printer. Um, and you can even, sometimes on, on, on perhaps complex blocks or if it's the first time, I'll grab coloured pencils and I'll colour in the first foundation. Yes. Just so that I've got a guide so it's absolutely kind of goof proof yeah. the first time around. Yeah. Because that is one of the things that people say, oh, I don't like foundation piecing because I never know which fabric goes where. Yeah. So colour in your foundation first. Thanks, Levi. <laughs> and... Um, is my cup of tea. tea. <laughs> yeah. Well looked Co after. Colour in your foundation first, mm. or like I've done on this one, look, I've just put blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, coated yeah. it across the yeah. back so I know what I'm going for. Okay. Um, the other note to make is if you buy the pattern from here today, mm -hmm. that you do get membership into my um, Facebook group where there's free stuff, free patterns, and you can share your armada or your flotilla. Love it, <laughs> love it. Okay, I think those are the main points about the pattern, but yeah, it's step by step, follow the instructions all the way through to make a boat yeah. straightforward, and then you make 25 or 36. Great, will you show us how to make one? Yes. Love that. So here's a couple, just to show you what we're going for. These are a couple that are actually foundation pieced. You'll probably notice on here there's a little cross section and this is where the flag goes, the 3D flag. Uh-huh. 
Sick. Oh yes, I noticed that. Yeah, that's where the flag goes in. That's to show you the placement. Yes, that's to show awesome. you the placement. Something that I do, um, which I'm not going to do today because it got too complicated, but I tend to work with a piece of fabric that I call like a, a working piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for the little, so for instance, for the little qu um, quilt blocks, the small ones for the mini quilt, you're going to be working with two colours. So I tend to cut myself two six inch squares and then I work with that one piece mm -hmm. each time. So I add it, cut it off, cut, put in the next piece, add it, cut it. So I've got like a, a working square got rather you. than cutting all the individual pieces. Understood. Yep, that is a good way. And if you want to do that, you need a six inch square with the mini quilt. With the mini. And you need an 11 inch square with the lap. Oh, I like that. That's a good tip. Okay. Or you can cut out more sort of precise. Yes. I mean, not that precise because they're quite oversized. Yeah. But you can use templates. Yeah. So what I've done instead today is I've got all the pieces and I've cut them roughly the right size to go mm -hmm. on the foundation. Yeah. So. Just make sure I don't lose them. So what you're going to do is you actually sew on the right side of the paper and piece on the reverse. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to start with piece one. And I've got a, a glue pen mm -hmm. which helps me position my first piece. I'm just going to put it on the back. And I'm just going to, I can see through the paper, the line, the seam line that I'm aiming for. So I'm, with that first piece, I'm just going to cover it by about a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do think that's another reason why the Carol Dope paper is good, because you can see through it. Yes. Once it's printed, you can see through it. If you can't, if you don't use that, you can hold the paper with the fabric up to a light source, like the window, and you can see that the fabric is covering the seam allowance on all sides. But if you use the Carol Dope paper, it, it, it prints easily, it's easy to sew through, it's easy to tear off, and you can see through it. It is really good. Okay, let's go this around the right way. So. So I've got piece one and piece two. So I've actually labelled them all with Kerry's pen. Oh, <laughs> excellent. So I'm just going to put a few pins. So as I said, I've just overlapped that first seam. So I've got some really fine pins here. Stop it moving around. Okay. If I hold it up to the light, I can see that I've actually overlapped it so I've got a seam allowance there i at this precise moment I'm not really that worried that as long as it's more than a quarter or just mm -hmm. about a quarter it's going to be okay fair enough and I'm going to sew on the right side of the paper and I'm going to use a very small stitch of about one and a half okay so 1.5 straight stitch so I'm just going to position where it comes in And then I'm going to do a little reverse. In the great spirit of um, sharing, there's a different way to do everything. I remember a lady coming along to one of my um, foundation piecing classes. And I'm always interested to see how people do things. And what she did was she pre-stitched her foundation. Oh, yeah. So she used a short, fairly short stitch length, not very short, but fairly, so probably 1.8, stitched all of the lines through on the paper. Then when she did the fabric, she used a regular stitch length to sew the foundation. And the combination of stitching it once yeah. and then stitching it a second time perforated it plenty for easy removal. So I said to her, well, why'd you do that then? 
And she said, well, because if you ever need to unpick, you've only got, you've got regular stitch length. Oh, right. For your actual sewing. So it's actually really easy to unpick and change if you need to. And I thought, well, that's a, that's a good idea. For some people, that's, that's a good strategy. Yeah, that is a good idea. Yeah. How do I switch this iron on? I will come round. <laughs> I will come round. I'll have a look. Because I'm really good at technical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know that it's necessarily plugged in. You have to switch it on at the Well, wall. it does help, doesn't it, if it's switched I mean, sometimes it's just the real technical things. There we go. That's okay. warming up now. Okay. Now, the blue bundle's the most popular at the moment. Now, um... Sally Ann's used the fabric from that bundle to create this mini quilt. Now remember you've actually got enough fabric in your bundle to create the large quilt which is 36 by 48 inches and uses the large size block. This uses the mini block but I mean if you want those fabrics and you want to make the mini version then you absolutely can. You could make this version and then you'll have lots of fabrics left over. Um, you could make this as a gift for a new baby and then you could make perhaps a cushion with a few of the larger sailboat blocks couldn't you you could and you'd have enough fabric for a backing and everything so use your kit however you want to but that's how all of those fabrics work together and i love that you've used the floral for the binding that's gorgeous mm, really nice yeah. thank you and that blue bundle by the way is the most popular so keep that in mind it could well sell out Okay, so I've got my first two pieces in place and okay. I've just ironed it over the piece that says piece two. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over now. I've got my trusty postcard and oh, I'm going yes. to fold it on the line between two and three because that's my next piece. I'm just going to fold it back and this is where the add a quarter comes in and you just, it sort of just clips then against the side and gives mm -hmm. you a bang on a quarter inch seam sort of locks doesn't yeah, it? yeah it does okay so now I'm ready to put in my piece between two and three and this is where the little flag goes ah okay, okay. so the little flag is just made from a square and you just iron it in half diagonally mm-hmm And then the other way, Ooh, ironing the wire. Okay, so you can see where the crosses are. Mm -hmm. So this is where your flag needs to go in on that seam. So you want to position it with the fold down towards the base of the boat, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then Put some pins in. Oop. Sally Ann, do you mind just if you just bring your head back slightly? Sorry, it was, yeah. just, it was just in shot where you were pinning. That was brilliant. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So that's where you're pinning there. I must admit, I'm on my new glasses today, which I'm oh. just taking a bit of getting used They're very to. Very stylish, though. I might have to resort to a Steve. You know, have you seen Steve on um, the repair shop? No. No. I don't watch it. Okay, so uh, uh, Steve always wears two pairs of glasses. Right. <laughs> so it may be that I need to put on another oh, pair, enough. so two pairs of glasses and a pair of contact lenses. Good, why not? <laughs> I'm all for doing it all. <laughs> okay, so there's your flag. The next piece needs to go on top in there. So this is piece number My parents-in-law love the repair shop, by the way. <laughs> Ron and Diane, my parents-in-law, they love it. They love it. They wouldn't miss it. And actually inspired my father-in-law to get out an old leather. It, uh, he, he ran a coal merchant's as well as the farm and a haulage business as well. And he had an old leather, like, money satchel that he used to wear. Oh yeah. And he completely took it apart and renovated it and remade it 
incidentally with his green machine that he bought from from sewing street when wow. we had them yeah for the rivets and he completely remade it and that was really inspired by watching the repair shop and renovating something old into some you know to make yes. it beautiful again and it's absolutely gorgeous he did a top job on that yeah. he's a very keen sewer my father-in-law gives me a run for my money Okay. Charlie, our director, saying to me, get him on, you guessed. <laughs> well, we might be getting my husband on. Oh, you saying that, I met Charlie. At, you at, did. And he said, said to me, whatever it is, I don't do the sewing. No, <laughs> it's not, he's not going to be doing any sewing, but we might get him on. <laughs> if you think Does that would he be know? fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, starring role, sally <laughs> Right, so... Again, I've sewn on the printed side between two and three using a very small stitch and a nice fat needle. Um, and now I'm just going to iron that into position. Fab, you're using rainbow, aren't you? The rainbow yep. bundle's gorgeous. That's probably the one I'd go for. Okay. So the next one I'm going to seem I'm going to put in is between three and four. So again, using my trusty postcard. Any postcard would do. Yep. If it happens to have John Scott's face on it, or my face <laughs> on it, I would say so much the better. <laughs> <laughs> and can you see, once again, I folded the paper away. The easiest mistake to make, and I did this all the time when I first started foundation piecing, mm. um, is to clip off the paper. The number of times I cut off the paper, yeah. <gasps> so easy to do. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Because you didn't fold it back. Because you didn't fold it back and you had it flat mm -hmm. and you just put and you just went. Yeah. And it's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the kind of mistake you only make a few times. Yeah, you do. So again, I'm clipping that quarter inch up against it. If you need the um, add a quarter rulers, by the way, the details are on the screen. You get the six inch version, which I would say absolutely perfect for the mini block. And then you get the 12 inch version, which is absolutely perfect for the larger block. And really to have them both is super, super useful. Yeah. And look after them. They'll last you a lifetime. Yeah. If you, don't, if you don't drop them or lose them or lend them to a friend who never gives them back, not saying, no, I'm only, <laughs> I'm only kidding. But you know, they'll last your lifetime. You'll only buy them once. Okay, so that's that one flat with a quarter inch seam added. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna piece the piece between three and four. This is the roughly cut piece four. I always cut my pieces way too big when I do it this way. Way too big, and yeah, yeah okay. I, but there's nothing worse than sewing it on then realizing it actually doesn't fit and triangles are the worst thing to yes. imagine flipping back and forth. Especially if they're half rectangles rather oh, than yeah. half squares. Yeah. The angles are different. This is the thing, another of the bugbears of people that don't like foundation piecing, in my, in my experience, people that don't like foundation piecing don't do foundation piecing. Yeah. So that's fair to say, I think. Um, is they say it's wasteful of fabric. Now, yeah. personally, I think, I've seen enough UFOs in my time, nothing to do with foundation piecing, squares, rectangles, half square triangles that didn't fit together and ended up thrown in a bag and thrown in a cupboard never to see the light of day again. Yeah. That's wasteful of fabric. The one thing I can tell you, sally I think you'd agree is, if you, when you use foundation piecing, your blocks will be perfect. Yes. They will be the right size, they will be the right shape, and they will be flat. And that means that your quilt will go together properly, your borders will fit perfectly because your blocks are the exact size they're meant to be. Yeah. It will not end up as a UFO. So even though you might use a bit of extra fabric and there'll be a bit of wastage along the way, it's the cost of doing business. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's, that's a good way of putting it. And, and you get award-winning results at the end of it all. Yeah. And it always looks so nice and crisp and ready to go. It really isn't it? does. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Okay. Hey, message. Hey, go on. A hey, message. Oh. oh, Charlie's made a message up to say that I've said that, that foundation piecing guarantees. Here we go. Love the sailboats. If one uses interfacing, presumably that does away with the removing the paper stage. Yes. 
Yeah. But it, it will add to it. Obviously, in any interfacing that's a bit of thickness. yeah, used and yeah. and sort of kept it in. Yeah. So if I was going to do that, I would think I would do that on a wall hanging. Yeah. But I wouldn't necessarily do it on a baby quilt. No. Could you? I've never done this myself, but I'm going to ask the expert. Could you use a wash away stabilizer? Yeah, you can do. There's there's some wash away ones, aren't there? And then you could actually quilt it, bind it, and then wash the quilt, and it would dissolve away. Well, in theory, in yeah. In theory, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, using foundation piecing doesn't guarantee that you will win an award. <laughs> However, I do think <laughs> it gets you one step closer. It does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And interesting, looking at those two um, battings that you've got in front of you. Mm. Um, so. If I was making this as a wall hanging, I would definitely use the cotton because I have learnt my lesson with polyester because oh, polyester batting never lies flat to the wall, the wall and neither does wool because mm -hmm. I've learnt that one the hard way as well. Because it's quite puffy. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's too puffy. Yep. So you definitely need to go for like a warmer natural, you know, 80-20 or 100% or cotton yep. Yep. to get it to hang well against your wall. That's a great tip. Yeah. That's a great tip. But I mean, the other one, which is more fluffy. Baby quilt. Yeah, perfect. Be lovely yeah. and very supremely washable. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It doesn't shrink, doesn't shift. And also, if you do make a baby quilt, I know I've put like the little pearl buttons on, yeah. on it, but don't you think it would look great tied, just little oh, ties? Oh yeah. yeah, it would look lovely. Yeah. Yeah, with cotton pearl Yeah. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, yeah uh, be beautiful. just at all those little intersections, just yeah. a little, little stitch. Yeah, if you're gonna make it as a baby quilt, obviously don't put buttons or beads no. or embellishments on it. Um, and if you are going to tie it, make sure that the ties are really, really secure as well. Yeah, you don't need, but you don't need leave like half an inch or whatever, just so it looks yeah. like a stitch. Yeah, and it looks really cute that way. Yeah, yeah, really cute. You can get the same effect as well. You can tie by machine. So what you do there is rather than using, you still use cotton perle, and in normal tie, you go through the quilt and up and back down again and up. And your long tails are on top. You tie and tie in kind of like a reef knot on top, and then trim. To tie by machine, what you do is you put your cotton perle over, then you use, or this way rather, you use a machine zigzag to zigzag over the top, three or four, like a bar tack, all, all on the spot really, over the top. Take it out your machine, tie your double knot and clip your threads. So you actually, it's your bar tack that holds the quilt together rather than the cotton perle but it creates that little tufted look yeah so that can be cute as well because tying a quilt looks really cute but it is no quicker than quilting a quilt i remember tying a quilt once thinking oh this will be quicker and easier i loved the effect but it did take just as long as quilting but you can sit and watch the tv doing it yeah the other thing I did once for a quilt was Mennonite tacks. Have you ever done that on a quilt? No, I don't even know or what that is. crow footing. So their crow footing and Mennonite tacks are different ways of, of holding the layers together. And they are little, almost like embroidery stitches that you do. And you do them at regular intervals. So crow footing looks like a crow's foot. It's kind of three pronged little stitch that you do through all the layers and then you travel your needle through the middle of your batting and then about two or three inches away you do another another crow foot oh. yeah I... there's all sorts of these things are getting lost i feel because yeah. machine quilting and long arm quilting are kind of taken over but yeah if you look at old books on quilting you'll find all sorts of techniques hidden we should bring them back sally ann yeah I mean, when you think about it, I mean, with all the sort of gadgets that we've got nowadays, and then you look at the quilts that they made sort of hundreds of years ago, yeah. it is like, whoa, you know, we've got like a gadget to help us keep that straight or whatever. And it's you, a whole new world, Yeah, isn't it? it's just like... Yeah, amazing, really. And of course, foundation piecing isn't new, but the way we use it now is very different. But old-fashioned string piecing on a calico foundation, I suppose was the earliest form. Uh, yeah. the, need to let you know, the rainbow bundle, which sally Ann is using, we're down to our last five. You get three meters of white fabric, you get fat quarters, and it's a mixture of tonals, mottles, um, prints, small and larger scale as well, and some liberty in there. 
absolutely gorgeous and of course you could also supplement any of these kits with bits and scraps from your stash as well and i would heartily recommend you do that and then your quilt will have the same sort of bare bones as other people's but it will be unique because of those little extra touches you put in so that's the rainbow that's the rainbow then we've also got the pink version let me show you the pink version so you get your pattern of course brand new from Sally Ann Harrison the Henley sailboat quilt you can get the pattern on its own if you prefer you get three meters of white and then look you get these gorgeous tonals you get some Wiltshire shadow you get some mottle marbled effect fabric you get some Emily Bell my favourite ever Liberty print, Emily Bell. Emily Bell. Yeah, love it. Oh, I like Liberty Wiltshire. I think I would say that yeah. was my favourite. Yeah. yeah, gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. First time, we'll use them forever. Yes. They'll yeah. never ever go out of style, will they? No, they won't. So that's your pinks and purples. And then we've also got the beautiful blues, but not just blues, of course. You're also getting all those gorgeous sea glass colours, the greens, the turquoise, the aquamarines. So you get that pretty floral some Wiltshire shadow this is genuine watercolor batik this is a mottle print Wiltshire shadow a print Wiltshire shadow and again a genuine batik plus your three meters of white so fresh so crisp that's the version actually that Sally Ann used for this mini version but please remember the bundle that you're getting is enough to make the big version 36 inches by 48 inches so a big baby quilt or a lap quilt gorgeous love that love the positive and negative there with the white fabric you'll recreate that whatever colorway you go for and i suppose Sally Ann, if you wanted to you could on these um these ones where you actually got the sort of sailboat in the pattern fabric you could do different fabrics if you wanted to do you have to do yeah. them all the same fabric? No, exactly. Mm. Yeah, you could mix them up. Yeah. Completely. Um. A melange. <laughs> A melange. Right. How are you getting on? Good. I'm just getting down to the bottom two corners. So again, each time I'm pinning it in place and sewing on the printed side. I must admit, I usually use the knee lift at home on the, this UX8, but I deliberately didn't bring it. I had visions of me like disappearing down the edge, you know, almost like a Del Boy bar moment, you know. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. I'm surprised and relieved that we don't have more mishaps <laughs> because it's live TV, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm very glad we don't. Oh, I did actually, the other day, I managed to snip through my finger with a pair of Karen K. Buckley scissors, having five minutes before extolled the virtues of how beautifully sharp <laughs> they are, razor sharp, and then I proved it. And then the next hour, I managed to stab a pin in the same finger, no, the following day, in the same finger. <laughs> it was like the finger was cursed. Yeah. Right, we are getting to the end now. So I've got all the pieces in place. Look, they're, too, oh, they're far lovely. too big. And they're bigger than my piece of paper. So That's last what, step? So last step would be to put your add a quarter on and line it up with that outside edge. So do we need to add the final seam allowance around the outside? Yes, you do. Yeah, don't forget to do don't that Don't forget at home. to do that. Don't cut it on the solid line. Gotcha. Wouldn't this be a fun quilt to hand or machine quilt? You think about all the little extra embellishments you could have, the little add the little details, you know, the hand embroidered birds 
flying in the sky in the background or the moon and the stars or couldn't you yeah you, you could, could do all do. sorts you could do all okay. sorts that's so super cute absolutely so love it um, just want to remind you about the pattern on its own. It's actually been our most popular product of the hour. It's brand new today from Sally Ann Harrison, the Henley Sailboat Quilt. Now inside you get patterns for making both the mini quilt, which is 20 and a half inches deep by 15 and a half inches wide. That's this one right here. Absolutely love it. You also get the pattern and the block, it's a different block, to make the lap quilt which is 48 inches deep by 36 inches wide. And you get full instructions, not only for how to foundation piece generally and specifically, how to do that little folded patchwork element and then also of course how to make it up into a quilt, into a wall hanging, all of those instructions for 9 99 Brill. Do we have time to look at the freezer paper? We don't, I'm okay. afraid. We're, we're times against us. Well, uh, one thing I would say, say about the freezer paper, you can see I've started to, it works in exactly the same way, mm -hmm. apart from the fact that you don't sew through the paper. So freezer paper works because you can iron the actual block to it. Yes. So you're using that facility. And then what you're doing basically is you're, can you just see up on the, in the first seam, that instead of sewing through the paper from the front, yep. you're going to fold it back and you're going to sew as close to that edge, um, that, that line as that possible. Fold, yep. And then once you've done that, it's follow the same process, iron it in position because it's freezer paper, it'll stick. Yep. You use your quarter inch and then go for the next seam between the next two pieces. Uh, but again, pull the, when you pull the, the foundation back, fold it on the line and sew really close to the really line. Really close to the, the fold. The advantage is that you can make one template then mm -hmm. and when you've finished you can pull it off and you can use it what six or seven times. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so okay. much Sally Ann. Um, tips from a real expert on foundation piecing. Thank you so much and congratulations on another brilliant pattern. Thank you. Sally Ann Harrison everybody. We'll see you soon. Um, let's look at the menu for tomorrow. Uh, now, uh, welcome, so Sophie, with Sophie Crabb, brand new guest, brand new show. At nine o'clock, Catherine Wright's here with Helen Newton, pleats and patches, cushion. At 10 o'clock, it's made to measure exclusive book launch with Elise Alex Jewel. And uh, I've seen the pile of pre-signed books ready for a brand new book launch. 11 o'clock, creative embroidery and beyond book with Catherine Wright. And then at 12 o'clock, it's the Elna 860 embroidery machine with Jane Brogan. I do believe there are some reconditioned models there, Ooh. which you make great savings on that have perhaps been used for shows. They've not been pre-owned. Anyway, I won't see you tomorrow. I'll be at home, but I'll be watching in my gym jams. <laughs> I will see you next week, but you take care.